learn. Welcome back. It's stream time. Fun to oh right, I didn't close that. Oops. It's fine. Everything is fine. Where is the right window? Here is the right window. Boss chest. Brilliant. Oh, yes, yes, I know your battery is low. Quit bitching. Yeah, I have some juice. Yeah. Here you go. Stop annoying. Yep. Hi. <laughs> I'm organized. How about you? That's a list. Um. Uh, centurions. Okay, I can do that. There's a centurion. Let's plonk it down. Place your units. Join us on the battlefield. Um, hello. I have mount makeup on. I just realized that my uh, wardrobe is still open. Fantastic. You can be closed and neat and tidy. Hi! <laughs> mount makeup. Um, actually it looks really good on, well, on that screen. How does it look on this screen? It looks patchy as hell on this screen, so look, we'll f it's fine. <laughs> it's it's fine. Uh, right, so. Close to black, close enough to black, is is the, the color on the outside. Uh, and then it goes through a gradient, uh, through like a blue-green to, to like a pale green. Um, and I actually have, uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see or if it's actually still there because my eyes do this thing. But um, on that lower lower lash line there, I did have, it might be gone now, but I did have blue liner, like blue eyeliner. Um, so I own this mountain at flies, but there's your, there's your thing. There's your thing. Uh, brilliant, uh, all the data has been wiped. Oh, and it's not called- oh no, there we go, it does work, cool. I was like, hmm, actually, maybe it's a different executable, maybe I need to uh, update my my scenes, but no, it's fine. Um, all the data has been wiped, because it's- 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 it's not alpha anymore. It's beta. Dragonflight- or dragon- I keep going to say dragonfly now, because dragonfly Alfred? Yep. Um, it's dragonflight beta. No longer alpha. Exciting times! Exciting times. I genuinely have no idea what we're going to be able to do in the beta today uh, because I tried reading through the enormous development notes. Um, there's just too much. There's just too much. Um, I was thinking like, I mean, there's herbalism. We haven't looked at herbalism yet, but how mining went last week, ugh, I don't think I want to. Um, and fishing, of course, is like fishing, but fishing's associated with a reputation this time around. So, so I'm like, I feel like if I dive into that, I might accidentally spoilers. So Jas is going to have a playthrough fishing this week so that if it's okay for us to play, we can do it next week. Uh, but that doesn't help us for today, does it? No, no, it does not. Uh, so well done, Zam on first, Dupe with second, Shiba with third, Jack with tenth, which doesn't exist. <laughs> um, Yari with last, good time zone to you, Fade. Hello, Shiba. Hello, Zam. Good morning, Vorian. Welcome back. It's beta. It's beta. Is it what the captions reckon? Brilliant. Cloudwing Hippogriff. No. Uh, good. So I did also have a posture check from before I started, which Jack... Just, just because you're right doesn't make it right. Okay, um, good. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Where's my development notes? I mean, we can always start by making another character, obviously. Soul Twister Deathwalker, no. Okay, so we can't make an evoker um, because they're not available at level 60 at the moment. There's a bug, so you have to make them at 58, which means you have to level through, you have to do the starting area to be able to get to the rest of the world, which of course will have spoilers. Um, so that's a known bug. Uh, obviously we can try, we can have a play with dragon riding. A lot more of the UI has been included 
which is good. Uh, dungeons, no. Leveling, no. Um, classes will be... Obviously, there's a bucket load because they've put all of the all of the changes that had been made during the alpha are now in the beta notes so that's that's fun i can't tell if that's a late april fool's joke um yeah look there's mage trees but i, I don't i'm not a good enough player to kind of do that i don't think um, and that's okay. I like, pff, I accept that. <laughs> um, uh, up to rogue. rogue has no bullet points. It's just rogue. Shaman. So that's fun. Uh, starting area also doesn't give enough XP to hit 60. Oh? Has that changed between alpha and beta? Like, have they has the the shift from one to the other made it change somewhat, or was that an issue in alpha as well? Right, so it wasn't an issue in alpha. It is now an issue in beta. Fair. It's amazing how those kind of that's like that's so strange, you know. Luckily, if that makes it to live, like if if. If they fix it and then they send it live and it bugs out again, at least that's something that they can fix prior to actual launch because people will be leveling over because during the pre-patch, I would imagine. So that's like, it could, that could be worse. So they've acknowledged it's an issue. Good, good, good. I mean, that's all you could ask for, right? They're not going to be able to just wave a magic wand and instantaneously fix it as long as they're like, yep, okay, we see that. Oops, let us fix that. Um, so that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, pet battles. That's what we can do. That's what we can do. Uh, all right. Wait, is that going to make me a... Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's... Boop. Wow, that's, an, that's a hairstyle. Ooh, she's cool. All right, I like her. Uh, literator, done. Literator. Look at her, she's the badass. All right, let's go. Good morning, Zen, welcome back. Uh, do you need me on for anything? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know where it is. Patience, Zen, patience. Plus the fact that, like, I mean, beta is literally for testing. Um, a lot of, like, I do get a lot of commentary, like, around, oh, I just, I want to play something new, and it's like, yeah, but it's broken. Like, literally, it's broken, and you're playing it to find where it's broken to fit, to help fix it and stuff like that. It's... Heroes of the Horde. Oh, I don't like the that. Dragon Isles have awakened and I'm going to close that out because I feel like you're going to give me spoilers if we... We do that, Abyssian. Um, camera broken. Let's, where's camera? Camera! Amazing. Uh, camera following style. No, no. Uh, horizontal when moving. I think that's. Yeah, because it, it writes itself so I, I can see where I'm running. Yes, I like that. All right, cool. Um, right, so yeah, beta, like, it's, it is cool to explore stuff, but if you're not careful, you're gonna, you'll get spoilers and all that kind of stuff. Like, it's not this big exciting thing that everyone sort of plays it up to be, I don't think. And as, unless you're, like, super, super keen to be QA, like, to provide free QA to a multi-billion dollar company, um, then... <laughs> <laughs> then it's then it is not as exciting as it might be played up to be um but look it's not we're we're really not that far out from a launch we we are like you got at at the very most you've got september october november december and you'll be in there with everyone else as well so it's all good no need to stress over whether or not you get a beta invite um if you get one fantastic if you don't it is it is no biggie 
no biggie. Um, it's not a huge amount that's new. I think we're more just into the tweaking phase. Yeah, I reckon so. I reckon so. Um, always report the bugs. We've done several betas now. Fantastic. Wonderful. Morning from the UK. Hello, Mike. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. All right. So I wonder where one might find this battle pet. Quest line. Might it be here? Rooktar. What do you think of my pet? Where is your pet? It's in a cage. There are a couple in cages. There are scorpions. Okay. Um, interested in catching some rare pets. Oh, cool! So it actually, like... Strength. I wonder if this is just because beta and then treating battle stones. So that's how you get your marked, uh, your flawless with your... Yep, okay. All right, so learning the ropes. Now that you are a pet trainer, it's time to test your skills. Head out into the wild and pick a fight with a battle pet. Come back to me after you've won and I'll continue your training. Is this... Does this stuff... I know there was a quest chain to, like, to do all the, the battles around the continent. But, do it, like, is... So is this the new bit? I wonder. Just something all the way comments on the, like, la... Uh, on the last like day's post complaining that they've not got beta yet as if they're owed beta access yes that's um yeah yeah so the the learning the ropes quest is on live sounds like the normal start of it yeah it does so like it says added a quest line that helps new players learn about the pet battle system but that's it. That's all it says. So if we do learning the ropes, so I've got to win a pet battle. But to do that, I need to like, no, I need to learn battle pet training. And this is all I've got to play with, so this will be interesting. Uh, it's most likely on the Dragon Isles, right? Well, no, I wouldn't think so, Dragon. Welcome on in. I hope, uh, hope you're doing. Oh, I hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words. Um, I wouldn't think it would be on the Dragon Isles. Because it says new players. And new players aren't going to start on the Dragon Isles. To do pet battling on the Dragon Isles, you're going to need a, a swath of level 25 pets already because they're all going to be at level 25 as well. So I would assume not, but I could be wrong. I'll have a playthrough. I've got the Wowhead page for Varzok, who is that NPC open, just to see if... Um, Oh no, how do I track minimap tracking? Oh, there! Oh, that's cute. Alright, there we go. What are you? Creepy crawly. You're a critter. What do I remember? So it must be humanoid. Why? Okay, that's it's because it's a. Uh, which would mean I want legionnaire murky because knight captain and legionnaire they were the yeah all right cool let's give you a try um that comes after this one yeah maybe there is a chain that Vazok currently offers but it's not mm. see how we go not game related, but I was slightly confused with the sponsor announcement. Wonder why you were being sponsored by a cat food maker in the UK. Felix isn't known as a mobile contract provider, but well done. <laughs> yeah, F uh, Felix Australia. Felix Mobile Australia. Um, yeah, how awesome is that? New sponsor. Um, and it's a it's a three month contract, and it's not just like it. I mean, obviously, product sponsorships are amazing. Like getting getting a. Uh, So I just got Quest Discovered Varzok, and that was on that la second to last. Oh, 
Oh no, and that's an existing quest or a quest already. Okay, that's yeah, that's on the list as an existing quest. Um, yeah, so Felix Mobile. They're a um, mobile plan provider in Australia here. They've got one plan that they offer. It's 35 bucks a month, and it offers unlimited talk text and data up to 20 Mbps. And uh, they're carbon certified carbon neutral, 100% renewable energy powered by 100% renewable energy. And uh, they plant a new tree every month that you're with them uh, through a, a company called One Tree Planted, which they and they plant trees all over the world um, to help with reforestation, which is freaking awesome. Um, and so not only are they like there's there is a product component to my to my sponsorship, like they're covering my phone bill, which is amazing. Um, but they're also paying me, which is a, another step uh, and quite a large step uh, towards full time content creator. Um, <laughs> so it's super exciting, very, very exciting. And I'm so glad um, that I am able to make that connection with a company that shares my values. You know, that's that's one of the really, really important things. Like it's all well and good, you know, having a great product and all that kind of stuff is fantastic. But sharing those those core values is, is really important too. So yes, very exciting. Thank you so much for the well done. Um, you are not ah, Yuri! Prepared. Hello, love. How is your stream? Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. If you haven't been here before, guys, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a streamer, obviously. You can probably tell that already. Um, but I, I play a lot of World of Warcraft, and today we're in the Dragonflight beta. Uh, and I'm struggling to find things that we can test without giving us story spoilers. Uh, so I found the ba the pet battles, added a quest line that helps new players learn about the pet battle system. But there already is one, so I'm kind of confused. So we've got learning the ropes, <laughs> complete that, and then we've got on the mend, which also exists. Heal your pets to full health by visiting Morog the Death Stable Master. Then we have Varzok, which was an auto accept quest, which is also a thing. And then we have Zunta the Pet Tamer, which is the thing. That's that's already on live. So I'm I'm getting a little bit We're not reading that. Um I'm getting a little confused about like what's what is what is the new thing because they didn't give us any information on it. And I'm a little bit afraid of going on to the because I know that I know that Wowhead has a beta version of pages, but I'm I'm a little nervous about flicking across to the beta version because I'm although the, I'm just on the page for Varzok. So maybe I should just flick over to that page and see if anything new has popped up for this NPC in particular. Alright, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Wish me luck. There is literally nothing new on Barzok. Nothing new. Um, he does train a pet. There are six pets he can train, and I only got the option for one, and so therefore I believe it's based on your race. Because I'm a blood elf, and he offered me the golden dragonhawk hatch hatchling, and the dragonhawks are very much... A, a blood elf thing. So there's also a king snake, a prairie dog, a crane chick, a shore crawler, and a cockroach, which is literally the undercity cockroach. So I'm guessing, but that, I feel like that's on, potentially on live as well. No, he only has the brown prairie dog on live. So now it's got, okay, that's, uh, um, where really? <laughs> Hello, Yori. Um, thank you for the cast to Kimanshi, but yes, you can definitely follow Yori just by clicking on her name and then hitting that follow button. Super, super easy. Echo. Oh no, Zam! You're watching both of us. Brilliant. Hello, Barry. Welcome back. I'm so pleased to see you. I hope you're doing well. She was awesome. Was doing some talk on each of the tunes of the Daily XP. Just help me play Pod DK. He's good at that. He's good at that. Zufu says it's in Dragon Isles. Ugh. In Valdrakia, not sure if NPC. Thank you so much for, like, censoring your comment, Meaty. That, I mean, oh. It, it just, firstly, thank you for checking. And then thank you so much for like censoring bits as well. Like just makes my heart happy. Oh, oh. Right, so oh, screw Varzok. Um, <laughs> although, oh crap. Um, 
Although, like, I'm not going to be able to do that, right? Because... I don't have any level 25 pets. How am I supposed to... Look, you know what? It says new players, so... That's really silly that it's in Dragon Isles. By the time you get to Dragon Isles, wouldn't you think... Unless the Dragon Isles quest sends you... You know what? Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Um... There's... A, a... We gotta go talk to Abyssian. This is, I, I'm terrified of this. I feel like it's going to spoil us. Um, I'm just going to try really hard not to read anything in terms of quest doohickeys and stuff. Um, since we can debate now, I want to find petsies. Wait, fear, hold on. Hold on. Let me go through first. Okay. <gasps> it just, oh my God. You guys are so generous in like, putting your your brains at risk to test things to see if I'm gonna get spoilers and just you sh yeah you're shielding me and it that just I know maybe it sound maybe it seems really silly to you guys but that just means so much it means so much to me you're all a bunch of sweethearts and I I yeah my god, I'm getting so excited for PAX. Like, I, I called my, my stepdad and my dad today because it's it's Father's Day here in Australia. I know it's not in other areas of the world, but it is in Oz, so it, it is what it is. Um, and I gave them both a call to just, you know, say happy Father's Day and to, to catch up and all that kind of stuff. And I, of course, had a two-hour conversation with my father um, because all of the all of the tangents. But um, you might you may remember. You may not because, like, god, my brain's shit. I don't know about you guys. But, um... I, I mentioned a little while back that I had spoken to him and he said, and I said to him that um, we're going to, like, when, when we check out of the hotel on Monday, we're going to just spend the day kind of exploring the city and maybe he should take a day off. I don't know, he doesn't do that very much because his work ethic is about as about as bad as mine is, which means we never take time off for anything ever. Um, but <laughs> uh, I said, you know, maybe it might be nice if you were able to take a day off and we can kind of spend the day just exploring the city together because it's been probably close to a decade since he and I actually spent time together not on the phone or, or sitting at home watching TV or something like that. Um, and he did. He took the day off. Not only that, but his girlfriend is trying to convince him to get a Sunday ticket to PAX. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just, I'm full of all of the love and, and just everything today. I'm I'm doing yeah. I'm I'm just in a really good place, and I'm overwhelmed with emotions. Whew, I need to stretch and pee. Do the thing, Yuri. Stretch and pee. Just not maybe not at the same time. It might make a bit of a mess. I'm looking at the quest chain. It teaches you with new pets. Ah, oh, teaches you how to level and stone to get to 25. Oh, awesome! Ah, oh, Nino, thank you so much for the bits. Thank you for the cheer. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. All the emotions for fear. I know, right? It's it's been one of those days. Um, but like in in a good way. In a good way. Hello, and thank you again for more biddies. Much appreciated. Oh, excuse me. So kind of you. So kind of you. Uh, you're the warm welcome. Oh, you're very welcome. Always, always. Oh, I try. Look, I try to be warm and welcoming to people when they come in. Sometimes I accidentally miss like messages and stuff, which is not great, but I do, I try. I try. Hello, Landa, welcome back. Oh, the cozy, I love that emote. It is so snug and warm and just, ah, oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, alrighty. Um. Mmm. What, okay, so while, while Sheebs is, is attempting to, to get into, hmm. Am I just gonna have to like not read it and click accept? Is there a cutscene? Lord, Lord help me. Hello, Gucci. Welcome back. Thank you for the host. Ah, uh, so I'm feeling my leveling classic. How are things here? Doing very well. Doing very well. I'm um it's it's Father's Day here in Australia. Uh, and so I called my my father and my stepfather and, and wished them both a happy happy day of rest and love and all that kind of stuff. Um, and no, it just it was really really good to like catch up and chat and all that. 
Yeah. There is a Zeppelin. Okay. And the Zeppelin skips the, the spoilery stuff, we reckon. God, I never take Zeppelins. Where do I get, like, where do I go? Okay, there's one over here. But that goes to, that's Undercity. And this one is nothing. And this one is Stranglethorn. So I'm going to guess it's the other one. Go to the dock area for Legion. Thank you for the biddies, Nino. Much appreciated. How did you look there? Thank you, Lambda. Um. Oh, like outside and down here. Yeah, like so you like go. No, no. Yeah, you go out the door and then it's down over here thing. Yeah, there. That one. Okay. It look. It took me a minute. <laughs> you use it once, once, and then you use your Dalar and Hearthstone for the rest of the time. I think I can be forgiven for forgetting that one. Also, I'm a fucking mage, so... <laughs> okay. Is it that one? That looks a bit high to be... Yeah, okay, uh... Ah, here is the hero I oh. spoke of. Dragon Isle Zeppelin Master. Perfection. <clears throat> Didn't you use it for Mop 2 or am I misremembering? Ah, uh, quite possibly. Um, Cataclysm? We used it for Cata, but I was, um... Actually, no, was I Horde for Cata? I think I was Horde. Mop comes before Cata, right? Or is it the other way around? Because I, I was, so my my history was, um, like, I was Horde, and I hit 60, because it was Burning Crusade, so I was Horde, no, 70. I was Horde, and I hit 70, uh, and then I changed to Alliance, and leveled up again and hit 70, and then I was Alliance until Siege of Orgrimmar. And I'd taken a break for, for real life reasons, and I came back... And Siege of Orgrimmar, it was the tail end of Siege. The guild that I joined um, was was finishing off clearing Heroic. That was like that was how late it was, and um, uh, and that's and I logged in as Alliance, and then I logged out and I did a faction transfer and I and I changed to Horde and now I've been Horde ever since. So that's like if it was prior to that, then I used Stormwind, <laughs> so I wouldn't know where it came where it happened in Orgrimmar. Um, Fear finds out about Zep, looks at every random Zep she can find. Exactly. Ex exactly. Yes. It's the one Kata then Mop Kata first. Wrath Kata Mop Ward. <laughs> that is the most ridiculous sentence I think I have said in a while. There's no spoilers on this Zeppelin trip. Fantastic sheeps. Thank you so much for checking. Thank you for the host, Gucci. Much appreciated. Thank you for the biddies! So generous of you. Thank you. Um, what? yeah, Kata was the weird one where it was like 85 and then Mop finished it off and yeah, that was weird. Like five levels for an expansion it was, was a bit strange, a bit strange. Um, but yeah, I remember, I remember the boat sinking because I started in, um, underwater zone. I remember going on the boat and then boat sinking and then the corals just rising up out of nothingness and, and yeah it was amazing amazing I couldn't remember where I did that I liked the five levels format yeah I, I didn't um, it didn't feel like you made much progress um, and it didn't feel like like the jump in gear when it was only such a small jump in level just didn't quite feel right um and it kind of felt like the mobs at 80, like from, from Wrath, weren't weak enough. Like I've gone through a whole new expansion. They're not weak enough because I've only gained five levels and the associated power. It just, it didn't, yeah, I don't know. It didn't quite work properly. I Look, I think there's a reason they haven't done it since. I think there's a reason for that. Uh, it's heading back to you now, quite a long trip. That's okay. That's right, I have time. 
and patience sometimes. My level 50 alts now have 60 renown thanks to your tip last week. Oh, fantastic, Zen. Congratulations. I'm so pleased I could help. That is wonderful news. It it hurts a little in terms of, like, especially if you're doing, like, a lot of tunes all at once. It's It hurts the, the hip pocket a little. But, um... It's good for- oh, it's one of these! Ooh, fancy pants. We're not, um, it's not on top of the zip. That's, that's interesting. Perfect timing. Mmm, how are you enjoying beta? I literally logged in approximately 15 minutes ago. And, um, have been trying to find things that I can do that don't involve, involve story spoilers. So, um... Yeah, it, it feels around about like Alpha at the moment, just a few more people. Um, see how that rises up? Yeah, it's it, like, it's not completely illogical, but it's, um, yeah. I don't know. That's alright. Feature the Whale Launcher. Thank you, Rory. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, the plan is really neat. The scenery, you get it awesome. I will be sure to look outside it. Every so often. There's a portal there, and then, and then, oh, you can't see, because we're on Stream Raiders. That's fine. I want to show you this. I will do, we will do another battle, but like, do you see, do you see, do you see? It's not going to do it now, now that you're all looking. Oh, for goodness sake. There's a portal on there. There's a portal on the thing, and when you're out of range of it, it pops up and then as you zone in close, it disappears. Right, okay. Let's do another battle. I'll watch the... Okay, we'll do that while I, um, while I set up the battle. Uh, alright. Oh, good. <clears throat> Is there a, like, a top of the thing? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I'm just placing units. So where's this one? drop us. Well, obviously you could just do that. Um. That's quite funky. Oh, setting us like down. A boat. Oh, it's the other side. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's fun. Cool. Uh, Alright, so Valdraken is where we need to go, which is in Thaldrasis, isn't it? Yeah. So let's fly to Valdraken. Where? Up here. I, I'm kind of, whoa, hello. Uh, okay. Um, I am kind of happy that there's no music. Remember last week I was talking about how, like, where's the music? Where's the zone music? 
I think I'm happy there is no zone music because that means on day one when we log in, the orchestra will just, like, it'll, you know, it'll add that extra layer and really make it, yeah. Oh, no. Ah, uh, poo. Okay, um. Oh, no. <laughs> so we can't fly there. On the alpha, you just had all of the flight parts. So now we don't. Um, that's fine. That's fine. We just have to run all the way to Valdraken. Um, hello, Axiom. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Um, hello, Horda. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing very well today. Uh, does Burning Crusade Classic become Wrath of the Lich King now in the launcher? That's a really good question. I'm actually not sure. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Because I, did they, did I hear correctly in that Burning Crusade Classic is not going to be available anymore? You're going to have the option of Classic or Wrath Classic. They're, like, they're not maintaining each of the servers as they go along. Um, which I think is kind of a pity, really. Uh, although I can only imagine it's just an exponential cost, right? Every time they release a new expansion, they've got to release a new set of servers and it's, it's all just expensive as sin. But, like... Mm, you know, that kind of, that kind of sucks a little. Um, things you also, I, I am, I am. Thank you so much for hoping. Um, so it does. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Zam. Yeah, I wasn't too sure about that because, um, I'm not a, I'm not a classic player. So I, yeah, and I don't, I don't like saying, oh, I think this will happen because, like, that's just putting misin potential misinformation out there. So I really, I'm, I'm pleased that someone actually knows what's going on. Um, keeping up with my little kitty paws. Look at you go. Zoom, zoom. Look at you go. Um, at what point, Sheebs, do you think we're going to die? <laughs> um, haven't played WoW in ages. Want to get into Classic? Oh, you should. You should give it a try. Like, there is absolutely no reason not to. You can, because you can always just, if you don't enjoy yourself, you can stop. Like... I have nothing set up, so probably soon. No, neither do I. Neither do I. Um. Alright, we can grab this. Uh, is there... No, that's a dead end, isn't it? That looks like it... Oops, okay. My bad. Um, where's the connection? It's that way. This is gonna go for... So... so Alright, I see where we're going now. Perfect. <laughs> this will be, this will be fun. At least we get to like explore stuff, you know? I mean, I could just, although we don't have dragon riding yet, do we? Where do you even find dragon riding? Is it like, I know you have to learn it, so I'm guessing they don't give it to you off the bat anymore. Because now it's beta and you actually have to unlock stuff. You don't just get it handed to you. Unfortunately. Talents page. There's a spec. And there's talents. And that's it. So if it is there, it, I don't have it yet. And that's okay, um, but yes, that's a uh, bugger. I mean, I probably should have tested this in alpha while we still had the accessibility, but at the same time, then I wouldn't have anything to do today. <laughs> I do love the objects, like the like the archways and the banners and like there's just they're beautiful. The ambiance is amazing. There's another flat path up here. That's a ferry, so that's interesting. 
means that Alright, okay, I must be down. I must the ferry must be the thing. I do really like the new crossbow. Yeah, it is, look, if you mouse over it. Oh. Getting up to the oh, okay, yep, I see. <laughs> right, okay. So where am I going? I'm going this way. This is fine. Barbed tulip. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. That's a herbalism node. just oh no that's a good <laughs> oh <laughs> I'm an idiot it's fine I was too distracted by the by the pretties that's all right here we go I'm up here again fantastic hello I have no health nice to meet you uh, <laughs> look you shut it that's it Roka here because I have no talents. Oh no. Okay, well those are yellow so it's fine. <laughs> oh, it's chasing it around. And I look, I really like that. It just things like a thunder lizard chasing around a, a family of ducks. It just gives a little more life to the and I mean I know they couldn't do that a few expansions ago. They didn't have the technology to make NPCs do that kind of stuff. But like that's cool. That just their idol is chasing each other around, you know? That looks interesting. Excuse me. Covered in fruit. Oh, that's why I got a target. The little monkey in the tree threw fruit at me. Like, it doesn't do anything, but it's just the, like, as I was saying, the flavor stuff. That's so cool. I'm, I'm so excited to share this with you guys when it releases. I'm, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, that, um, that is an evil. Okay, so what we're gonna do gonna do <clears throat> wait I have phoenix flames on my bars why is it put it on my bars if I can't use it I'm confused I've shuffled a couple of these around and I can't remember where. Yeah, 
That seems like fun. Uh, I'm gonna need that. <laughs> You know what, bugger it. That should... What? Oh my god, okay. I didn't know that. You have to spend everything to be able to... Why are all the frost ones in the... I don't understand. was that? Something just fell somewhere and I don't know what it was and that's terrifying because my setup is very precisely placed. Oh no. I'll figure that out later. where dragon's breath is okay oh where's shiva has run away okay wait what oh there we go I've missed it, haven't I? Or have they still got it broken? Wait, what? Now what? <laughs> Somehow missed the extra charge for Fire Blast, didn't I? Or is there not one anymore? Strike, where's... Did they take it away? Oh, f me. No, right there. Oh, bloody... They did. Whatever. Okay, fine. It just... I'm... The whole play style is different and I don't like it. Uh, all right. Trunk a lump. I'm sorry. What? Shiva. That is trunk a lump. It's called trunk a lump, and I love it. Why am I not? Why am I not discovering? Why am I not getting any exploration? Just run past? Yeah, look. Oh dear. I'm trying to get that way. There we go. Okay. It is kind of nice seeing how the zones connect. Because, I mean, a lot of the times, once you get to max level and you're flying different places and you're just, you know, like, sky you know flying 
with your flying mount directly to the next place sort of thing. You don't get to see how the zones actually meet and connect and mesh together and stuff. Um, so having to run is is like a it's a nice little moment. Wouldn't want to do it permanently, but it's a nice moment. I don't think that goes. No, I think that just goes into the town. Okay, so this one on the other hand, I think is where we want to. Lord. The little birdies that fly away when you're on pass aren't they? Like aren't they amazing? It's just like this. This little, the, these little bits of AI that they haven't had before, whether it's because they like just didn't have the tech or didn't have the time to implement it or something, like it's just, it really makes the world feel more alive and I cannot complain about that. I, I just, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. For everyone talking about immersion, hopefully this will help. It doesn't seem like much, but the little things they add up. The little things add up. <clears throat> I'm just trying to keep, keep an eye out sideways because I know that's the direction we need to be heading in to get to Valdraken, but I just don't know how to get there. That's a little glitchy spot down there too. Prickle Fury Hair. Look at the fireflies! Oh, that's gorgeous. That's just beautiful. <laughs> aren't, they, aren't they beautiful, Sheebs? Like, they're just... Oh, goodness. Yep. How have we gotten this far into unexplored territory without actually getting any exploration? Like hitting a hitting an exploration zone. I'm amazed and uh, I'm amazed and appalled at our talent. <laughs> it looks like we're about to head into the next zone though. But it looks like it's Azure Span and not um the other one, Thaldrasis. I will eventually learn them. Do not at me. The dragonflies and the little lizards! Oh my goodness. This world just feels so alive. I'm gonna grab this flight path just in case we get DC'd and sent back to the start or something. <laughs> Right, um, so we need to go this way by the looks of the map. And we are indeed being fed into the Azure Span, which means we're going to get to the capital city, like, last in the leveling journey, which makes sense, I think. You know, we land and we explore and then we wrap around and finally when we hit max level, I present to you the capital. Like, I like that. I think that's good. Welcome back from my night ship. Perfect down light down. Tune in. Perfect, Ducky. Welcome back. Hope work treated you kindly. The Azure Span. What is that? That is a rare or an event of some kind. Brilliant. What is that? Grizzle fur cub. Dorpsicle. But that's the little event there. So I'm guessing you're supposed to help save the little person there. We're not gonna, because I don't know what kind of storyline spoilers they may give us. Um Headbutting Caprine. Love it. This is really enjoyable traveling across Dragonflight with you and exploring. I used to do it with old friends just to make me really happy. Oh, Shiva, I'm so pleased. That is that is wonderful. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. I mean, we are we, even though we're exploring with a mission, it's um this is this is quite nice. And just discovering all those little bits and pieces that we're honestly, we're probably gonna miss them. We're probably gonna, not gonna notice them as much when we're like, okay, level level uh, 70, here we come. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Um so yeah, we'll probably end up 
missing some of these little things and so it is nice to take some time and, and notice them ground mount is so immersive also let me just grab this flight path real quick i know but like me beta like, like it crashes and then we log back in and it puts me back in orgrimmar excuse me no like no you are not prepared. Ginger, hello, welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day today and hope you've had a great stream. Thank you so much for the raid. If you haven't been here before, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. Um, we're, we're doing some exploring on the Dragonflight beta currently. It has finally changed to beta. We're no longer in alpha. And um, I'm avoiding spoilers. I'm avoiding spoilers as much as I possibly can. And so what I'm trying to do is find things that I can test and bug report and blah, blah, blah on the beta and on back when the alpha was a thing as well, that I don't want to spook any mages. That's because I'm a mage. It ha Did that say druid for you, sheeps? Um... But yeah, so trying to find things that are spoiler free that I can test. Uh, and one of the things we found was the new pet battle, like the introductory quests to pet battling for new players. Um, but they're in Valdrakin and you can't just go, you can't like on the alpha, you had everything unlocked. You could just fly where you wanted to go so that you could test stuff properly. Uh, and now you don't. So we're literally running the entire way from where we landed on the ship to to Valdraken, which is look it's it's actually kind of enjoyable i'm, I'm not super angry at this frigid hockenbloom look at this beautiful look at this uh, um node that's an that's a herbalism node isn't that gorgeous and it's in a little oh, okay fine destroy it then um <laughs> and it's in a oh oh look at that i'm out of range i know i'm out of range i'm also not a herbalist you numpty that's beautiful Okay, on we go. On we go. Welcome on in, Ginger. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you, Apollos. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Thank you for the cast of command, Sheebs. If you haven't, you should go check out Ginger. You can click their name in chat and follow them straight from that user pane if you'd like to. Um, very easy. Super, super, oh, actually, no, I don't think we want to go up there. I think we want to go this way. Yeah, I think this is where they connect. So I think that's where we're heading. Um, said mage for me, you must have triggered it. Ah, oh, bugger. Okay, yeah, fair. Ah, uh, she was great, just got done with it myself. The beta for it, that is amazing. I can't wait for the expansion to come out. I'm, I'm very keen. I'm very, very keen. We've been, um, I was lucky enough to get into the first kind of wave, um, for, like, first week, uh, with the alpha invitations. So I've, like, we've been each Sunday kind of diving in and having a look at stuff that's spoiler-free, uh, checking out the professions and, and all that kind of stuff. So this is... We're getting there. We're getting there, and it's very exciting. I can't wait. Uh, random question for you. Are you a gloves person? Sometimes. It really it really depends on the gloves, um, and I know that's not very helpful. Uh, but I have, uh, I've had a lot of, like, fingerless gloves in the past that have cut into the webbing in my fingers, which have, like, and that really hurts. Like, I I'm not sure if that's how everyone feels. I'm not sure if it's something that people can just sort of forget about, but for me it just really was a constant focus for my mind and I couldn't take my mind off the the feeling between my fingers. Um, but I've had gl other gloves in the past that have been super, super comfy and really warm and I've worn them to the point of holes in them. So it really depends on the gloves, I think. Um, but as like a style choice, hell yeah, absolutely. They just have to be comfortable as well. I recommend Bipolos. Thank you very much for the shout out. You're so welcome. Oh, so, oh my goodness, Zen. Thank you for the gifted subs. My gosh. Five gifted subs. So generous of you. Thank you. Congratulations to everyone who got oh, hit by the sun. sub bomb. Amazing. Oh my God. Uh, what about if someone were to, were to weave you some? Uh oh. Um. By the sun well. Uh, no matter what these whelps keep to me. Uh, uh, or, uh, does that mean that we can jump and it's fine? By the sun well. Or does it mean you've got a dragon ride? By the sun well. I just try to make sure if anyone gets hurt that they're taken care of. But like, does that mean By we have to have well. dragon riding to be able to get to Valdraken? I, 
kind of just want to jump, but I feel like that's not a good idea. All right, let's go around. Let's see what we can find. Ah, uh, there might be a different route. Looks like there's a flat point for the right. Yeah, I did see that one. Uh, Theron's watch. You're most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Barry, I think it would, like, I would absolutely love that. I would also feel absolutely horribly and terribly guilty if I wasn't able to wear them because of the comfort level. I know, I know what you're suggesting at. If you, you would like, oh my goodness. Prepared. Oh my goodness. Edry, welcome on in. Oh my God, all the raids today. Holy cow, welcome. I hope you've had a fantastic stream, Edry. Edry, welcome back. And those of you who are joining Edry, if you haven't been here before, I am Fia. It is lovely to meet you. Um, we're doing some Dragonflight beta, spoiler free. Dragonflight beta testing at the moment. Um, if you would like to stick around for that, uh, and once we run out of things to test that don't give spoilers, uh, I'm going to jump onto live and do some leveling because we like that. Thank you for the cast of command, Shiva. Welcome on in again, Apollos. Loopy, hello, welcome. Want to see you can try on the ones I made for Grumbly? Fair, okay, yeah, that'll work. If you like, I'm going to make you some perfect. All right, that works. I was going to say, um, I could give you, like, I could do, I could take measurements if you wanted, like, if you thought that might help, but, um, yeah, no, like, absolutely, I would, I would hate for you to, like, waste all that time and effort and stuff, you know, like, I, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Ah! Oh my gosh! Trud, thank you so much for the resub! So kind of you. I hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Uh, let me catch up on chat a little bit and welcome our newbies in. Welcome back. Uh, welcome. Uh, welcome on in for the first time, Loopy. And welcome back, Edry. And hello, Azure. Hello, Angel. Oh, St. Arch Angie. Right. Gotcha. Voice is amazing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Welcome on in, Athena. Hello, hello. A hype train is close. A hype train is close. We have one minute and 40 seconds to trigger a hype train. Okay, this is another no non-path. Um. Apollos, thank you for the biddies. We have a hype train. Goodness gracious me. Uh, good news, Shiba, we found the dragon riding trainer. Oh. No. No, we, we found a dragon riding trainer that doesn't actually train dragon riding. Uh, useful. Um, I think it's because there's like a quest to unlock it and we haven't done that quest. So I think, oh dear. Rostrum of transformation. Ah, oh, so this is where you customize your stuff. Okay, right. We did a lose. That's fine. We'll try it again. We'll try again. Hype train. Thank you for the gifted sub send. Much appreciated. There it is indeed. My God. You lot. I'm so kind of you over if we keep going right i reckon too but we'll, i'll just start up the battle before we do um uh, oh, crunch. oh i can place my no that's a that's a musketeer where's my i can't place my centurion yet um place units get units to thingy kill range enemies get three kills assist from buffing and place units in battles okay so let's plop a bomber down excuse me right so this is where we are there's the rostrum of transformation. That's where you transform, like that's where you customize your dragon for dragon riding and stuff. Um, and there's trainers and, and transformation trainers, stuff like that. But um, that's not what we need. We need the dragon. So we're going to continue onwards. And see if we can't find a way across. Um, hate to raid and fade. Muslim stuff. No worries at all, Ginger. I do the, I do the same thing. Like, literally every... I, I clock my stream off at 10 p.m. my time. Um, and so I... Look. <laughs> no, no hard feelings whatsoever. I hope you rest wonderfully well. And uh, hopefully we'll see you again next time. Um, hello, SW. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think this might be it.
think this might be the way that we get into the place. I can, of course. See you next time. Rest well. Um, do we go? Hi, maybe we go this well. way. Ah, oh, thank you so much for the prime sub, Ginger. Much appreciated. So generous of you. Oh my goodness. Nope, that's a okay. That's an ah. Uh, that's a wall of ice. Okay. Ah, uh, other way. There is one where the blue bit goes all the way into the brown bit of the next zone, so maybe that's the one? This is fun. Exploratory. Hmm. Uh, okay, so, oh my goodness. Holy cow. Loopy, thank you so much for the biddies. My goodness, that is, that is a few. Far out, thank you. So generous of you. Much appreciated. Holy cow. All of the hype. Yeah, okay, so this is also a dead end. Um, we're in, we're officially in Thaldrasis, but it's a dead end. Uh, this is interesting. So maybe that's the way that it's supposed to be like, no, you cannot proceed until you have learned dragon riding. That's an interesting concept. I enjoy hype trains, absolutely. They're a lot of fun and so many, so many emotes to unlock and stuff too. Level five, 43% to level five, goodness gracious. Oh my, um, right. So any further thoughts? Sheeps. I think I might, like, we can just kind of keep following the edge of the mountains. Um, I am, this is, this is interesting. I think we're fucked. <laughs> Good. Thank you for your candle. Um, I reckon you might be right. Frost jaw. Look at, ah, uh, is that the, is that the, um, the bear? model the the mount one i think it might be oh gosh candor uh no with a c uh it means like honesty it means like open honesty um uh can sometimes like it's kind of like you've got honesty and then candor and then bluntness so it's sort of at least that's what i've been and led to believe um yeah candor with a c I think the last zone requires dragon riding. Can't we go like all the way around? Can we like like around the edge, around the outside of the mountains where the mountains meet the water? Because I think to get dragon riding, we need to get spoilers. Like, I think we need to actually do leveling quests to be able to get dragon riding, um, which is unfortunate. Oh well, I should have done it while it was in alpha. Really? All right, what I reckon we do is we go back where those little baby whelplings were and we jump off just for funsies. Um, I don't, cause I don't think there's anything else that we can really test. There's PVP, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Um. There's a few profession updates, but um, our experience with mining last week tells me that I don't want to test out herbalism. Um. There haven't been any new changes. Fishing's locked behind a reputation, which Jas is going to test for us during the week to see if I'm safe to do it next week. Um, the UI is pretty much fully customizable now. Ooh. 
Good day to you. Um, we've tested out the press and hold casting, we've tested out the interact key, the action combat. Um, display name size adjustment. Players can now adjust a minimum on-screen text size to keep it legible. The text will also fade to indicate distance rather than shrinking in size. Um, enable this feature by typing slash console world text min size 16 in chat. Interface option will be added later into the accessibility options. Set to zero for off, eight minimum viable, and eight and 16 bigger for low vision use. Barbershop services are now free of cost. Uh, equipment set, skill bank, macro icon selection can now be chosen with a drag and drop from certain sources. Item spells, mounts, battle pets, and macros. Uh, macros do not spell... Blah, 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 that's a bug. Um, player interactions with NPCs into game objects that open UI windows has received an update, changing the way these interactions are handled on the back end. There's no player-facing design change, but with like alpha testers to help report bugs if there are any issues with UI dialogues from NPC and game objects. So yeah, th then that's it. That's that's it. So like, there's actually nothing um, that we can do. Uh, good. All right. Uh, well, with a K, it's a city on Krypton. Superman's planet. Oh, there you go. I did not know that. How's my training today? Ah, uh, so far so good. There's not a whole lot we can do, unfortunately. There are there are two things I can test. One of which I can't access, and the other way of which potentially has spoilers, which I'm not. Yeah, so Jas is going to test for spoilers during the week, and um, we're going to jump off a bridge. What? A, what is? Oh, it's my it's my murky. Oh no. Uh, all right. So, well, okay. I mean, look, I wanna I wanna jump off something fun. Hang on a second. I've been okay the whole time. Have you looked into crafting orders? No. Um, no, I haven't. And the reason for that is that a lot of the trainers and stuff are in Veldraken. And we can't get to Valdragon. Um, that's what we, we were trying to do here. We were like, we've run right through all the zones, and this is where we go to Thaldrassus, which is where Valdraken is, but you can't get there, it appears, without dragon riding. So it's like, oh. Um, hello, Loz, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Um, and the hype trade was a success. I've collect I've collected all of the level four emotes. I hope that uh, folk got a new, wait, emote or five. Ah, uh, this must be the way to get up. Like if the, once that once you fall off the bridge, this is the way to get back up, I think. Blizzard node. There doesn't seem to be a path up on the other side. <clears throat> so we wanted to test out the new quest line for new players to in the introduction to pet battling, but um, it would appear as though it is not for testing today, because <laughs> in order to get dragon riding, I have to do campaign quests, and y'all know how I feel about that. So here we go. This is the big bridge where you're supposed to be able to fly across Ah, uh, but you can't without dragon riding. And there's little babbies, little babby whelps that are like, and this person here says, no matter what these whelps keep coming back to jump off the bridge, I just try to make sure if anyone gets hurt that they are taken care of. Whee! Yep, no, no whirly wind to help save us. And I am squished. <laughs> Fun. Brilliant. Today I've gotten very proficient at cooking pearl barley, yeah! <laughs> I see you have the same recipe. Oh, we can't do flips. I see we have, wait. Oh no, I'm too far down. I wouldn't be able to, hang on. Um. 
No, 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 no. I mean, maybe, but no. Um, I want to see if I can get up to the top of the bridge. If, if I'm close enough to the top of the bridge to res. Um, hello, Coco. Welcome back. Or welcome on in, I should say. First time here. Hope you're doing well today. Made all our week lunch. So lots cooked. Yeah, we, we did too. We did too. Um, I don't think it's cooked just yet. Um, because I think Jess was doing some other bits and pieces. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm not. It's it's too low. The bridge is intentionally very high. But, um... This is where I'm trying to go. Over to here. And into Val Draken South Hold Gate. This is where we spawned in when we were testing the zone, I think. Yeah, and this is very much, like, look at all those differences in height. This is very much the dragon riding zone. Yeah, okay. That's, that makes sense. Found a spirit healer over there? Maybe. Maybe. There were a few spots where, that I ran past and I'm like, oh, well, that's a graveyard. Hmm, question is, can I remember without? <clears> hmm. <throat> Resident any graveyard. I'm not sure. That's why I'm sort of seeing if we can find one. Um, do you potentially have coordinates? Oh, not that I have coordinates. Ha! Um If you can if you can tell me where there might be one, I can I can go and have a hunt and see if I can find it. Um Spoil it. Uh, it's basically what I did, but for 14 lunches. New to our kind of welcome on in porn. Hope you're doing well today. I hope you're enjoying your journeys through Azeroth. Um, afternoon. Hello, Venus. Hope we're all having a beautiful day. Agreed. I hope you can say the same. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I was just asking hypothetically, not on the beta, my Google first wrong. Yeah, of course. Um... Yeah, if we can find where the graveyards are in Thaldrassus, that I think would be helpful. Because then if I can find where one is supposed to be, I can tell you if there's a spirit healer there. Okay, yeah, to break it, just focusing on being positive. Absolutely. Um, attempted is the first positive. They didn't succeed, so that's fantastic news. I'm sorry that you're going through that stress. That really sucks. But I think, I think focusing on the positives and, and um, all that, I think that's a fantastic place to start. And I'm, I'm really glad to hear that whatever security measures you have in place held up. That's fantastic news. Silver linings, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Look, sometimes, sometimes you really have to search for the silver lining. Like, you have to hunt for it, intentionally, like, find it to yourself. But, look... It's worth doing. It's it's really worth it. I'm glad to hear you're doing okay. Glad to hear you're you're safe. Oh goodness. Oh. Excuse me. Good at receiving Google ads for cemeteries near me. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um I feel like there should have been one down in those gardens, but, um...
you able to find a cursed place? <laughs> oh no. I could have sworn I remember seeing somewhere around this little area that I was like, huh, that is absolutely uh, like a spirit healer place. But, um... Okay, so that's something different. Here. No. That's a defensive spot. Okay. No, that's not a... Okay. Oi! It's a beautiful zone, though. The other problem with a place like Thaldrasis is that it's designed for dragon riding so that you can- these little, like, bits where you're gonna jump off, those are quite obviously dragon riding launch locations. So it's sort of... yeah. So those little projections that maybe would have been a graveyard in an earlier iteration are not here. Yeah, I think I do not think that we have outsmarted them. Sad. Yeah, a little bit. Some pretty spots though, even in, in grayscale. <laughs> like, that's just like... This place is gorgeous. Oh well. Oh yeah, this dude is me. Well, that kind of sucks. Um, so at this point, the only thing that I can really test is fishing, but there may or may not be spoilers in the way. So Jas will check that for us, and we can give it a crack next week if if it's spoiler free, and um, if not. Mmm. I might have to keep an eye on, um... Because, I mean, I was obviously just using the blue post from Blizzard to, to kind of... But now that the patch notes are so enormous because it's everything, I'm not sure that they're going to list all the little changes separately. They might. I hope they will. Um, but yeah, so that'll, that'll be an interesting thing to see how that works. So it's only letting you into the... No. No, we can play we can play retail. Um we can play live. It was more um because it's now beta rather than alpha. It doesn't just hand you everything. Like you don't get all of the flight paths. You don't get dragon riding handed to you or that kind of like you actually have to go and earn stuff by doing the quest chains and things like that. Um which I don't necessarily want to do because that will be give us spoilers for story and stuff like that. Um so yeah, that's all it is. Is it Org? Oh no, no, we start in Org. We start in Org. <laughs> okay, so I think, actually, what am I, where am I even going? I think we just, we finish up there and I switch over to live. Um... Oh goodness. Excuse me. Ah. Alright, where's the drop down? Let us select ourselves a world of Warcraft and let us play. 
So how are we all doing? Especially in June. Hey, fantastic meeting up to halfway through June. Well done. Well done. Um, I am behind. I don't know by how much, but I know I'm behind. Um, so. <clears throat> we are on Trimia. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more tunes to get through Maldraxxus. And I'm up to a priest. <clears throat> crafting orders only in the dragony zone um i'm not sure i i'm i'm genuinely not sure i know that there's a crafting table and that's in Beldraken, and there was some kind of implication it doesn't say anything in the development notes about work orders about crafting orders um so yeah and so i, I don't have any additional information on them oh, gotta do them with 20 alts <laughs> oh zam have fun best of luck um, so I am at the 1st of September. I'm up to the 1st of September. So I'm only a couple of days behind, three days behind, but that's still not ideal. Um, but I can, I'm going to minimize August. Hide August. Hide Rose. There we go. And it's the 4th today, so I'm three days behind. Can we catch up? That is the question. Can we catch up to today? Let me confer with my sources. No. Ye have such little faith. <laughs> I am offended. Shadowlands has just been a rough expansion to feel motivated to finish, though. Oh, has it? It hasn't for me. Um, prove me wrong then. Cheeky little what's it? Um, I honestly have had the same kind of motivation through Shadowlands as I have through previous expansions. I am, I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. Uh, I know that's not the case for everyone and that's, that's okay. That's valid. Um, but no, I've, I've been, I've been doing really well. I'm, Maldraxxus has been a difficult one to, it's not my favorite zone. Uh, so it's not been like Bastion by the end of Bastion. I, I had the flow down like after i'd run that many characters through bastion i like it was it just flowed beautifully and i was really happy with it uh maldraxxus feels a little more jumping around just a bit not by much but a little like enough um so it feels a little bit awkward but uh i feel like once i get into arden wield it's gonna start flowing again i hope at least uh, but we'll see we'll see so i've struggled a lot oh i'm sorry to hear that it really sucks well, hopefully the the new expansion will bring some joy, and uh, make make it a little more fun to play again. I found your lack of faith disturbing. Ah, uh, if that was for fear, not realistic. If it was for me, fair call. Cool. <laughs> know exactly where you're going after the first chunk of tunes. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. You you learn the pattern, and then you also learn like, oh, this is it's the end of the zone, and so then you get to the point where you're on a tune, and you're like, wait. I'm going there. That's the last chunk of the zone. I'm almost done with this character. I, you know, and it gets, yeah, it gets kind of exciting. <laughs> it gets kind of exciting. Um, oh, we're getting to have to say I like to be a fae though. I know a lot of folks struggle with that. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I'm, I think I'm a bad person to compare to. Like, I love WoW. I thoroughly enjoy playing World of Warcraft, but I also love streaming. And I like like vast majority of my game time is when I'm live. I, I sometimes very rarely have the occasional little session offline, but not often at all, not very often at all, uh, just because of how busy I am, which is fine. That's my own doing, but um, yeah. So my, and I love streaming. I love connecting with you guys. I love chatting with you guys and, and I love gaming. And so when I'm doing both at the same time, sometimes it can be a little difficult to tell, am I enjoying myself because I'm playing the game 
or am I enjoying myself because I'm streaming? Or is it, or is it both? There are some days when I just have a rotten time because like, you know, whatever's happening in game is, is not super great and we've got trolls and stuff and it's just, everything's a bit crap. You but vast day majority day. of the time I enjoy myself, but come the end of a stream, I'm happy. And whether or not that's because I've been getting to play a game or because I've been able to stream, it's it's really difficult to tell the difference. Um, so because I started streaming like the end of Warlords of Draenor, that's three expansions worth of time that I've that I've been streaming. Um, so it's gotten to the point where it's it's hard to tell the difference. Um, so yeah, it's fun. It's it's an interesting kind of thought experiment. Um, is beta down at the moment? Uh, not that I I just logged off it uh, logged off at Potato, so I don't think so. Um, I don't believe so. <laughs> Um, you learn the OXYZ world quest is up. I need to do ABC. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Um. That. Done. All right. Oh, and I can... All right, good. Ah, uh, yeah, since I've been looking at streams, maybe I want to play more. Love for WoW is pretty infectious. Aw, thank you. I'm I'm so pleased to hear that. It's um, I mean, technically, it's a part of my job, right? I'm an influencer. I'm. You should you should want to do what I'm doing when I'm done with you, kind of thing. But I'm I'm really glad that it's working. It means I'm good at what I do, and that that makes me just immeasurably happy. So thank you for the feedback. Uh, I choose to believe it's because of us. We're pretty awesome, remember? You are. You are so awesome. So very awesome. I can't wait to meet you guys at PAX. I am so excited to be able to sit down. Even if I'm running around like a headless chook before and after, I'm so looking forward to sitting down and just being with you guys for a bit and, and sharing some food or not sharing. There is no, no pressure either way, of course. Um... But just having some food together and just spending some time just sitting and being, you know. For once, I can shut up and you lot can talk. <laughs> and that'll be, I reckon that'll be a pretty special experience. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and if we got a bleed DH since I only have one and immediately, oh no, Meanie! Oh no. This is, this is why I love my GSE. I just, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. correct that. Oh, I just, I should, it should have just updated. Uh, you may have to refresh to see the update, though. Um, just noticed you. Yeah, I had it in my head as I was switching programs. I'm like, I need to redo the the title, and then um, I was like, Oh no, wait, hang on. Uh, forgot. I got too caught up in in data and um, and forgot to change the thing. <clears throat> uh, this button. So, um, uh, we got the ingredients for the freak shakes for the chocolate milkshake day post on Instagram today. Um, would you like to see just an image of the finished result or do you want to see some kind of video of, of us attempting to put these damn things together? What are we thinking? Um, and to be honest, someone else, the bed was down. Yeah, making them. Yeah, we, we decided to make them because, um, like, traveling somewhere that has good ones that are, like, Instagrammable and stuff, we, we end up realizing we just don't have time. Um, it, it takes, it'd be like a whole trip, and I'm, I'm rapidly running out of time to do things that I need to do prior to packs and things like that. Uh, rapidly running out of time. Uh, so I just kind of thought, no, you know what, we'll, um, We'll just, we'll just make them ourselves. And that way, all the extra bits of, like, if they put, you know, if you put one cookie on it, you get the rest of the pack of cookies to eat. So, <laughs> so we've got some treats and stuff as well. Um, DJ, Meaty, Turbo, Fade, and V, congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Uh, yeah, so we ended up, ended up deciding that we're going to make them ourselves. Um, but the, it'll, it'll be fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. The little craft project that I get to eat. Film for content, even just do one for stories, reels like you do for makeup. Ah, fair. That's yeah. That's a really good idea, actually. 
I could even make it a whole separate day if I wanted to. I'd probably post it on the same day, because, um... Because, uh, yep. Uh... I have quests to turn in, so I should turn those in. Because it might give me quests to place certain things. It might not, but it might. Alright, perfect. Um... Can eat our craft projects. Some of them, not all of them. Some of them. There we go. So Centurion is down, which means I get to turn that. Where's there? We go. My daily drop. Perfect. And place those units. <clears throat> Alright, I'm uh, really hoping I can ca at least catch up. I don't need to necessarily, I would love to get ahead, but my goal today is just to catch up. And I know that's a big ask, because each day is like two levels, and two levels is a zone, which means if I've got three days, I need to get through three tunes, and I know that takes a while. Uh, so we'll, we'll see how we go. Not the one Mrs. Helix makes, no, and I saw the beautiful potions. My goodness, they're gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I would wear the heck out of a pair of those earrings. Like, my god. Uh, alright. Onwards to the next one. At least not with that attitude. <laughs> Look, you could probably recreate them with fondant, but they wouldn't be fun to eat. So hypothetically, what color? <laughs> um, probably orange. If if because we're talking neon, right? And so and like red, like when you when you think of fear, you know, red is red is a thing. But I think with a glow, I think an orange glow is just that little bit extra something and I think like the like fluorescent orange like the orange of the color of the like the the timer over there against my dark red hair I think would just look phenomenal for for example promo shots you know um because you, you you know you got to think product photography here how are they going to look on what kind of backdrop? And if you've got this kind of color hair as a backdrop, I mean, green would also look phenomenal, but I think orange would just have like a something there. Yeah, look, I'm a content creator. I can't help but think like that. <laughs> this is what I do now. This is what I do now. Um, but yeah, no, I, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> Although I do have neon yellow and neon pink eyeshadow that I could like. <laughs> Although I think the pink might be maybe a touch too much. Wait, 57. What? Oh, I'm on the wrong tune. You know what? I don't care. She's still supposed to be in Maldraxxus, so it's fine. Um, this is, this is, so when you've got all the green ones, I was trying to log on to the top one. I have inadvertently logged on to the bottom one. That's fine. Um, so I've hit 57, and she's going to get to 58 in Maldraxxus, uh, and that's just fine. I had to do it eventually anyway. Might as well do it now. And it'll also give me a bit of a head start towards getting to uh, catch up on today. Because uh, that's 66.53, and that means I've got a day. I'm up to, I'm two days behind now. Accidental level up, best kind of accident. Well, no, it was, I knew she was going to ding. I just, I was expecting her to ding 56, not 57. This, because it's still a priest. That's the problem. Uh, we don't have a glow in the dark orange pigment. Let's see what we can do. Currently testing different liquids and how soluble the color and effect papers. Oh, funky. So what colors do you, what colors have you picked up already, Do What colors do you have in stock? 
<clears throat> I've tried water, oil, and rubbing alcohol. Ooh, okay, interesting. Yeah. Because that would be really funky if you had something it's soluble in and something it's not soluble in. And then you mixed it through it so that it created like veins where it didn't dissolve properly and it just sort of layered and stuff. Yeah, no, that would be very, very cool. I have no idea if that's even close to possible, but I think it'd be really funky. Leveling so soon. I know, Yuri. Well, we, so there are only two things in, so far in the beta that I could test without spoilers. And it turns out one of them is locked behind story quests. So behind spoilers. Uh, and the other one, I'm not sure. It's, it's locked behind something, but I don't know if that's spoilers or not. So Jas is going to give it a crack this week and see what he can figure out and then tell us whether or not we'll be okay. Um, I, I want to, but I don't, I don't want to spoil myself. That's, it's a line. I have drawn it. It is a thing. Leave my way, I mean, she has gone for liquids. Could probably be done with resin instead. Oh, cool. Okay, fair. That's really interesting. But experimenting with new fun toys is always the best thing. Oh, excuse me. It's fair enough. Yeah, it's um, yeah. Look, I am. I'm really. What I've seen and experienced so far, I'm. I'm so excited for Dragonflight. I'm in the camp where I don't mind when it gets here, like. There are so many people who are like, I just want it to hurry up and get here. I'm so done with Shadowlands. I just want to play Dragonflight. And I'm kind of like, look, if it if it released tomorrow, I'd be okay with that. But if it released, if it, if it was delayed, I'd also be okay with that because I have enough to do. Uh, glow in the dark, we have a light green. Had various levels of success mixing up the pigments. Oh, of course. Yeah, of course. Ooh, that'd be so fun. Color theory, come through. Thank you, Lander. Thank you. Flight zones are very similar to BFA. In what way, Bless? Also, welcome on in. Hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Slow, prefer it delayed. I still have too many things to do. Yeah, fair, fair. Look, it'll come, it'll get here when it gets here, and we don't really have much of a say in it, but uh, we can keep ourselves occupied until then. Food things, she makes coloured chalk or pastels with liquid sculpty, for example. Oh, that's fun! I would never have thought to do that. That's really funky. Because I guess coloured chalk is literally just pigment with other powder that's been like wet and put in a form, right? Oh, just thinking about chalk is making me get like goosebumps. The texture of chalk, I don't. Oh, nah. Like chalkboards and stuff, just. Ugh. Um, also just the resonator. Yeah, of course, of course. Especially if you can find like little see-through containers that you can put, like you can pour the resin into. That, yeah. Definitely a funky idea. And then you can get all sorts of like fun resin molds as well. Um, so you can, you know, mix up your funky stuff and then pour it into the mold, let it set, pop it out of the silicon and kind of go with it from there. You could, you could make like resin forms as the base and then decorate it with other stuff and, and all that kind of like there are there are a lot of options. Resin seems to be quite versatile in especially in jewelry making applications. Uh, but yeah, that's so cool. 
the stuff she's been making has just been phenomenal. Like, I, I wish I had the time to cra I've got all these little craft ideas knocking around in my skull and I just don't have time to do any of them. And it's making me kind of sad, honestly. Uh, no, no jealousy. Like, please do keep sharing. Um, but yeah, it just, oh man. So many good ideas and I just can't do. Um, if you look at the zone's previous VOD, the lore and environment, it is very similar to Storm Song Valley, to Road Sound, etc. Um, uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I, I didn't see that at all. Sorry. Um, I, I still don't quite have the connection between them, personally. I mean, they're all very lush and green and beautiful, for sure. Like, that's something they definitely have in common. Um, but in terms of lore... I'm not, look, to be honest, I haven't looked much into the lore because a lot of it will be spoiler territory and we are very much, very firmly, no spoilers here, absolutely, at all. Um, so, like, maybe I'll make more of a connection once I learn the storyline, once I play through the campaign stuff. Um, but, I mean, like, there are lots and lots of lush environments that have a lot of greenery and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think the architecture looks completely different to most of what we've seen. I th it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, uh, yeah, I, I just, I'm, mm, yeah. Maybe I'll make the connection once I once I start playing through Dragonflight. May I tempt you with my way? Hello, Smad. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy my amazing spreadsheet. I love it so much. Go. The 8.0 BFA zones. Some of my favorite zones. Lovely fell. They are pretty gorgeous. Excellent. A new test subject. Go, and we turn that yeah. in. And off we go to kill some stuff. Um, how many do you have left in Maldraxxus? Seven. This is my seventh lot. And so including this one. So six more after this one. We're getting there. I'm currently accidentally on Leer Leader, who is the bottom most green one. Mm, are you leveling 50 characters to 60? I am. Well, technically no. Technically I'm leveling 48 characters to 60. Um, they're all 50 plus, like all those, the numbers in there are their levels at the moment. Um, so they're all 50 plus. The two at the top that have the lines through them, Sindeli and Oahu, uh, my 51 tunes, they're not going to be leveled because I'm going to delete them to make my evokers when I have the ability to do so. Um, so I, I will get to 50 60s once I can level my evokers. So uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, I got them all to 50 prior to Lovers in the Air at the start of this year and I'll get them all to 60 prior to Lovers in the Air next year because I want the heartbreak amount. And they need to be 60 to be eligible for it. And 50 attempts a day is 750 attempts for the whole two week um, uh, event. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm, I'm all sorts of specials, man. I have a, a habit of setting myself these, these unachievable goals, and then going and achieving them. So, yeah, look. It's fun. Experimenting with Evokers and Beta, very interesting. They are, they are very interesting. They're very different. They're different to play, that's for sure. That is mad. I am, I'm having a lot of fun with the Dragon. Enjoying myself thoroughly. And I mean, it means I have like a ton of tunes available for uh, like transmog hunting and mount farming and all that kind of stuff as well. Like my literal army of alts, it, it just helps me in so many of my completionist goals. So yeah, no, I'm quite happy with how far I'm coming, uh, how, how far I've come so far and how I don't have that far to go, which is pretty amazing. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked. I'll say it's fun. You're leveling all 50 for this mount? Yes. Yes. It is a 1 in 3,333 drop, and it is only available two weeks out of the year. 
get one attempt per turn per day for those two weeks. So if you have one character, you get 15 attempts if you stay up till because there's one day that's like three hours long. It's like lock out to 4 a.m. So you have you have 15 attempts every year if you have one tune that's eligible. If you have 50 tunes that are eligible, you get 750 attempts a year. Uh, Fell, the name has changed. It is the Heartbreaker. It's the Heartbreaker mount. Uh, I don't know, I got it this year and it wasn't even that hard. Yeah, look you. Look you. <laughs> That's right. We'll get it. It'll drop. It will drop. Imagine you get it on first day, first turn. Yeah, people keep saying that, but that's fantastic. If I get it on the first day, on the first turn, it means I don't have to fucking run it for two goddamn weeks. <laughs> I only have to run it once. Hey, presto. I still have the tunes, and they can be used for other stuff too. Last year, so February is, is a cluster of a month for me. It's Love is in the Air, uh, and I, last year, this year, last time, so 2022 in February, all 15 days, I streamed every attempt. So it was a minimum of three hours per day that I was streaming, and then my usual stream days, I extended that out to the six hour stream, right? Uh, and then the final one was a 12 hour stream, because I did my three hours worth of stuff, and then I did the rest of my stream, and then I kept going, and then at one in the morning, did my three my, my three hours worth of attempts again, and then clocked off and went to bed. Uh, so, like, if I and then and then it's my birthday in February as well. Like in the middle of all that, in the middle of Lovers in the Air is my birthday, and then it's also my stream anniversary. It'll be seven years next February that I've been streaming. So it all happens in one month. Uh, so if it drops on the first day, I get to not stream like a headless chicken. For, for two weeks, and I'm very happy with that. I get some sleep, which would be nice. It's true to be fair to level five shamans to from the shamans. That is exactly look, and that's and that's it, right? Got it. Got to do it if you want it, eh? Unrelated note: Got my first million in my second. Ah, oh, fantastic, Zam! Congratulations! That's such a huge milestone. Well done. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to Lovers in the Air, and I'm looking forward to getting them out, and then never having to run that bloody thing. It's the only item I have left from Lovers in the Air to get. I've got all the transmog, I've got all the mounts and pets and everything else. The only thing I need now is the Heartbreaker. I was leveling a shaman per week till I got it. So glad it happened so soon. Oh, for sure, absolutely, absolutely. Oh dear. The things we do for the things we want, right? <laughs> yeah, and that'll be like once I'm once I'm done with my leveling, I'll be straight back onto that ATT train. <laughs> I've got so many things to get. How many mounts do you have? Oh, 660... I want to say 667, but I think that's wrong now. Give me a second. 677. I was 10 down. 677. That's account-wide, of course. Um... So, like, ones that amount a uh, horde only, or alliance only, or covenant specific, or includes all of those. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back into to mount farming as well once the leveling's done. I just, like, we, we usually would do mount farm Monday, right? Uh, every Monday was, was mount farming session, but, um... I, I got to the point where I'm like, I need to focus on my leveling because I'm not sure I'm going to get it done in time. So, like, any spare moment that I have uh, on, on stream and stuff is just, yeah, level, 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 level. So, yeah, it's, uh, but we'll get there. And this way we'll get there faster. Wiggles eyebrows. And we have a, um, 
a, a marathon coming up this month. Uh, it's kind of kind of like a subathon, but instead of subs or donations or bits extending the timer, uh, it's Throne contributions. Throne is a, a privacy first wish list service for content creators. Um, and I have a crowdfund gift on there um, uh, for a new phone because mine is old and dying, the battery's trash. Um, and a new phone would also, like, firstly, I need a new phone, but secondly, upgrading my phone would allow me to create better quality content uh, for my socials and stuff. Uh, better camera, basically, <laughs> means better image quality, means better better socials, right? So um, I, I've popped on there a thing as a crowdfund gift. Um, so people are able to chip in towards a phone. And so I'm going to do a marathon later on this month and see if we can't drum up some contributions. So any any throne contribution will extend the timer and it'll be a maximum of 36 hours across three days because I'm, I have chronic illness, so I'm not, like, I can't do that long straight. I wish I could, but I'm not that young anymore. Uh, but yeah, so... And though that that time spent live with the contributions and stuff, I'm planning on leveling. So I reckon if I can if I can get there, what did I? Oh, whoops. If I can if we can get there and fund the phone, I reckon I'll be damn close to getting these sixties done. And then I can jump back into mount farming and transmog hunting and pets and toys and ugh, all that fun stuff. I'm very excited. Very excited. I have 493 mounts and I'm one mount away from the Fell Town! Fantastic! Best of luck, Fell. I'm sure you'll get it. I'm sure you'll get it soon. Uh, what phone are you looking at? iPhone 13. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. it is in the link, but that's okay. I'm happy to uh, I'm happy to answer. I've currently got an iPhone 8, um, so I'm looking at an iPhone 13. Um, I, I'm familiar with the Apple OS and I enjoy using it. I like the way that it works for me. Um, I've got quite a few apps that I use that are iOS only and stuff like that. So I know a lot of people have said, why don't you go for a Samsung or another an Android phone? And I know they're good phones and I, I believe that wholeheartedly, but there are things that I use for stream, like for my back end of streaming that are apps that are iOS only. Um, and so the the time it would take me to find something that works on a different OS would it, it just it's not worth it at this point of my like growth and stuff. It'd just be a bit hard. So yeah, um, I'm looking at iPhone 13, um, and that way I hope that it'll future proof it just a little bit as well. Going for like one of the newest models. I'm not going for like a pro or a big chunk. Like I I'm small. I'm 5'3", I'm in proportion, so I have small hands as well. I can't hold a bloody tablet phone, a phablet. I can't, so, um, <laughs> but that's a good thing because the smaller ones tend to be cheaper. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, yeah. That's going to be an awesome upgrade. I, I really, yeah, it will be. So I, I hope we can get there, but it is, it's a lot to ask. I, I know it is. Um, so I'm just, you know, as, as close as we can get, I, I will be happy with, with anything, any kind of progress. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. So we go, doesn't include, doesn't also amounts I have in the bank. Why don't you use them, Phil? Why do you have to have them in, why do you have them in the bank? You can't use them if they're there. Um, it's got my water totem after running length of the Barrens twice, traveling to Eastern Kingdoms twice and going through Ashenvale. Oh no. Good old class of the good old days. Yep. Oh dear. Look, I, I understand, like, a lot of people love the challenge that Classic brought. Um, and they want to be challenged in that way. And that's totally fine. I, I tend to make my own challenges. Um, in terms of, you know, trying to get all this different transmog and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I find that just challenging enough for me. But, um, yeah, no, absolutely no shade to people who love that different kind of challenge. Um, more power to them. They have access to it and how, you know, that's awesome. It's there for people who want it and that is freaking brilliant. But it is not, it's not for me. Not, not long term anyway. I, I have had a, like, I've gone and dabbled and played a, a session or two and it's been a lot of fun, especially with the reminiscing because I played. I started playing back in BC. But long term, not, not for me. Not for me. I feel like uh, I'm... I'm using the wrong talents. No wonder stuff isn't working the way it's supposed to. Where are we going?
That's the one. Uh, perfect. All right. Things should die a little bit faster now. Um. Influences the rest of us. So do you say challenge? It is not a challenge. It's just slower. I I beg to differ. Um, I believe that going and having to do a quest chain to unlock something rather than just learning it from a trainer. Like, the quest chain is, is definitely more of a challenge. It is also slower, but I don't think it's just slower. I think it, you know, you actually have to put some effort into getting bits and pieces for your class, for your character. Um, but that's alright. Look, opinions can be different, and that's totally fine. I should have got to present here when I'm silly. Players on the way, well done. And of course, Baron's chat. Oh lord. Yep, mm hmm. I don't want the fell tile mirror with getting all. It's currently the missing the 750 metal mount. Fantastic! Well done. Well done. Well, fingers crossed you get there soon. Okay. I figured out my demon hunter problem was in havoc. Good. Well done. Well done. Look, you figured it out, and that's what matters, right? You got there in the end. Can't argue with that. <clears throat> Hunter is now 60, ready to transfer accounts! Hey, amazing! Well done, matey! That's so good! How many 60s are you at now? I don't know. Really? Okay. No, I, I believe that. It's I'm surprised, but I believe it. And that's no no harm for that. That's okay. You're just working through, you're working towards your own goal, which is a little bit different to, to a number of characters. You've got a very different goal. one. Don't you have a spreadsheet to track them? <laughs> oh dear. If you don't, I have a handy one you can use. Four more weapons. Let's just drop down and grab those. Hello, Hops. Welcome on in. Hope you enjoy my wonderful spreadsheet. It tells you all about my army of alts. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I, I love my spreadsheet and I really like talking about it. So, ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Most I've deleted over time once finished with most are on the account I'm currently ignoring. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I have a spreadsheet too. 45 max level starter show lands. Well done, Hops. Congratulations. Ready for next week to level though, because time walking is this. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've got too many to level. I can't really wait, unfortunately, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll get there. 
Banana bread is in the oven. Oh, delicious. I love banana bread. It's so tasty. So moist. Warm with a bit of butter. Fantastic. Ah, uh, Wednesday classes don't be getting spreadsheet organized for ETT. Oh, for sure. That is a, a good plan. Good plan. Uh, Fade, Snow, Joe, and Krug, congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Well done. Can we have some? Agreed. I, I, I agree with this statement. Morning, Haley. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. Um, let's plonk this one down. Twenty-seven left to level. Fantastic! Oh, you're getting there. Amazing. Yeah, I've got uh, what I've got fifteen. 15 at 60, so I've got 33 left to level, because two of them I'm going to be deleting uh, to make space for evokers, so they won't be, I won't be leveling those ones up, but I've still, I will still get to 50, 60s, it'll just take me a bit longer. Um, yeah. So 33 of them still to go, but they're all 55 plus now, so that's a start. On the way. That's why I have five free slots. Yeah, no, nah, I'm uh I had my I had my fifty tunes for the Heartbreaker Farm for Lovers in the Air. And um I don't want to delete them prior. And then if there's some kind of delay and we end up having Lovers in the Air during Shadowlands again and I am missing two tunes, then no, absolutely not. Um so I mean I'm I'm Doubtful that it'll be delayed by a whole last two months, but um, just in case, you know, heaven forbid, if the worst case did happen, I'd still have my fifty that I could get the the heartbreaker on. Sixties, um, some dedication. Thank you, thank you, Inzano. I'm yeah, I'm doing well. I'm getting there. A little bit behind currently, but not by much, and I still reckon I can catch. So I just gotta keep keep going. I'll get there. I get to use all my tunes last time, so I'm not too worried. Ah, fair. Yeah, no, I got through my 50 tunes every day for the 15 days. Streamed every attempt. 750 attempts. No heartbreaker. That's alright. Has to drop one day. We just gotta get there. If you don't do the attempts, it won't drop. So I just gotta do them, gotta be there, rock up, do the thing. And one day Aaron Jesus will see fit to bless me. Alright, where are... This one. Um... Yeah, no heartbreaker. 1600 attempts total. 750 this year. I'm quite glad that it's a nice clean number. Makes my brain happy. How can I serve? That, Zam. That will be a moment. Everyone will claim that badge. <laughs> 2nd of August, I had 1160s. Well done. What are, how are you now on the 4th of September? Um, hello, Taze. Doing well, thanks. Hope you can say the same. And what have you done lately? 24! Holy cow! 13 up. new ones! Well done! Well done. Press both accounts of 13. We'll be keeping them all, of course, of course. But that's still impressive. Well done. Look how you guys are smashing it. You're doing much better than I am. Much better than I am. Um, thanks, fantastic. He's gonna spend all those hours, 3,500 attempts. Can't find it since the name change of the drop. Ah, can't find it since the name change. Ah, oh, so no, my my rarity carried it across because it's still the same item ID. Like, the, the item number is still the same, it's just got a name change, so it should still be able to track it from previous attempts. 
Um, but yeah, no, I, I do not have children. Um, I do work. I have a, I have a day job as well as, um, streaming, uh, and spending essentially full-time work hours on the stream. And then I've got a part-time day job. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, it's, I, I made the time because like, yeah, this is, this is my business and I'm, I'm growing my business, uh, slowly but surely we're getting there. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's worth it to, for me to invest that kind of time into it because I'm, I'm literally growing a business and, um, people really want to see those moments. People want to see those holy fuck kind of moments. Um, so yeah, I, uh, make sure that I was live when I was doing them. But obviously that is a very different situation to most players and I, I get that, I totally understand that. Um, very few people have the kind of time that I do to invest into that kind of stuff. Uh, and that's okay. You, know, you do what you can and you have fun doing it. And that's what matters. Um, can't play this only anymore on... Huh? Can't play this one anymore. Sorry, I'm not sure which word there is supposed to be replaced with only taze, but that's right. Um, also, leveling differently. We are, we are. If he has chat instead of children, which is worse. Oh, infinitely worse, Sam. I don't have to feed you, though, so that's good. Last event, man. I need... Oh, well, best of luck for February Hops. I wish you all the luck. All the luck in the world. Except the amount I need to get mine, of course. That part's mine. The rest of it can be yours. <laughs> oh, dear. Chatron? Oh lord. Yeah, look, that's that's a thing, isn't it? That's that's a thing. Oh dear. Basically Zam and Sheeps, they start everything around here. Look. I reckon. You might be close to right. You might be close to right. Ah, oh dear. This one's getting... Oh, we're about halfway through. What's that? Yeah, 52.05%. 50, uh, halfway through 57. So I reckon she's gonna hit 58, but she'll only, like, just get into 58. So she'll have two whole levels to do. Uh, and I don't think Arden Wheel will be enough. I think she'll have to at least step foot into Revendreth. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. So we're looking at my character screen now when so few aren't 60. It's weird, isn't it, Yuri? It, it like, you gotta kind of scroll to find the 50s. Yep. It's weird. I I feel you. I'll accept anything I start, which I won't acknowledge. So yep, everything there for uh huh uh huh. Sure. Sure. Uh, Fia, if I want to use your fab spreadsheet, is it just a matter of plugging in my character details or is there anything else I need to change? It depends. Um, if you are doing the full 50-50s, then there shouldn't be... Um, so, if you if you want to use the progress stuff, like the goals and things like that, you will need to change some stuff and it does require some math uh, because it's not like... I, I'm not good enough with programming Excel to, to make everything sort of calculate stuff automatically. Um, so if you plug in all of your character names, your factions, your classes, your races, and the levels, the levels will automatically calculate the percentage. 
as long as so if you're if you're trying to level to like from 50 to 60 you can use the 50 60s one there's another tab further along that's the 50 50s and that's for leveling from zero like one to 50. so if you have if you're trying to get them to 50 use the other one if you're trying to get to 60 you can you can stick them together if you like but that requires a bit of it, a bit more on top of that math um if you plug all your tunes in uh, it will average out, so currently the progress up the top, the big capitals progress and then the 66.53, that is assuming you're doing 48 tunes. Because I'm not leveling the mage or the druid, because that puts me to, that like, those are my, those are going to be evokers. So if you're doing 48 tunes, the number will be accurate. If it isn't, all you need to do is click on the, the percentage one and in the formula bar where it says 48, change that number to how many tunes you have, including 60s. So I want to have a total of 48 60s when I'm done, so the number's 48. If you want to have 12 60s, you change that number to 12, etc. cetera. Um, then for the, like for the weekly goals, it's, it's a little trickier. Uh, basically, you look at where you are now and 100. So you take, take 100 and minus where you are now in terms of percentages, so 100 is 1, 12% is 0.12, you know, yep. So 1 minus your current percentage, and then divide that number by how many weeks you have until your goal. And then you'll have, like, you know, your, your first one is, is equals current percentage plus your weekly amount that you just calculated. And then from then on, it can just be sell above plus weekly, weekly percentage, sell above plus weekly percentage, and then just you kind of click the corner and drag it down to extrapolate and then it should like your sanity check is that your deadline should say 100.00 if that if it does then you're golden um but yeah it's uh there's there's a bit of math in there but it's not it's not too difficult it's all as simple as it can be um It's perfect, just so I know where I need to go with it. Of course, yeah, there's there's a few bits and pieces you'd have to change depending on what you want to do, but it's not it's not hard. You don't need a, a degree to figure it out. Um it's just it's just a bit mathy. Um you merge them, brilliant. So like, hello Jack, welcome back, hope you're doing well. What's up? Spreadsheet goes one to sixty. Get a plan. Um hey Josh, welcome back. So refer to that message you sent me explaining whenever I have to recalculate. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh dear. Uh, oh dear. Sorry, Sam, I'm still cooking, so didn't say it. Ah, oh, bugger. That's okay. Uh, you need to get one to 70 soon. Lol, well, yeah, I really need to get things tracked on where I am. Yeah, um, so the 71, I can't do it just yet because I don't do, the, my percentages aren't based on level out of 60. Um, that's why the, like, the really super pale gray stuff is the amount of experience needed to get from 50 to 51 and then 51 to 52, and I do it by that. Um, so until I know, until we have on live the finalized figures of how much experience is needed for each level, I can't do a spreadsheet. Um, I, I can do the skeletons of one, but I can't like do the, the proper math stuff yet. Um, which is okay, like that's that's fine. Uh, I don't need to yet, um, but I will, I will eventually. Uh, I won't need to have a full set of 70s until the next expansion because six, 60 will be enough for them to do most things in terms of collectibles and stuff the only thing they can't do is be eligible for like once once we get the next expansion the requirement for the heartbreaker will go up i'm hoping i will get it during dragonflight i may not there is a good chance that I may not, but if I do get it during Dragonflight, I won't need to get them all to 70. Um, so I'm sort of 
I'm I'm kind of un, I'm undecided how I'm gonna handle that. Um, I may still level them, but just do it like super super chill, like one tune every couple of weeks or whatever. Um, but yeah, or I may do a leveling extravaganza at some point later on down the track. Uh, but yeah, as as it stands at the moment, I'm just gonna get fear like my main to to seventy, uh, and probably my tunes for um, like professions and things because I've got a set of characters that across all of them I have every profession. Um, and then we'll just see how we go from there. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I don't bother updating the progress, I'm just chasing down your original. Obviously we need to adjust it all in the future, but maybe, of course, of course. Um, totally fine. But yeah, the, the skeleton of the spreadsheet will be identical um, when it goes from 60 to 70. It'll just have some different stats and stuff. Different numbers. Season of Love Rocket, that's my favorite. And, and that's exactly it. That's why I'm getting my 50 60s. And then the bloody thing's gonna drop. Heartbreaker will drop. And then I won't have to level anything ever again if I don't want to. I mean, I want the Heartbreaker, and so that's why I'm like, I still want the 60s for that reason. But like, yeah, it's, um, I have more of a choice. Why can't you apply conditional formatting to a whole column and sheets? Grr. You can, question mark? I thought you could. I have. Like, the class stuff. The classes are conditionally formatted so that they're the class colours. When you type it in, it or if you type in mage, it automatically goes that particular shade of pale blue. So it should be... it should be fine. Should, question mark. And of course you want to get them all max level DFA score. Yeah, look. DFA score doesn't count towards you, like having alts level doesn't count towards your completion score. Maybe, maybe I'd prefer to use that time to actually boost my site ranking. Because I haven't been able to do any of that in a very long time. Like how long has it been since we've had a toy farming stream or a pet farming stream? It's been ages. Mixing the sheet doesn't work. Ah, oh, right. Okay, gotcha. I understand. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Can you once you extend the sheet, can you go into the conditional formatting and just change the range to be D one to D whatever you've just extended it to? I know you shouldn't have to, but I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. Better than having to redo the whole set of conditional formatting. Hey, it does. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. I'm lazy. Yeah, no, me too. Yep. Mm -hmm. If I don't have to do something, I won't. Prefer leveling everything to 70. I'm, I'm really keen to like level up a whole bunch of pets and get a whole ton of new toys and spend a, a, like a week or two just farming anima on as many tunes as I can to try. I, I checked, I did a stupid and I, um, I had uh, account wide ATT turned on and I moused over one of the orbs in, in the, on the, the, the sanctum. Like, you know when you've got, like, and it's got the anima collection orb and then it's got your upgradable thing? I moused over it and ATT kindly provided me with a tooltip that told me all the things that I could purchase with my reservoir anima. And also informed me that I needed 1.4 million anima to purchase it all. Thank you, ATT. Whatever would I do without you? So yeah, that's a, that's a fun. Um, uh, you can insert rows in the middle, which keeps formatting. There you go. That's a nice idea. Uh, what's your in-game plan for today? Art level. Get as many new dings on my account as I can and try to catch up. 
because I'm a couple days behind. I'm two days, literally a couple, two days behind uh, on my goals as of today. Uh, so I'd like to catch that up. If I can get ahead, even better. But I just, I'd be happy with caught up for today. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Hey, Konzak, welcome on in. Hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Although you make that in a day. Yeah, look, not as a content creator, you bloody don't let me tell you. Um, <laughs> Yeah, look, it, what, if I if I actually focused on it, if I made a concerted effort to get as much anima as I could, um, I'd be great. But I don't have the time for that at the moment, so I'm gonna have to like put in put it in the schedule for stream, like anima farming stream. But I have a feeling I'd probably have some company for that, so I don't think it's uh, I don't think it'll be too bad. And it's not about it. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a fair bit. Um, you do fewer than all than all the things. Yeah, look. You know I mean, if ATT didn't exist, I mean, yeah, but like that would make us all sad, wouldn't it? No happy brain juice noises. I have 240k anima and anime caches on my tunes. I don't have to move them from tables too often. Oh my lord, that's great. Far out. Yeah, see, I don't do as many keys as you do, though. Like, I would assume that keys are your, like, main source of anima, Jack. Um, and I, I just don't. I don't raid. I don't do keys. I, yeah, so that's not... Mm. I am, I am anima poor. I'm not faster to level in dungeons, though, over quests. Uh, possibly. It depends. Uh, it depends on what you're playing. So, tank or healer versus DPS. Like queue times and things, if you have a full group that you know you can just get straight in and then go and then get out and get straight in and go and get out. If you have a group that you're that you rely that, that are reliable, sorry, that um you know aren't gonna like mess up or, or take some really weird route that that pulls too many things or something. If you're pugging it, God no. Uh absolutely not. Um I prefer not to rely on others for my leveling. And I prefer so if if I'm in a group with people. There, there's a chance that they're going to hold me back or I'm going to hold them back at, at different times. Um, you got to wait for queues to pop. Uh, and then when a queue does pop, you might get a dungeon that sucks um, or you might get a group that sucks. It's just too variable. And I don't like how variable it is. So personally, and I, I actually love questing. I really enjoy, it's kind of like my happy place where I can sort of zone out and, and get shit done. Um, so I quite enjoy it this way. Not everyone does, and that's totally understandable. And you should, app the, the fastest way to level is the way that you enjoy, because time flies when you're having fun. Uh, so that is what I'd recommend to other people who are leveling, that you do what is most fun for you. Uh, but this is what's most fun for me. Um, whether or not you believe that is your problem. <laughs> but I, I thoroughly enjoy um, playing it through at my own pace and, and just getting it done at, at my at my at my at my timing uh, but yeah I have like 1.1 anima left to get i think I have so much focus on other content in att that is not shadowlands oh yeah absolutely con i i feel you i feel you on so many levels it's yeah <laughs> yes um and look one day and i mean th there's gonna be a point where you know a few expansions down the road you'll be able to come back through here and like i'm my main is a mage and I'll just be able to arcane explode everything to death and I'll be rolling in anima before I know it. So do I spend the hours upon hours upon hours doing it now or do I focus on stuff that's easier to gain progress quicker and then come back to it when it's super, super, super just beautifully easy to get, you know? It's, yeah. It is It is a tricky decision to, to be made, that is for sure. But uh, look, we'll get there. Eventually, at some point... I'll get all the things. Maybe. Maybe when they stop releasing new content, I'll be able to catch up. You are US. US. Uh, Australia is Oceanic servers, and Oceanic and North America are the same region. Um, and I don't want to dungeon, so no thank you. Um, I appreciate the offer, but I'm not interested. Thanks anyway. Uh, tables at level 3 now. High level tables with covenant thingies. Filled with anima positive. Oh my gosh. Far out. There you go. Uh, dungeons can be hard because you never know what or who you're going to get in there and can be a waste of time. Yeah, it can be. It can be. Um, and, but that's okay. Like, still some people find that more enjoyable than the grind of doing quests and things. And that's totally valid. Totally valid. Um, and if you enjoy that more, it's going to feel like it's going quicker. And that's what matters is, is enjoying the journey rather than struggling through it. 
Uh, so yeah, whatever works for an individual is what they should do. I want to add a text command on 20k away from us. How come on? 100% for sure soon. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, look, I'm at like 83% on my mage. Um, account wide, I'm at like 51%, which is just gross. I don't like orange. Um, but <laughs> the green is nice and pretty. Uh, but look, we'll get there. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day. Ah, I didn't wait too long. You're fantastic. Go you. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm, uh, I've been spending far, far, far more of my time on trying to get my tunes leveled. Because once they're leveled, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, whereas, like, ATT can be done at any time. But the leveling needs to be done prior to February. Uh, there's actually a deadline there, so that's what I'm focused on. Uh, but the faster I get the leveling done the faster I can jump back on to getting all the other collectibles and things. So I'm, I'm quite, I'm quite keen. Quite keen. But we'll see. One task at a time, fear. <laughs> Otherwise I get overwhelmed. Now, ideally, one day soon I'll be able to become a full-time content creator. Then, Lord help us all. Stronger than you. More time to actually create and, and spend time with you guys, and like, yeah, it'll be it'll be fantastic. But I gotta get there first. Gotta get that income first. Can't afford to can't afford to not have at least some level of reliable income. Get there. We're getting. We are getting there. We are getting there. So exciting. So exciting. <sighs> See, essentially, no silly fast if he actually enjoys quests. Oh, really? Okay, fair. Fair. I didn't think we'd ask that. I, I didn't think I'd been asked that question that much, but I guess I have been doing a lot more leveling lately. Maybe I just haven't noticed. <laughs> I know I do have quite a few redemptions in the queue at the moment, um, and I feel horrible about it, uh, but I've just, there has been so many other things that just keep you popping up. Um, so I'm hoping, uh, like I'm feeling, I'm in a pretty good place right now. So I feel like this week I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be able to be fairly productive and that's, that's important. So fingers crossed, I'll be able to knock a few things over um, and then get some stuff on order. So that I'll have it for packs, because I've got a couple of things I wanted to get done. Ugh. Get purchased. This has been popping up a fair bit. That's fair. That's fair. Yes, Felix. Absolutely. Big thanks to our newest sponsor. Um, pushing me a, a big chunk of the way forward towards uh, full time. Very, very exciting. If you are on the hunt for a, a new mobile plan and you're in Australia, might I suggest checking out Felix? You can get your first month free as well, following the destructions. Alright, onwards to the next one. I do need to double check. Um, I think I might have an actual affiliated link somewhere. Somewhere in my um in my contract it just wasn't in because i've got a like i've got a google drive full of creator assets um the like logos and and stuff like that we can use for our content but um and uh, our codes were in there but not like an affiliated link so i'll have to have a dig and see if i can find if i've got an affiliated link because it just makes things easier you know um Sunday morning shop. Enjoy, Mike. Enjoy.
All right. Have you been keeping up with your rituals? It doesn't look like there's a link in here, just links to their, um... To their Instagram and Facebook accounts and stuff. Alright. Uh, battle! Thunder Storm today! Ooh, indeed! Stay safe. Get ready for a different token. Why not use the code? Above for a burner phone, yeah! <laughs> or I mean, you know, like, recommend to, you know, friends and family. Bound to be someone in your circle who is, who is looking for a good value plan. Who isn't locked in currently. Um, and in, to be, to be completely transparent here, um, I, I am paid by Felix. I'm not, like, using my code doesn't give me a kickback or anything, but what it may do is if we're able to sign up enough people with my code, then they might decide to extend my sponsorship contract. And that's a really big deal. So that is that is what I may potentially get out of people using my code. Uh, McLeus, Demon, and Krugan, congratulations to you all on your bonusship. Well done. But yeah, um... I am sponsored by Felix. But I do not receive an affiliate payment. It is different. Different kind of deal. There are lots of different kind of deals that um, content creators can get uh, depending on the brand and, and the creator themselves and all that kind of stuff. But um, it is always good to know what exactly a person gets out of you, you know, following their instructions, following their influence. Gee, uh, oh. My hair's been tickling my ears like crazy lately. But I have a hairdresser appointment this week. Oh my god, Fia's actually getting a haircut. She'll have a fringe that looks like a fringe. Magical. For haircuts, absolutely. Hello, River. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing wonderfully well today. You here? What's ATT that you've been talking about? I'm very sorry that I'm about to do this. Uh, ATT is an add-on. It stands for all the things, and it shows you everything. It shows you everything in the world of Warcraft that is doable, collectible, obtainable, etc. All of it. All the things. Not some of the things. All the things. So if you are a completionist, like I am, it is both fantastic because it gives you like easy to use kind of categories and stuff where you can find something you're missing and go get it. But also it tells you what percentage of all the things you have. And when it doesn't say 100, your brain gets itchy. <laughs> Um, but it also, when you when you obtain something, it plays a sound like what was just played before. Um, there are a handful of different noises that it can possibly play when you get a new thing. Um, and it, it we call them happy brain juice noises. So yeah, it's a, 
it is both a blessing and a curse. And I, I recommend uh, using your discretion when it comes to downloading and installing. Which looking like fringe, I don't know, it sounds like witchcraft to me. I know, right? I know. I know. Triggered a trap card? Yeah, look. Just... Just a little bit. Hello, Chilita. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing wonderfully well today. ATT is the beautiful seductive devil you think you want, but you don't, and then you get it anyway. You are absolutely not wrong in the slightest. That's exactly it. Yes, correct. We love it, and we hate it, and we love it, and we hate it, and we love it. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, yeah, that's it. That's it. It's a lot of fun. It has brought so many of us together and then torn us to shreds. <laughs> Suddenly all that you've been talking about falls into... Yeah. <laughs> I, I simultaneously highly recommend it to people who are completionists and warn against it. <laughs> it's, it is genuinely though, like if that is something that you would enjoy, it is a fantastic add-on. It really helps kind of, um, it can help target your efforts because you can be like, oh, that category is really close to done. I can grab that and do that. Um, or if you're just like, oh my God, what do I do? There's so many different things. It has a randomizer in it. You can type slash ATT random and then choose a broad category of things that you'd like to randomize or just everything. You can pick everything as a category and then hit the button and it generates a random thing that you do not have that you can go get. So it can help target your scatterbrain if you're anything like me. It's, yeah, it it's a really super, super useful add-on but it is also quite an addictive kind of tool, if that makes sense. So, yeah. It is simultaneously amazing and terrible. Doing great, happy to see you streaming as a morning coffee. Yes, fantastic. Well, I hope that your coffee does what you need it to do. Hope you enjoy it. Should come with a warning? It does, it comes with a warning. Let me, um, oh, I shouldn't have done that mid-combat. Foolishly, you have sought your own demise. Brazenly, you have disregarded powers beyond your understanding. You have fought hard to invade the realm of the Collector. Now there is only one way out, to walk the lonely path of the damned. If that is not a warning, I don't know what is. <laughs> it's one hell of a warning. Yep. Oh dear. Uh, when they added the questline progression tracker per zone, I've never been the same person again. Random, not coas. Yeah, random. And we, we call it coas because I once, singular, one time, misspelled chaos as coas, and I've never lived it down. Um, AGT is basically a succubus, and if it kisses you, you die. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so that's um, that's on priest mode. If I go account mode, let me let me show you the ways in which we we hate ourselves. Um, so you can track you can track and untrack different stuff if you want to. Um, you, so you can hide things if you're not, if you do not PVP, you can hide everything that's PVP related, that kind of stuff. Um, but this is, this is my account, like my whole, okay, so let's, let's pull this out because I need to show you how this works. So we've got, you can expand dungeons and raids and then you've got classic and you've got molten core. You've got each like zone drops, you've got common boss drops, you've got each of the bosses inside molten core and everything I don't have from them. Um, you can also pop it out as its own, like that's a molten core window. Um, you've got ATT random, so you can, uh, everything. So you've got a piece of equipment that it's re-rolling, another piece of equipment, another piece of equipment, an achievement, fate, a mythic fate of, go, no, leave. Um, <laughs> but you can, you can just do instances, you can make it randomly roll an instance. So instances are raids or dungeons. BRF, Sepulchre, uh, Ice Crown, High Maul, and Taurus. This is all raids. There you go, there's a dungeon, Assault on Violet Hold. You can pick just dungeons, just raids. You can pick a random mount to go and find, etc. Uh, if you type in ATT Mini, it brings up a window that has where you are currently and what you can get from this current zone. Keep in mind, this is on account mode, so it shows everything Necrolord, everything not Necrolord, even though I'm a Night Fae. Um, and that, the beauty of that mini window is as you change zones, that window changes. So if I zone from Maldraxxus to Oribos, the window will change to Oribos. Um, but yeah, like, it's just, it's fantastic and horrible. Yeah. 
Recently found out that Rare Scanner had a feature that filters rares based on Mount's pet stores and appearances always uses its standard Rare Finder. Out. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, hey. Rare Scanner is fantastic as well. Really, really good one. Oh, one of my favorite features is the expansion feature. If you type ATT tier ID 1, it will bring you all up. All you need in vanilla, BC, Wrath. That's really cool. I didn't know about that one. That's super funky. Based on your ATT settings as well, if you're account wide or specific, character specific. Um, go as. Uh, good morning. Hello, Psychic. Hope you're well. Got exalted with Kirinai. Ah, well done. Instead of getting Slime Cat. Got sick of wiping on Spider. Collected all the topics. Fantastic. I'm glad you got something achieved. Well done. Well done. Oh, oh, so, Koaz story. Um, I took- oh, goddammit. I pulled the big thing. Uh, took my Warlock Koaz to the Perky Pugs raffle and they had a chuckle thinking I had spelled it incorrectly. Did you advertise the stream? <laughs> Did you take it as an opportunity to- I'm kidding. Um, well done. That's hilarious. Uh, we've successfully killed Chaos. There is only Chaos now. Jura is dropping further with each drop down menu. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's big. Remember that that's account wide. Like everything for every class, every armor type, every covenant, both factions, everything. You can narrow it down to just the class you're currently on. You can knock out PvP. You can knock out other, like th there are ways to make that look less scary. <sighs> So many ways to make that look less scary. Uh, turns out there are many things Fear doesn't have for Molten Core. Correct! I've got everything from Molten Core on my mage. I've got everything from Molten Core almost on other clothies. Just not anything else. So ATT is a dangerous horror and should not be trifled with. Correct. Unless you really wanna. Uh, what's the level for Drenor Garrison again? Uh, the level? What do you mean? This is so scary positive. Yeah, it's like, I wanna, but I, I, I shouldn't, yeah. Yeah. Um, so just, just to let you know, this is, this is, I, I need to warn you that if you download ATT, you are stuck here with us forever. And you are, you are part of the family and you cannot leave. Just as a warning. Uh, required to unlock. Oh, level ten. Yeah. Well, because you can level through Dranor as your as Chromie time. So you can you can unlock it right off the bat. If you download ATT, you are never going back. Correct. Correct. You will you will uninstall it, but then you will start to itch, and you'll be like, "But I don't know if I'm getting everything." And yeah, it's dangerous. Hello, Sally. Welcome on in. Joined five minutes ago installing ATT now. Brilliant! We have trapped another. I'm kidding. <laughs> Fantastic. I would love to know what your starting place is, like what your what your starting percentage is. It may surprise you, especially if you've been playing the same class for quite a while. Like I've been maining a mage since Burning Crusade. Like I started playing in BC and I've always mained a mage. So when I first booted it up, I was like, oh, that's actually fairly, I was at like 70 something percent. I was like, oh, that's quite nice. And this is as someone I've never, I've never farmed transmog before I got ATT because I just, I had a set that I wore and I didn't care. I got everything for the achievements, like the transmog achievements. And beyond that, I did not care. Now I care. <laughs> now it's numbers and pretty data. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it, it may surprise you just how high your percentage completion is on tunes you've been playing for a handful of expansions. It's a pleasant feeling. And then you see your other, your alts and you go, oh, good. <laughs> Proselytizing cult of orders, I see, I see, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But no, definitely not a cult. There is the, the, the just the, our subscribers, like we've got the Fiamily who are our followers. The, the subscribers are the Fianati and just, there's no, there's no like meaning behind that name whatsoever, just. You're fine. Everything's fine. ATT is also depression when you realize how much shit you miss. <laughs> yeah, look, a little bit, a little bit. But for me, it's just kind of like, oh, I can go get stuff. Um, but ev obviously everyone will take that a little bit differently. It really depends on your own personality and, and how you like deal with things. But yeah, look, it's big time. Uh huh. Tier three buildings require you to be level 40 if I remember correctly. Oh, really? Huh, okay. Interesting. I guess I just leveled mine so quickly that I didn't I didn't notice. Um 
One of us. What, uninstalling is an option? It is. Don't advise it. Uh, do you mean leave the family? 70%? Yeah, I was on 70 something percent, but this is like, I had raided and like, this is a character I played like I'm proper. I'm not a paladin. Uh... So right through Burning Crusade, I did every raid. I did all the raids through Wrath. Like, I, I did all of the raids throughout the whole thing. And I got pretty much almost bis every single tier for many, many years of raiding and stuff. So, uh, and I always, I, I grinded out the dungeons to get the gear I needed and that kind of thing. So all of that sort of automatically, plus I had Lawmaster. I've gotten Lawmaster every single expansion. Um, I love questing. So all of those quests that I had done, and I, I did Lawmaster back before they split it into the individual zones. So when it was like complete 750 quests in Kalimdor, I did it back then. So I did so many quests and a lot of them had gear as rewards. And because when they introduced the transmog thing, if you have completed a quest, it automatically adds every piece of transmog from that quest to your wardrobe. So like I already had all of those and stuff like that. I was, I was a mount collector. I was a pet collector, um, not so much toys, but so I had a lot of stuff already and I loved achievements. Like my, my achievement completion, uh, um, like my achieve I've got 92.56% of all achievements because like I, I just, I don't like PvP, ignore that bar, but do you know what I mean? So because of all that stuff, I already had such a high percentage just from playing the game consistently for a really long time. Like I've been playing for 15 and a half years. You accumulate shit. <laughs> oh, Sen, thank you so much for the gifted sub to River. So generous of you. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Um. And then ATT has an update. Your percentage drop. I hate that. I hate it so much. I ha uh, oh, update days suck. And patch days. Ugh. Patch days, are the worst. Ah, so really what, oh, what UI is it, you guys? I use LVI. Yes, thank you, dude. Thank you. Uh, pig and whistle. All right, give me a sec. Let's crack that open, shall we? I wish I were a paladin sometimes to drive by buff people, too. <sighs> so it did. Um, hello, Ventu. Oh, fantastic. I hope you're enjoying your leveling journey. Just be there, you. Wow. <laughs> Well, yeah, I've been I've been playing for a while. That's what I liked about part of playing a priest or mage. Yeah, it's your fave WoW quest line of all time. Oh gosh. Cool oh, boy. That's um. That's a question. There have been so many. Right. So I really enjoyed in the most heartbreaking way possible, the, the War of Thorns alliance side, particularly. I don't think the feeling, um, like when you, when you were, when the tree was on fire and it gave you, like, save however many hundred night elves, and then it gave you the timer bar, and that moment of realization that you were never going to be able to do it. You, you were never going to be able to save them all. That, even just thinking about it now is making me choke up. Um, I will, I will never lose that feeling. It was, it was, it, they did just such a damn good job of, of making you feel that panic and dread and, it, yeah. Um, the Acera quest line in, uh, in Legion, as well as in Shadowlands, the way that it continued on, um, another moment I, I will distinctly remember forever, um, coming out of the, when I when I realized, you know, you had the the wild seed that we were taking care of and all that, and then there was there's one of the one of the Arden Wield areas where you go down into the tree and the seed was down the bottom. There was a moment when I because I was questing with Jas as we were leveling at the launch, on launch day, and as I was coming out of there, I had the moment that it dawned on me. I was like, who who have we lost recently? Like who who could this possibly? Oh shit. Um. And and I said it, and as I said it, my I, my voice cracked, and I was like, "Is it you, Sarah?" And there was just this moment of silence, and Jas has gone, "Oh no!" <laughs> like, who else could it possibly be? 
And then every quest after that, it's like, it is, it is, it is. Fuck you, Blizzard. Like, just how dare you do this to my heart again? Um, and that whole, I was bawling my eyes out by the time we got to the end of that. I, it was just, oh my God. They do, so, especially when they weave these beautiful, uh, the sun well. what's it, in um, the cutscenes. Crazy! With the resub. Hello, I hope you're doing so wonderfully well today. Welcome back. Thank you for your support. So generous of you. Um, but yeah, so those kind of, those really kind of yank at your heartstring kind of quests, they always just stay with me so, so well. Um, the very first time I ever did uh, Children's Week, taking the orphan around to see all the different sites around the world and then the next day logging in and seeing that I had mail and going, what is this? And then, and having, opening my mailbox to find a letter from the orphan to thank me for taking time out of my day to, to show her the world. And I, <laughs> it's, it, oh, it's, it's the little things. It, it really is. They, ju they're just so beautifully done and I love them so much. Um, that's those kind of those kind of things are my favorites. Um, but I hope you're doing well, Flucky. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back. Good morning, Sync. Welcome back. Oh, now I'm gonna try to catch up. <laughs> the other eight percent of PvP, correct? Well, almost, almost. Um, welcome in. Absolutely, welcome on in. Every Monday's ATT update late. Yeah. I mean, I think it has been for a while. It's just like fixing bugs and things like that. Make that true, it doesn't want to make up Friday either. Oh, Yuri. Oh, Yuri. I have to do some shopping. We're doing stream in the pub. Sounds like a plan, Sen. Enjoy. I hope you find everything you're looking for. Uh, Questline in Valshara and Questline with Yusuf's death is heartbreaking. Playing that as a druid at the time hurt. I mean, playing it as a not druid hurt. Like, it just. Oh. Oh. Runus the Shamed. Yes. Oh my god. And having to. Mm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Definitely strength of the storytelling was as part of what keeps bringing me back. Yep, absolutely. I wholeheartedly agree with that. But in quest also heckin' brilliant to evoke those feet. Oh, so well done. So well done. It just every time I think about like, okay, what do we, and I'm like, oh I'm saving this and I'm like, how many do I have to save? Oh yeah, cool. And I've got how Oh. Oh. <laughs> like it just, it broke my heart. And I'm so, so with that, because it was pre-patch, right? And there was a, it was only available for a limited time and I play Horde. Um, and I decided that I wanted to learn what happened on the other side, because I knew they were vastly different and I wanted to learn what happened on the other side. I started leveling a mage, because I main a mage. Uh, and then I got to the point, it was only a, like maybe a couple of days before the pre-patch was due to finish. And I was like, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna get there in time. I don't have enough time to finish leveling this character. And so I was like, okay, bugger it. I have to make a demon hunter. I just have to make it and get get it done because it's going to be the fastest way possible. And so I did that and I got it done real quick and I felt super guilty, but then I played through it. I'm like, I'm so glad I made that choice to, to play through it because I think watching it as like a YouTube video or something, I don't think it would have had the same effect. Um, but I'm, I'm really glad that I made that choice. Hello, Krazzy. How are you? Doing very well, thank you. I hope you can say the same. Another hype train was close. It was, but that's okay. We've had one today, and I think more than one is a little bit greedy. It's <laughs> uh, honestly, I also really enjoyed the quest in Drospa, where you're reviving, reliving a wedding memory, and the groom was assassinated by the bride's mother. Oof. Rough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fallout New Vegas' is Dead Money DLC has taught me anything that was definitely a way of saving all those elves. <laughs> Oh dear, often we got me good as well, yep. Uh, this is the quest line, put a lump in my throat. Oh, we've got link protection here, Plucky, so we can't see your link. Um, you'll just have to tell us which one it is, unfortunately. Um, uh, the quest that had me sobbing was Enthrall and Drak. I have the moment, this expansion, she goes, you think I wouldn't recognize Duratar's eyes. So, um, Venus, I've, so the, the voice of Draka is uh, Deborah Wilson, and we've had her on stream to chat to. There's a couple of highlights you can watch. Um, and she, she told us about how she created that emotion and how, like what, what she does as a voice actor to, or a voiceover artist to, to kind of get that out so that we can experience that emotion and stuff like that. She's an amazing, just wonderful human being. Highly recommend checking out those highlights. 
She's very, very cool. Very cool. Oh, and the heck didn't turn 5 a.m. Like protection that came through as asterisks. Yes, Runus was so painful. Agreed. Seeing little girl in dress. Why with the tea party? Oh my god. Oh my god. Any any of those quests that have like small children that are by themselves and they have a toy, I'm like suspicious. Like I can't, yeah, nah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Uh, link didn't work. Yes, no, the link didn't work because we have link protection. That is intentional. We've had some malicious users in the past try to um, try to get around that to post nasty things to harm viewers and stuff. So yeah, we just we don't have links anymore. Um, but that's okay. Uh, Kingslayer Orcus. Right. I might have to look that one up. Give me a second. I shouldn't need too much to jog my memory. Ah! Oh. That's right. I think I remember this one. Yeah. Yeah. There are there are so many beautiful quests like that in in classic hey. Like just just all of that those little world building bits and pieces are phenomenal. Phenomenal. Ah, poor little village is dead. All the people have gone stiff or fled. There is no more noise except me and my toys. Yeah, look, a little bit creepy, just a touch. Voice of writers are so overlooked that I don't have the physical to work with, so it's all in the voice. Critical role showed me that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Like, voiceover artists have just such a special talent. Um, hello to see Happy Father's Day, indeed. Not the mother's. <laughs> Unless, of course, it is a mother who also takes on the role of the father, because sometimes that has to happen um, for various reasons. But, look, it is... Happy Father's Day to all For who are you, I offer celebrating. The uh, honestly, I think I'll have to also submit the ESO section of Unwield. Night song, the motif woven into the music that played when she's revived. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I can hear it in my head. I love the quest where you turn into a furball so much so. My priest never turned it in, still has Dartol's Rod of Transformation. That's beautiful. I love that. That's great. Um, uh, the Bride and Bride quest line in Ice still gets me to this day, of course. That is a good one, but a sad one. There are so many great quests, and they're all goddamn sad. Like, all of them. They're all, like, they, they're they good, and they, they hit you, and they stick with you because of how much they tug at your heartstrings. Oh, goodness. I'm still not recovered from Earth. Something's still mad. Indeed. Oh, look. Very true. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Light does not abandon its champions. On call with your dad. Have fun. Have done. Enjoy your lurk. We'll see you soon. Yeah, it's a um look. The quest teams at Blizzard are just phenomenal at their jobs. Phenomenal at their jobs. Absolutely phenomenal. Mm, Brad Brad has the additional oomph. Oh, I don't remember the quest. Anything about anything in Zangomash? Loved that zone. Remember the additional oomph for being an homage to a real person. So absolutely, my heart sends the ones that piss you off, like City Light and Shatrath. That guy tells you to go so fast. It's like, yeah, huh? Sure. The funny quest I really love is one with pretentious blood elf Johnny Awesome. Oh my lord, yeah, yes. And he's popped up a couple times, and he's always a wanker. <laughs> I love it. It's just. But it's so perfectly done. So that like you hate him, but there's this this like endearing quality. Yep. It's great. So good. Johnny Awesome, our favorite little dumbass. And then there's Dumas. Then there's there's Dumas. The yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So good. Did one I'd forgotten about recently where you have to get the head of from the cow in Booty Bay. Yeah. <laughs> oh lord, yep. Ooh, rough. Rough. Ah, he me, he really me, I for real, yeah. <laughs> Kishana's great question, NPC, you got a well-deserved promotion. Yes, absolutely. Good morning, Oak. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well today. 
that everyone can play the game their way is their experience after all, but I really feel sorry for people who zoom through dungeons and miss out on the world of Warcraft. I agree. I agree. There is a lot more to the game than you can see at first glance. I, I agree with that. Um, but but genuinely, some people don't enjoy that, and that's okay too. Uh, like there are there are some people who don't who who can't get stuck into a book for for story things, and and they like that kind of just repetitive. They don't necessarily need story in their game to enjoy it, and that's okay too. There are there are plenty of games out there that don't have a strong story, but the gameplay is just wicked fun, and that's cool as well. Ah, quests where you turn into the quest giver of fun. They are. The one the one with the kobolds, with the candles. My god, so cute. So cute. Ah, Cataclysm had so many gems. It, yes, absolutely. Hope we see you, Sarah, here again in Dragonflight. And Nozdorm has always been my favourite, but since Legion Shadowlands, she's Sarah has had an amazing story. Plus, I need to know the plans she has. See, Toronto has. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Oak, thank you so much for your Prime Gaming sub. Much appreciated. Hope you are doing so well. Appreciate the generosity. Thank you. And good morning, Woif. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well as well. Gosh, so many new faces today. I feel so loved. I feel like I feel like this is a real like community building day and I'm living for it. This is awesome. Yeah, no, I'm I'm genuinely I like I think we will see a bit of Ysera in Dragonflight. I don't think we're gonna see. Keep in mind we still have pre-patch to go. And pre-patch is traditionally where the the current characters hand off to the new characters. So I feel like Ysera is gonna play a fairly decent role in that. Um and maybe that's where we'll figure out what's going on. Or maybe she she like she has plans, but she can't really maybe we'll find out in like 10.3 or something do you know like it's not we don't need to find out everything at once and i hope we don't because then what's left <laughs> uh but yeah no i i'm sure that isera and um and her is it her daughter oh gosh i can't remember but anyway there's there is a new head of the green dragon flight and whoever that was i don't remember exactly and that's fine but i'm sure we'll, we'll be in i'm sure we'll be dealing with them a lot um I hope so don't you mean dragon flight? Yeah, I know, right? And I'm out and I about that one. So good. You know, take candle. Exactly. Exactly. Not long been playing WoW and found your channel. Thanks for streaming. Oh, you're so welcome, Oak. I enjoy myself thoroughly. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I'm definitely struggling a bit with the business side of stuff because I am, like, slowly but surely transitioning this into, like, I mean... It's it's not a hobby anymore. It's it, it's a business. Like it's a proper business nowadays. But I'm uh, I'm I'm learning the bits and pieces that I need to transition from like a fledgling business into something that has a reliable income, so I can do it full time. And so I, I really appreciate your sub because it it genuinely does help. It's that little tiny baby step closer to becoming a full time content creator. So thank you. And you're very welcome. You're very, very welcome. McLeus, Zam, Fe uh, Fell, Infamous, Krugan, Turbo, and Silver Molly. Congratulations to all of you on your membership. Well done. Well done. Remember, this is a spoiler-free zone. Correct. This is a spoiler-free zone. Um, thank you for the reminder there, Sheebs. Pre-patch forgot about that. Indeed. That is a thing that exists. And traditionally, there is story there. And traditionally, it is story that hands over from one expansion to the next. So it'll be the last time, like, we hear from Bolva, for example. Uh, well, not the last time. I'm sure he'll still exist. But it'll be, you know, my job is done. Oh, who is this? What's going on here? And I, I do have a feeling that Ysera will be, hand, uh, will be featured quite heavily in that. Because she is literally the connection between this expansion and the next. She is a dragon who is in the Shadowlands. <laughs> So yeah, we'll, but we'll see. Or it, it just takes time. We'll see how we go. Love, thank you. Yeah, do not talk about spoilers. Data mining is spoilers, correct. Marithra, that's thank you. Yes, I knew there was a name and I forgot what it was, but in that's in that's like the name of Ysera's child is like. That's not spoilers from Dragonflight because that's stuff that's already known. But yeah, um, so to be clear, the, the first rule of chat here, if you click the little cog under the chat box and you click view chat rules, the first rule is no spoilers. 
literally the very first rule is no spoilers. And that applies here. If you really want to talk about story spoilers with members of this particular community, there is a channel in uh, Discord that you can do that. Uh, it's discord.gg forward slash Fiamma. And this, the channel that you're looking for is called Story Spoilers. And you can post whatever you'd like there, have a chit chat about all that kind of stuff. But here is not the place for it. Do not post spoilers. Shit that has been data mined by Wowhead is spoilers. If it has not happened in the live game, it has not happened. End of story. End of discussion. This is not something that is up for debate. There are very few times here that I put my foot down as the streamer, like this is my channel, I make the rules. I don't do that very often. This is one place where I do do that. No spoilers. Do not do it. I will fucking ban you. That's it. Now you'll know. Awesome. Glad we're on the same page. Um, told to write a take to see to a daughter. Yes, brilliant. Perfect. A return of snacks, more importantly, have alcohol. Fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, what do you find to be the most tedious quest? I'm leveling a paladin and outlander. I've been doing the Iraq bird stuff for the rebounds this one. We have to fight four bosses, summoning ten of them with an item you can only get by killing enemies that only spawn after you drink a potion. You get by collecting six of an item from killing enemies in the area. That's my current tedious one. That boss also drinks, uh, also drops a toy. By the sun well. But, oh, Oak, thank you so much for the gifted subs. That is so generous of you. Much appreciated. Congratulations to everyone who got uh, who got hit by the sub bomb. Amazing. Um, right, so that that boss you're talking about, the the, the final summonable that boss, well. that drops a toy as well, just in case you'd like that information. Um, <laughs> but uh, and I got that toy, and it was a painful experience. Um, the, another one of the dailies in that Iraq area oh, was a uh, um, uh, escort quest where the escort kind of just waddles along slowly. Those are my really frustrating ones. Most of the more current oh, quests, so they, they've learned, it feels like they've learned from errors in the past uh, and they've made quests a lot easier to handle these days. So if you have an escort, they follow you and you don't have to like, if someone has just started the esco escort, you don't have to wait for them to finish it before you can pick it up again. It's like, you know what I mean? You can just kind of grab it and go so with, with at the advent of phasing and stuff like that, they're able to do things like that. Uh, and I think, so I think a lot of the more recent quests, and I'm talking like the last five or six years, have been really good. They've been well designed, they flow well, and they don't feel too punishing. Uh, but yeah, back in BC and Wrath, oh, there were some that just sucked. But that, yeah, Spires of Iraq, uh, not, uh, not Spires of Iraq, the, um, the Shatari Skyguard area sucks. There are no, it just, it sucks. <laughs> really interested to see if there's anything that occurred with the Emerald Dream, with what we learned in Shadowlands. Yeah, maybe, that'll be interesting. Um, this in the rules, the common view chat rules. Yeah, it's, it's literally rule number one. Um, the rules that most people just click through to get to chat quicker when they join a new channel. It's it's rule number one. No spoilers. I'm um, new to the game, loving every minute of it. Wish I'd found it years ago. Your stream really helps me understand. Oh, I'm so pleased to hear that, Wolf, and I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. That's fantastic news. Um, if there is data mining, is there data smithing? I would imagine that... I mean, see, like, what I would think is that the developers are the one who smith the data. Like, they make the data. They, they, they like... But, but then it's in the, like, you, you, somebody smiths it and then somebody mines the smith to duck. <laughs> uh, mm. Good question. Good question. Um, you gonna get me that toy? Yeah, look, best of luck. I hope it takes you fewer attempts than it took me. With, with all my heart, I hope. Um, I'm gonna help our streamers stay alive. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm I'm getting there. Look, with between sponsorships and subs and stuff like that, I'm I'm getting there. I've still got a bit to go. Like there's I'm I'm definitely like I'm not at the point where I could quit my day job. Uh, and that's okay. Like, that's okay. Uh but I'm I'm getting there. We and thanks to you guys, like it's you guys tuning into streams and being super engaged, that is such a big thing. Like the numbers are one thing, but having engaged viewers is also like a super important thing. Um, 
excuse me. Um, but then also social media. Um, if you are if you are wanting to support a streamer, it doesn't have to be me. It can be any content. So why am I right, Coke? Um, <laughs> if you are wanting to support any content creator, not just me, but any content creator whose content you really enjoy, a beautifully easy free way to do that is to follow them on every social media platform that they have. Follow them on Instagram, follow them on Twitter, on TikTok, on Facebook, any any platform that you have, find their, their account and throw them a follow. It's free and it helps boost those numbers and those numbers are what sponsors look at. If a sponsor wants to work with you, the first thing they'll look at is do they have a decent following? Um, and then from there, depending on how engaged, so like you drop it, you know, retweeting or sharing posts, commenting, actually like like decent length comments, not just like tossing an emoji or three. Uh, I think the algorithm is um, five plus emojis or a sentence of four or more words is what the the algorithm values that more or something but also like liking posts and all that kind of stuff as well the more effort you have to put in with an engagement the more it's worth to the algorithm uh but all of that adds to your engagement and that's the second thing sponsors look at first they go do they have an audience are there people who are listening to them yes how well are they listening to them are they engaging with them are they like if i if i post a thing about the bubble tea club are people coming back and going yes Thank you so much for sharing your discount code fear. I just bought a blah, 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 blah. Um, it is like, and then people see that and they go, oh shit, she's, she can convert. She can take a, a viewer and turn them into a purchaser. Um, and that's, that is where my value lies. That is, that is my job. That is where my value lies to a sponsor. And the more I can do that and the more engaging and the more, more follow, like follow numbers, all that kind of stuff that we have, um, the more likely I am to attract a sponsor. And then once I have attracted the sponsor, the more they are likely to pay me. You know, is it, is it 20? Is it 50? Is it a hundred? Is it a thousand? It's like, how much are they going to pay me is heavily based on those stats as well. So, uh, and that goes for every content creator, not just me. That is how the industry works. So if you want, if you're, if, if you're flat broke, totally fine. The best way to support creators in a, fr in a free capacity is engaging with their social media presence. Um, but yeah, definitely would love that. Absolutely love that. Um, Fave wow patch for shield wall, I think it was called a mop. You completed some dailies, you got a bit more story in law. Oh, cool. Oh, I don't, look, I don't remember the names of the patches to be perfectly honest with you. Um, my memory is trash on the best of days, uh, but yeah, I, I do I do like that kind of stuff. Like being rewarded, not just like with a currency that I can exchange for something I want, but like actually opening up the world by interacting with it. I, th I think that's a really beautiful way to play through a game. It's got quest, oh god, the robot chicken quests in vanilla. Yes, yes. Can we skin the data? Probably. Probably. Okay, ATT installed, only on 45%. Lots of things to do this couple of winter, it seems. Absolutely, absolutely. But just look, it, it and it even tells you, like if you have a look here, if you mouse over the top bit, it says 1,148 things until 52%. This is account wide for me. So I have the uh, account mode thing ticked here. If you untick that, it'll tell you just the class that you're on currently. Um, so I, but it gives you a number to achieve to hit the next full percentage point, which I think is kind of nice. And also a bit, a little bit torturous as well. It look, it's a whole, it's a thing. It's a thing. It sounds like a complicated profession. Yeah, look, it, it very much is. It very much is. And because it's relatively new, it's, um, there are no real rules to it either. Um, it's just kind of, you do what you can when you can, you, you make some income when you can, and just kind of keep working and hope for the best. They inscribe the data. I mean, they could also do that. Yes, definitely. Uh, what were your thoughts on the quest line where we are working with Tess Greymane about the Wargon curse and she chooses not to take it? Perhaps I'm biased, but I really wanted her to be a Wargon. I haven't done that. I don't think. I don't remember it. So I don't have thoughts. I'm sorry. My thought is, huh? So <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, my memory is a bit trash. Uh, I just got Dragonflight better a few days ago. I've been trying to skip through the quest, avoiding reading them too much. Only want to try out Dragon Riding. Chat might already know this. One tip I have for everyone to start a DF is to treat upgrading Dragon Riding as the Aether Currents 
in Final Fantasy XIV and make leveling as you head to 70 so much smoother. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I'm back in Stratham! You're fine, Yuri. You're getting there. You're gonna smash it. You got this. One of these days, you're gonna start screaming in chat and it's gonna be great. I had a little level one guy to shoot Yes, psychic! Look, you gotta start somewhere, right? You gotta start somewhere. Definitely, we're now absolutely agreed. Wait, oh crap, hang on. I forgot it's supposed to actually go all the way over there. The beam is just missing. Um, so when Illidan comments, he's doing enough. Good to know. Absolutely. Wholeheartedly. 36, don't understand Twitter. Yeah, look, I'm 32. I, I've learned it. Um, the part, the one that I don't get is TikTok. I, look, I'm hopeless at TikTok. Um, should I struggle because it is a spoiler? Although mods have a deleted paragraph, maybe they see it as okay. Um, yeah, so it's mostly story stuff. Um, mechanics, I'm more lenient on. Um, if, if you're, like, so... If you don't know, if you if you have to uh, if you have to ask yourself whether or not it's a spoiler, safer to not say anything. But mechanics wise, that's okay. Like I would I would say that what you said was fine. Um, you didn't mention any NPC names. You didn't mention any storyline bits that happen as you level up dragon riding or whatever it is. Like you you know what I mean? It wasn't you didn't explain to us how we unlocked it and why we have it or any of that kind of stuff. So it's, yeah, that's kind of the sort of thing I'm thinking when I'm thinking story spoilers. Um, but yeah, erring on the side of caution is definitely uh, the safest bet. Should start my hunting. Yas, oak, yas. Run down the influence industry as someone who sometimes struggles to pay for internet access. Nice to know a way I can support my faves. I'm off to create some social media accounts. Oh, I think that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Look, if you feel comfortable creating new ones, then by all means go for it. But don't ever feel like you have to create a brand new account just to, like, you know what I mean? Like, because there are, there are, and I, understandably, there are some platforms people don't feel comfortable using for various reasons. And I understand that wholeheartedly. It's my business to be anywhere that people can find me. And so I have to have those in a way, but others don't. So if you don't feel comfortable being on a certain platform, I'm definitely not going to hold that against you. But if you have them, by all means, yeah, definitely toss me a follow. Um... But yeah, no, and look, I'm I'm pretty open when it comes to like how the industry works and what I do to try to grow my business and, and all that kind of stuff. And I've I've given countless fear talks um, to you know when there are, when there have been you know uh, newer newer streamers in chat and stuff like that. Um, and I'm there are there are a couple of lines I'll never cross. Um, firstly, as an embargo. Stay a while and listen. Thank you. I will never cross an embargo because crossing an embargo, this industry is not large, especially in Australia, it's fucking tiny. Um, and if I break a rule, everyone will know about it and no one will work with me. Um, so I will not break embargo. Um, I'm not gonna ever talk specific numbers. Um, not because I feel uncomfortable discussing my income, but because a lot of the time it is covered by NDAs in contracts. Uh, I'm not allowed to talk about how much I'm earning. Um, and I know, you know, we've recently, fairly recently in some places gotten laws where people in employment can, you know, they, they're legally allowed to talk about that kind of stuff, but that's not the same when it comes to private contracts. Um, so, you know, there's that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so there are, there are some things that I won't talk about, but if I'm asked directly about them, I'll just say that politely, you know, look, that's, that's something I'm not really willing to discuss, but if you have any other questions... I'm, I'm happy to talk about them sort of thing. But yeah, um, I, there, there, not much is really known about this. All you, all you kind of see are these, you know, the, the big names that, um, a lot of them are, uh, hounded by drama and, and all this kind of, you know, and they, they're huge and massive and they're just these, these untouchable creators and stuff like that. And it's like, what, what even is this? But I'm not at all any of those things. Um, I, I try to avoid as much drama as I possibly can, and um, and I know that there are a lot of people who are trying to get into this industry, and I honestly probably wouldn't recommend it. Not if you're starting now. It's it's rough, like really rough. There's still, obviously there are still opportunities, and there are a lot more opportunities for smaller streamers now than when I started. 
but it is a lot harder to grow. Uh, but it can still be done. It just it, it's a lot of work. If you're gonna if you're gonna stream as for, like for funsies as a hobby, by all means, go nuts, have fun with it. But if you're trying to do it as a job or if you're trying to grow a business via streaming, it is very, very difficult and it requires approximately 17 times as much work as you think it does. Uh, <laughs> and it's not, it's hard work too. Like it's, it's a grind, like a proper grind. Um, but it can all be worth it, especially when you have a community as awesome as mine. Oh, they're taking it back now. <laughs> it's all good, Kel. All good. Uh, I go away for like two minutes and someone and come back to more ATT talk fear. Stop trying to coerce people. I'm not! Huh. How do I dance with the Ribbon Dead before he deems me worthy of this pony? Well, I had 209 attempts. I was 209. was my... I'm pretty sure. Hey, Assass. Welcome back. Wow, things are going well, thank you. Very well. I hope you're doing well today. I suppose playing with gummy bears, you could have prevented this tangent. Meet actively without disposable income this month. We're doing all the likes. Yas! Ah, the mutant gummy bear took precedent. I can spell Mr. President. Look out! Yeah! <laughs> oh no, bro, gummy bears mutant also stole president. Chat has taken a turn. It has. But I mean, when does it not? Genuinely. It's better to have any social media accounts. Isn't that old? No, it's fine. It's fine. Look, honestly, it's it's a rarity to find someone who doesn't have them these days. It's kind of special, genuinely. Speaking of puppies, come here. Peggy Bug! Oh, well done, Yori. Congrats. It's so cute. It's so adorable. Hey, Reed. How are you going? Welcome back. Happy names on Twitch. I have no idea who they are. Look, I, I know of them. Like, if people say them at me, I know of I, I know that, that that's a person who exists, but I know nothing about them. Um... I know next to nothing about them. And it's like, and that's, that's fine. You know, like I'm not a person who got into streaming because I was like, there are a lot of people who started streaming because they were in awe of these like famous streamer people. Uh, and so it makes sense that a lot of them, like they look up to them and they're, they're like a role model and stuff like that. So that it makes sense that a lot of people, but I, I didn't. <laughs> so I, I genuinely have no idea about most of them, but I know that I know their names. Like if people say names at me, I tend to know that they exist. Usually, not always. Not always. That's right, they're quitting Twitch anyway, so you don't have to know about them now! Yeah, look. Yeah, look. Um, I have to have breaks from YouTube, might be enjoying what I'm doing. Wow. Watch a Blue video about how terrible WoW is that way, can I find? I start resenting the game. Oh, yeah, I... <sighs> look, everyone is welcome to have different opi their own opinions, and the, the hard truth is that positivity doesn't sell. Uh, it doesn't get clicks, and on YouTube specifically, you need people to click so you get paid. So you are gonna have clickbaity, ragey, angry, oh, it sucks, everything's terrible kind of stuff. Because if it's like, hey, I'm actually really enjoying the game at the moment, no one's gonna click. They don't care if you're having fun. They don't, they don't care. They just, they wanna know why everything sucks and they wanna know what their new reason to be angry is this week. Um, and so positivity doesn't sell, especially on YouTube. Um, if you enjoy creators, then you want to support them, then that's obviously, you know, the way to support them is to watch their videos, but it's, um, yeah, I, I don't actually follow any WoW creators on YouTube at all. Um, I, I just, it just, it's all so negative. Occasionally, if there's a really, like, usually I'll get my tips and tricks. Like, if I'm having trouble with an achievement, I'll go to Wowhead and I'll find, like, written guides on how to do stuff. The only time that I'll actually go and watch a video of something is when it's something that you just can't quite... It's got specific timing and you need to take a turn, like, right here and you need to see, like, the landmark at which they turn. And you can't really do that with a comment on Wowhead, so I do watch a video for those. Like the Dark Moon races, as a really good example. Trying to get my gold achievements for those, I watched some videos showing the particular path that they took to manage to time it. And that's like, but that's it. I, I don't watch yeah, videos I beyond that because it just... Idea. I have my own opinion. And I don't really, like, I'm interested in your opinions. Like... People who have come here and sought me out and, and, and all that kind of stuff. Like, I'm really interested in the types of people who find me and enjoy my content. And, you know, if you enjoy my content, 
what are your thoughts on the rest of the game that we presumably both play kind of, you know, so that those kind of opinions, sure. But big names, then they're likely not like a lot of the time that might not even be what they think of the game because they, they need to get paid. <laughs> the beauty of live streaming is that like wholesome shit can get you paid. Uh, and that's, that's why, and plus the engagement. I, like, I did do YouTube for a while, not gaming. I did makeup, beauty YouTube. Now my YouTube is all just VODs and clips, um, of, of Twitch. But, um, I, I, the, my favorite part of YouTube back when I was doing beauty videos was checking the comments every day because it's the engagement that I really enjoy. So when I have engagement live, it's miles better. I, I very much enjoy live streaming over um, video creation personally um, socials are the hardest part of growing this business they are the they are crucial and I do them but it, it is by far the most difficult part of all of this for me personally um, hello Danny welcome back I think people also think streaming is a less stressful job option um, and who boy it is not it's a lot of work you have to be a jack of all trades but also a master of most of them you do yeah you're, you're absolutely right or you have to be earning enough that you can pay someone to do stuff but you also need to pay people what they're worth. And that's like, you see so many like newbies who are like, oh, why, why do I have to pay $35 for an emote? Can't you just do it for like five bucks? No, <laughs> no, like, no. Uh, not unless you're buying like fucking a hundred of them at once. Good Lord. But yeah, it's um, paying people what they're worth. Like streamers are like, especially, Especially, there are there are some, not all, very much not all, but there is this small group of new streamers who are entitled as fuck and also cheap. Because they, they feel like, like, oh, I haven't earned that much, why should I spend that much, right? But it's, why aren't I getting subs? Why should I pay you for emotes? Well... <laughs> But luckily, the number who are like that is is quite small. Um, like, I haven't come across many of them at all. But maybe it's just because that's not the vibe I put out either. Um, so people who don't agree with the fact that you should pay people what they're worth avoid my stream and avoid my content. And that's fine. Totally. My content is not for everybody. And I get that. But yeah, no, it's, uh, it is incredibly stressful. It is, it is incredibly stressful. And the income is highly variable. Uh, it depends... Quite especially in the early days, your income depends entirely on whether or not your viewers are having a good month financially or not. Um, or whether it's Christmas and they're spending all their money on Christmas presents and food and preparation and not on subs. Um, and then as you, as you become a bit bigger and I'm getting sponsors and stuff now, like I could have, like I, I've had... Uh, a couple months where we had, you know, four or five sponsored streams, and that's fantastic. And then you have a month where there are none, and you're like, uh oh, like so. It's yeah, it's um, it's tricky. It's really tricky. Um, trying to find that balance and and learning that skill of being like, oh, I have money, spend. No, 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 no. You have money put this much of it away and then spend this so that next month when you have no sponsors, you can take some of your savings and spend that instead. Like that's a skill that some people just don't have. Uh, and it's a really valuable skill to have. Uh, far more apt to support people who are open like you. Glad you're here in a good, oh, thank you, Lando. I really appreciate that. I try to be, I try to be. I just really trying to stay away from that kind of negativity about the game. Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, green protege, no. <laughs> Oh, if you have them, comment or Cornelia. This would be ideal. Yas. Um, uh, hello, Topia. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well today. When they do like it, they usually have a title with a question mark on the end. E.g., does new games suck? Because, yeah, because then they can still put the negativity to get people to click. And the, yeah, yeah. It's hilarious, isn't it? I remember years ago now, God, I don't even remember who it was, but I do remember years ago someone saying, like, when I have negative videos, these are my views. When I have a positive video, these are my views. When I have a positive video where the title ends in a question mark, these are my views. Because people click in and then they realize that it's gonna be, they, they watch a little bit and they're like, oh, it's positive. So, <laughs> like, it's, 
Yeah, I mean, I, I like to know the positives and the negatives, especially, but I mean, that's when it, I, I mean, I was about to say that's when it comes to product reviews though, but then I'm like, no, this is a fucking product review. If you're reviewing a game, a game is a product. It's just not a like tangible product, you know? It's, it's a, it's a, it's bits and bytes. Um, and so, yeah, it, but it's still a product review. You want to know what the positives are and also what the negatives are so that you can make an informed decision. But that's not what people on YouTube, they don't want their viewers to make an informed decision. They want their viewers to watch so they get paid. And that's, I think, but they have to. That's the other thing. This is, this is not their fault. If they're doing this as a job, they need that money to feed themselves, to pay their bills, to put a roof over their head. So it's not their fault that they need the money. It's technically the platform's fault that the algorithm and, and people work, and it works like that to, to boost a video if it's negative. And then people being conditioned to look for, yeah, it's, look, it's a mess. It's a, it's a whole ass mess. <laughs> whole ass mess. Um, but I do definitely agree with Utopia. You are, you are right, completely. We are your engagement. I know, right? I know. What, what the hell, Meaty? I can speak for that. A number of people want me to draw their super specific art topic for free is out the roof. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there, there, there. I'm networked with a lot of small streamers and through the network. You see a fair bit of it. Oh, yeah, you do. I just don't. I think, I feel like once they start talking to me and realize what I'm about, they're just like, oh, no, I don't like that. I don't agree with that viewpoint. I'm a leave. And so they do. And that's, and that's fine by me. Uh, that's the beauty of evolution. Entitled streamers will soon die off. Look, you hope so. You, you'd think. But when they when they stop, when they get, oh, I'm not getting what I deserve. I'm going to stop streaming. There's a new batch that follows them in the door. Proof you're working on Discord. Beautiful, Jack. I'll check it in just a second. Very true. Because often when it comes to the engaging discourse, they alienate supportive viewers just because they can't afford to sub. Yep. And, that, and that's it. That's it. There are so many free ways to support your favorite content creators. So many. It's a thumbnail with the graphs of the declining arrow. Correct. Yes, absolutely. You can do a product review and a service. You can, you can, which is why I kind of went and I went to say, you know, when I'm looking at product reviews and I'm like, but a game is a product. So I stopped myself and went on the other tangent. You're closer to quitting your day job and becoming a full-time streamer every day, Sass. Every day we get closer and closer. Little, little teeny tiny baby steps. But closer is closer. Closer is closer. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not at the quit the day job point yet. Uh, but I am a hell of a lot closer than I was a year ago. Like a hell of a lot closer than I was a year ago. And I'm closer than I was six months ago. I'm closer than I was three months ago. I'm closer than I was yesterday. So yeah, every, every day, just, just little teeny tiny baby steps. December will hurt. Uh, October will hurt. Uh, unless I can manage to score myself some sponsored stuff at PAX. Um... October is going to hurt because I have, so my, okay, let's, let's put this in perspective in September. No, September is a bad example. Um, I was going to say, how many days am I streaming? But I'm streaming extra days in September. So that's a bad example. Where's August? Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I did 17 streams in August. I stream four days a week. I usually take a day off a month just to survive um september i'm taking my day off but i'm also doing an extra stream plus a three-day marathon so that's a bad example in october i am streaming 10 days part of its packs part of its personal but i am i'm streaming like half my usual thing so that means that i'm gonna get like i know that that means that i'll probably end up with fewer subs i have fewer opportunities to to land a sponsored stream um, and I'm spending money, big money. I'm going to PAX. Uh, so it's, October is going to be a little bit rough, I think, uh, financially speaking. And then December is always rough. Um, December is, um, like everyone is, uh, paying for Christmas. Everyone's preparing for Christmas. They're buying all this stuff and, and presents and buying food in preparation for Christmas lunch and all this kind of thing. Um, and then in January, people are paying off credit cards. They're paying off afterpay stuff. They're, they're doing all that kind of stuff to, to cover their butts for what they spent in, in December on Christmas. Um, usually what you see with um, 
with streamers is the income kind of comes up and up and up and then it sort of drops in December and stays low in January and then it starts slowly coming up again. I'm in a really lucky sort of position where my birthday and my stream anniversary are both in February. Um, and without coming across as like, I, I really hope this doesn't come across as sounding like entitled or ex or an expectation or because it's absolutely not. What I'm genuinely talking about here is my history of income. This is not, I'm not saying this is what you need to do, not at all. This is just what I've seen across my history of streaming for six and a half years is that in February, my income tends to jump uh, because people are like, they'll, they'll do a sub gift bomb because they want to celebrate my birthday or because they want to celebrate my stream anniversary or something like that. So where a lot of streamers tend to, their income starts to climb slowly from February up, I tend to get a spike in February and then it drops back down in March, but not by oh, as much someone. as it might have. Um, which is, yeah, so you, it's just all about that plan. Skittles, thank you for the prime sub. So generous of you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, but yeah, so it's like I was saying before with that whole, like when you have a spike month as a content creator, when you have a big financial, financial month, you need to take a chunk of that aside so that when you have a shit month, <laughs> you can cover your bills. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's kind of when, like, when I hit February sort of thing, I, I tend to, there, se there usually seems to be a bit of a spike, uh, and I, I put a fair bit of that aside, um, just so that I can be protected when things happen, especially, you know, after the tough months of, of December and January. Um, yeah, it's, it is really, it's really interesting, like, the income cycle of, of this kind of, because it's not like a, a job where you have a salary and you just get an amount it, no, it varies wildly. Uh, and yeah, you need to be prepared for that if you're going to do this consistently. Um, uh, right, I'm giving you a in October. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to do something during PAX. It might not be like this. Uh, well, it won't be like this. I can't take my PC with me. But I might be able to do something. I don't know what, but I'm, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for opportunities for sure. Um, there, if anything happens, it's li you're likely not going to get much notice. Just, unfortunately, the reality. Um, three months of being PPA for three months, so in the September, we can right. Just, I, I appreciate you, Jeeps. And that's one of the reasons why multi-month subs are so good for streamers. Like, so, if, if you can, especially during September, which is now, coincidentally, um, if you can afford it, and this is always my my number one thing is take care of yourselves before you take care of fear. If I have a sub and then I find out that they had to eat nothing but like ramen or plain rice for the month because they couldn't afford and they 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 sacrificed good food to be able to sub, it would make me feel like shit. So don't take care of yourself before you take care of fear. Um, but multi-month subs are a fantastic investment because not only does it mean that you're covered for the months, um, you get a massive discount. You get a decent discount, like there's a three month and a six month. You get a decent discount doing a multi-month anyway, but during September, you get even more of a discount and the discount comes out of Twitch's end. It comes out of Twitch's cut. I and the other, so other streamers still get our full cut. And we don't get it as a lump sum when you pay it. If you buy a six month sub today and during September, you have your six month discount, then you have an extra 30% off and you pay that as a lump sum and you're covered for six months. And I get my cut of your sub each month for six months. So it, it and, and it's a full cut. So it spreads it out and it evens out my income. That's what it does for streamers. Multi-month subs smooth out our income sources and it's just such a great idea for you guys because you get a discount and for us, it's really, really great if you can afford to do it. If you can afford to do it. Uh, which is, of course, number one consideration. Uh, Jimmy's birthday last week of January really sucks the week before payday. Oh, youch. Put money aside for it all year. Little tiny bit of your paycheck, every single paycheck. Unbelievable, we're even to drop two purple blades. Up. No, Yori! How? I've never seen that before. Good job, you. Welcome back, Sam. So they won't be able to keep up a tier three multi-month September bonus. It's too good to pass up. We're going to take the plunge. Of course, absolutely. Yeah, no, look, 
I, I totally, un again, take care of yourselves before you take care of Fia, but it's definitely a great opportunity if you can afford it. Uh, Fade, Haley, Glatt, Werner, Fell, Absolute, Infamous, Zam, and V, congratulations to all of you on your video show. Well done. Well done. Um, I've been talking a lot today, so we're gonna start this battle and then I'm gonna go take a quick moment to stretch my legs. That tune got to 58. Um, so she's now ready for Arden Wield. And we're at 66.77, which is not quite another full day's work just yet. Uh, oh, I got assist from buffing. I should go turn that in. Got my tier 3 sub though. You'll never be rid of me. I'm honestly, I'm so glad. I'm, I'm so glad. Mike! Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for converting from a prime sub to a tier 1 sub. And we have 10 seconds left to trigger a hype train. That's not going to happen, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> really appreciate you. Thank you, Reed. I appreciate all of you so, so much. Like, every every single one of you are such an important part of this community. You all rock. You're all awesome. Time to boob. Savannah's enjoy. Have fun. Sub renews in six days. Take advantage of the multi-month September bonus for auto renews. Wife just got paid. Ah, oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Just check the T's and C's. I'm not sure you'll get the September bonus if your sub is due to renew this month. Just, just have, I mean, when you, when you go to like do checkout and stuff, it'll tell you what you're going to be paying, obviously. Um, but it is, it is still worth with the, um, the, the six month bonus, like the six month discount. I'm just not sure that you'll get the September bonus. I'm not sure it applies to existing subs, but you like, it might actually, if you're converting from a month to month to a multi-month, it might still count. I don't know. Check the, check the T's and C's. Just obviously be sure that, um, you are happy with the offer. Because that is what matters. Um, you can figure, oh, you can! Oh, brilliant. Because, brilliant. yeah, I knew there were a few little little weird things about it. Um, I knew there were a couple of weird little things about it, but I wasn't entirely sure. Uh, yeah, sub cancelled in September doesn't qualify, but upgrading from a month to month to a multi month may. Um, discounts apply only to first term of new recurring paid subscriptions, prime or gift subscriptions converted to paid subscriptions, or monthly subscriptions upgraded to multi month. So you can. As long as, as long as you were on a regular one, monthly, going up to multi-month, you still get the discount. So it's trying to encourage people to pay up, like cough up now. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. There you go. Yeah, they always check, always check the T's and C's, no matter what the hell you're doing. Always. Um, alrighty, so I'm going to log out of this turn and sh switch to the newest one that we're going to go through Maldraxxus on, but I'm going to go take a quick break before we get cracking. Set it up right now. You don't have to wait for the renew date. It won't charge you until your renew date too. Perfect. There you go. Beautiful. Look, I'm a little... I know what happens on my end. Not entirely sure what happens on all of your end. <laughs> sometimes I have to check my, my details, so I do apologize, but look, sometimes... Yeah. I said you went past wife's T's and C's as well. That is a very intelligent decision. Always check with your significant others, especially, especially, in, like, so important if you have shared finances. If it's not just your money, you need to check with the other owner of the money. <laughs> very, very smart decision. Um, all right, I'm going to be right back.
prerogatives are the bomb. We're listing them out for my teacher renewal. Clip manage some six month renewal. Should be the 35th. Oh, fantastic, dupe. That's wonderful. I'm so glad. I'm like, when I saw the T's and C's announced, when they, like, because they announced it before it started happening, right? And I, I saw it and I was kind of like, ooh. Because a big thing for September for streamers is that it affects gifted subs. Because you see a lot of like sub bombs and stuff like that in September, which is fantastic because then people can put that money away and use it to cover. Beg your pardon? What the hell just happened? That's still the same day. <laughs> Shit. My bag's flights just got changed. Um Ah! Ah! <laughs> Rude! <laughs> I'm so sorry to headphone users. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No! The light disconnected. And as I went to go and reconnect it, I noticed we have, I have an email from Jetstar. Our flights have changed. That's early. Did you? Early. Mm. We're going to have to leave at six in the morning. That's okay. No. <laughs> you can try to wake me up. And as I was doing this and as I was complaining about it, um, the light reconnected itself. But the thing is, when it reconnects itself, it does it at full brightness. And so it went boom and then and then stopped and then did it at the right. And I'm like, so that was what the yelling was. Again, apologies to headphone users. I'm that was unpleasant. <laughs> I have made to check on my Amazing! I can't wait to numb them. No. Ah, uh, warm water. No, it's when it's it's mints and it's chilled, so it doesn't give you salmonella. Anyway. Ah, uh, look, this is a fun time. Excuse me. What are you doing? Not you. Have I? I'm knocking the cable. That's what it is. All right. One moment, please. Cable at the top is fine. You remember when I had heard that thing go bang and I'm like, what the fuck was that? Uh, I reckon it's this. <clears throat> that it? That's it. Okay. One moment, please. I'm still here. Ah. Hi, the sun well. I'll be back in a second and say thank you personally. Um, where the f I've lost something and I don't know where it's gone. Can't. 
You know what? I'll have to do this after stream because I cannot, can't, just... It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Um, bad! Bad, thank you so much from, for converting from a Prime sub to a Tier 1 sub. Much appreciated. I hope you're doing really, really well today, or at least better than I am. Um... Yep, so, um, I've got a, I've got a foot, you know, like those ergonomic foot resty things? I've got one of them under my desk, and every time I was moving my feet, it was tilting, and it was tugging on a cord, which was connected to the light, which, and it was only sitting, like, halfway plugged in, so it was unplugging it, and then plugging it, and un, and then, yeah, sorry, but I fixed it, so it's fine now. <laughs> Pro streamer, right here. Um, right, so, catching up on chat. 134. Oh, we're getting closer. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm gonna freak when we hit under a hundred to go. Like that's just gonna that's gonna be a thing. Hi, Cher, looking like you're interested in chat. Love the googly eyes. Yes, this is the yeah, Cher is wonderful and amazing. Most supportive member of the community. Ah, Cher's angled so perfectly looks like Cher is reading chat! Amazing. Brilliant. Oh no. Darkness envelops sphere. Yep. Did it get darker? It did! Ring light down. Not the key lights. Um, but yes, close enough. Um, let there be light. Let there be blinding. Blame chair sabotage. The what? No, oh, wait. What happened? Um, I've got to. So basically, this is what happened. I have two key lights. One of them went down. So yeah, that's that's what happened. Um, flight home from Melbourne has changed. Also, yeah. Um, we got so. I had a flight that left at like breakfast-ish time and then landed in Melbourne like around lunchtime, which was really nice. And now it now we leave at 8.15 in the morning. And I'm like, joy. But it's fine. It's fine. Jas said he'll wake me up, and that's, you know, that's his if he has a death wish, he's he's more than welcome to. It means I'm gonna have to pack the day before, which is freaking Monday, which is a stream day, so it's just gonna be a nightmare. Um, but look, it'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Mm, is PAX like Twitch gone? Uh, PAX uh, kind of it's a video game, or not just video game. Sorry, it's a gaming exhibition. So it's um, uh, stands for Penny Arcade Expo, and anything that is a game has a place there. Handhold, uh, handheld stuff, consoles, game like like PC games, tabletop. Uh, dice games, uh, board games, card games, anything that is a game that you can think of has a place at PAX. So yes and no. Uh, TwitchCon is all about streaming on Twitch. Um, PAX is about gaming. Uh, so similar topics, there's a lot of overlap, but they're still very different. Um, so it is fierce, well, yeah, apparently, apparently. Wasn't my room got it? Yes, correct. Packs of for Pity Arcade Expo. Yes, fear for blinding herself. Yeah. yeah, I'll take that. Um. Oh no, we did. Oh, so we got that one. I didn't do the pet. Choose a pet. Damn it. All right. Um. A cute puppy. Just pet. There is cutest puppy anyway uh and then we had the voice changer and that was pig and whistle goodness gracious i got so caught up in all of my chit chats that i totally forget about literally everything um how did that not get flagged land up probably allowed through previously and then not reclosed out it happens yeah um gaming expo correct still blame the chair Absolutely, everything was in fact not fine. Sounds cool. Went to London, UK, Excel last year. It was a lot of fun. Brilliant. Welcome to the behind the scenes view. Honestly, we're not have converted. I didn't know some of those details. Oh, no way. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah, look, it's um, as long as I'm allowed to, I'm always happy to share that kind of stuff. Um, the only time I won't is when I can't. Um, but yeah, so if you ever see like a Twitch promotion come up or something and you're like, how does this actually work for you guys? More than happy to tell you. Absolutely. Like, totally fine. Um, where am I? Do, 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 pig and whistle! This 
next one. All right, let's start that timer. And we'll go Maldraxxus. Threads of Fate. Um, is burial breakfast on the plane, or oh, more like breakfast in the um, uh, in the thing before we get on the plane? Uh, although I think I did um, when I book flights, I do usually pre-purchase like a little food voucher thing because I know what I'm like. I have like those um, uh, like I I want. <laughs> I see and I like, ooh, food, I want that. And then I'm like, oh wait, right, it's really expensive. So if I pre-purchase a meal, then at least I have something and I won't get pissy with myself. Um, so I, yeah, I usually do that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, I'll probably end up grabbing something at the airport too, because if I, if I, if it takes me that long to eat, oh, I'll be so angry. So angry. Food plane is also very expensive. Yeah, it, it can be. If you pre-purchase meals, it's a bit more affordable, but it's still it's still expensive. Although I do kind of understand why food on a plane has so many more. Like, it's a lot trickier to serve food on a plane than it is anywhere else. You know, they don't have like a big storage area, and they have to make sure that everything is kept at just the right pressurization and the right temperature, and all. And it's a lot harder to do that in that small an area. Than it is to, to do it on the ground. So I get it, but it also sucks. Um, so expensive. It is. I have some event over here called EGX Eurogamer Expo. It's E3, yeah? Um, did you have some autopilot on? No. No. Uh, airport, yes, because I live in Brisbane. And PAX is in Melbourne, and so I have to fly down there. I don't mind used to flag GG before we auto allowed it, so I'm amazed that, that word managed to make it through them out. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, flight path stuff might look like autopilot. Oh, yeah, if I was on a flight path, then yeah, that'd definitely look like it, but no. Um, I'm uh, an autopilot here. Um, Supervision so Battle Network, I've said a little bit I was streaming. Hello, flight. Welcome on in. Hope you're doing well. So glad you found us. Secondarily, I hope you enjoy the content. <laughs> Finding us is step one. Actually having fun. Now that is step two. Step three is profit. As everyone is aware. <laughs> oh, I hope you're having an awesome day. Uh, I didn't buy food on my plane to Cali. I did spend $11 on Wi-Fi priorities. Yeah, look. I, I, I pay that. Also depends on how long the flight is as well. Like a uh, flight down to Melbourne's like two and a half hours. Um which I can kinda handle. Especially like I can I can download a few episodes of something and and watch or listen to them or whatever, and that's fine. Um but if it's longer Ooh, honey. Honey. Didn't you just go to sleep on a flight? Yeah, I I am an insomniac to begin with. Um, so I have a lot of trouble sleeping in a bed, uh, <laughs> um, but flights are also like being upright and stuff. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of difficult, but, um, and it, again, it depends on length of flight. If it's only a two and a half hour flight, then it just, meh. um, it's not really worth it. I'll just feel really groggy when I get off at the other end, but, uh, I'll see how I go. <clears throat> I also have like my laptop and stuff so there's a good chance that I could actually sit there and do like um not online obviously like I'm not gonna pay for wi-fi on a two and a half hour trip it's just not worth it but um I could do offline stuff like I could actually plan stuff out so that once I do have an internet connection I can literally kind of copy paste everything across um uh but yeah like i can i'll find a way to make it work usually can um <clears throat> if you're on twitch enjoy stream question mark question mark profit yeah look as, lo as long as we all understand that fear is the one that usually profits um I mean, you guys, you guys, obviously, if you're 
So if you're if you're getting entertainment and stuff like that, then that's great. But the viewer numbers help me get sponsorships. Help me go full time. So that's you know that's you look pretty good profit for me, I reckon. As long as you guys are enjoying yourselves, that is what is important. Because in the end, that's what I am. I'm a source of entertainment. If I'm not entertaining you. And I hope that you are able to find someone who does. Because you deserve, you deserve good entertainment that suits your needs, that you enjoy. Because you're worth it. Um, my flight from Vancouver to Cali was two and a half hours. I still pay for wife. Fair, fair. Yeah, no, I, I want food, and I need something to occupy my brain, um, and chances are this time around, like when I went, when I flew down in July, my grandfather turned 90 in July, and my mum was kind enough to pay for my flights down, um, to, because she was like, you know, you really should be here for this. I'm like, I know, I'm broke, and she's like, well, what if I paid? And I'm like, I could make this work. Uh, <laughs> but no, uh, so she flew me down and um that was it was awesome it was really really good uh and i just kind of popped my headphones in and, and listened to podcasts and stuff on the flight but um uh i think i'm getting to the point where i need to actually make some constructive use of that time but we'll see we'll see i might not be able to i might my brain just might go and i can't do anything but we'll see Nerves to pack like an hour before I leave helps me to not forget anything. My brain is in flight mode. <laughs> yeah, no, I I cannot, especially not for a, like eight day trip. <laughs> an, an eight day trip that's like a work trip, technically. I can't, I can't do, can't do, can't yeah, do. You, I'm the kind of person who like goes like, okay, so on Tuesday I'm gonna wear this outfit, so I need to leave that out. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to wear this outfit, and then this one, and then this one, and then I need, like, a pair of underpants for every day, plus spares. And then, like, it's a, <laughs> it's a whole, like, yeah, I'm, I'm a person like that. But I've got checked baggage, so I'll be fine. One pair of shoes, though. One pair of shoes. Um, shopping down, hanging out for lunch, with you stream the pub? Fantastic, Zen! Enjoy, I hope lunch is delicious. The good use of the time. I I hope so. I hope I can do that. It just depends on how my brain's level of cooperation, genuinely. But um, I would I would like to do that because that way I'm not just I can't be distracted by anything. I can't fall down a Reddit hole because I don't I can't access Reddit, and I can't. You know, I so I feel like that would be a really good use of time. Uh, I just have to actually do it. Uh, really, really just this anxiety less randomly throw up. Having access like Discord during the flight. Fair. That's fair. Speaking of fear profiting, socials! Yeah, speaking of me drafting up socials posts on an on an aeroplane, um, yeah. Follow me on social media. I'm going to back to the summer this year, long train ride to get there. Take me longer to get there, even though a little lot closer to Melbourne than you do. Yes. Yeah, look, train rides will do that, hey. Planes are also a lot faster than trains most of the time. Not always, there are some high speeds, but yeah. No, I'm, uh, we're gonna have, uh, for anyone who is attending PAX, um, this year, we are gonna have, uh, some kind of a gathering on the Saturday. Um, it's not gonna be, um, like, I'm not gonna book a restaurant or anything like that. It's gonna be super, super casual, incredibly chill. Um, it'll be posted about in Discord, so if you want to, if that's something that interests you, Discord is the place to be. Uh, and it'll basically be, like, at this time, we'll go outside of the convention centre and, like, find a spot on the grass and just kind of hang out and have lunch. Um, you know, not no lunch provided. Everyone can bring their own lunch, which means no one has to worry about, like, food intolerances. You can get what you want from where you want to get it, and we can all just sit and eat and then go on our merry ways. Um, it'll be the first time I'm meeting a lot of you face to face, which will be absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's going to happen. And it'll be outside so that if you are in Melbourne for some reason, but you weren't able to get a ticket to PAX on the Saturday, you'll still be able to join us because it'll be outside. You won't need a ticket to be able to get there. Um, uh, last flight was in 2017, New York. Kept myself busy, uh, to keep myself busy, I would watch movies in the plane TV. Got the Virgin Atlantic plane. Amazing. That's super cool. Yeah, the um, 
the Jetstar domestic ones are a little, um, <laughs> a little cheaper than that, but that's all right. I will find ways to entertain myself. So through my packing thought process. Yep, that's it. Oh, excuse me. But then I also have, you know, like skincare and makeup and, um, all that kind of stuff. It'll, yeah, look, it's a thing. You and I use the same add-ons, the rare item call out, get checking my map. Oh, I'm so sorry, Reed. Yeah, it, look, it is... It's, it's, it's a bit strange, I know, hearing it on a different and being like, wait, what? I, uh, yeah. <laughs> what time is the fear panel on? There isn't one. <laughs> There's no fear panel. Um, there is a chance that I may be able to stream from a booth on the floor. But I don't know yet. It is an opportunity that is there, but no, we, we, we know that it's an opportunity. But we don't know how people are going to be chosen. We don't know. Like, I've put my hand up. I've, I've tossed my hat in the ring kind of thing. But I have no idea whether or not it's going to happen. Like, I don't know how they're working that out. So, um, I, I'm not sure. But you'll know about it. Trust me, you'll know about it. Um, and especially if it's not on my channel. Like, it could, I could be streaming to their channel if it's their booth kind of thing. Um, so yeah, it'll... I'm not sure of the details, but as soon as I know, you will know. Um, I'll be meeting my house for the same person. Which can make you wonder what I look like and sound like at least beforehand, of course, of course. Yeah, it's always it's always kind of weird that kind of stuff. Hey, always a little bit weird. Hello, Badmon. You're 50 level 60s. Not yet. Not yet. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I do not have 50 60s yet. But I am working on it. That's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm leveling characters and um, getting just yeah, putting putting it putting the work in on my way, on my way. It's necessity though. No fear panel, right? Nah. nah. Look, maybe at the, maybe in the future at some point. I'm I'm not sure that I. It depends on what the panels are. I guess you know. Like I'm I I don't think I put a panel together myself. I don't know what, you know, it's, yeah, it's a bit strange. Not yet, she doesn't. Um, would there be a lot of competition for a streaming booth? Uh, yeah, I would imagine so. Like some people, not necessarily, like they don't kind of, some people are like, oh my God, that's so cool. And then other people are kind of like, eh, I'd rather just walk around and do my own thing. Um, but then there are people like me who recognize that having that on your like quote unquote resume, um, that, you know, another business trusted you enough to handle their stuff from their booth for X amount of time. That's a pretty big vote of confidence. Um, so for me, it's another one of those little bucket list type of things. Um, I, I'd really like to do it and have that, or like I've done this so that if other people go, oh, do you have experience with this? I can say, yes, this is what I did. This is how it went. Here is someone you can talk to about my experience with this thing, you know? Uh, v, Zam, Absolute, Stabber, Kim, Milky, Demon, and Werner. Congratulations to all of you on your membership. Well done! Well done. I have a great rest of dinner. Of course, Saz, you too. We'll see you next time. I said I'm not going to pack until there's a fear battle. <laughs> but, but no, no, see, Zam didn't say I will go if there is. That's the key. You've got to be real specific with your... You've got to be specific. Oh, no, okay. Someone got my spot. Alrighty. The psycho has brought you to me. But yeah, I've had, um, so there's a, there's a booth that there will be streamers at, uh, and there is a potential that I will be one of those streamers. There is a, a, today. a developer who has a booth Let's hear and they're kind of putting together an idea of what they want to do with that. And they've asked me if I'm available 
tentatively, like they obviously if they come back and say, hey, this is what we want to do and I'm not suitable for that, then that's not a thing. Report. But they have asked my availability. Um, so there's a chance that that might be a thing and that one might actually be sponsored, uh, like paid. Um, and then I've had a studio reach out um, and ask me to come by because they want me to look at their stuff and experience their stuff and, and all that kind of thing. Um, so it's starting. It's starting. Um, <laughs> which is just... I mean, the previous packs... The pack, I've got. I've been to three packs before, right? And um, previously, like I've done the whole, like I've gone through Pax Rising, which is the indie developer se section, and like I have reached out to them and I've said, hey, you know, I've played the demo and then I've stopped and I've said, hey, are you the developer? Cool. I love your game. I'm a content creator. I'd love to work with you. Blah 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 blah. blah. So, um, but now it's all the way around, and that's a little bit weird. But awesome. Awesome. But a little bit weird. So, yeah. Studio, yes. So not just a developer or a publisher or anything. They're a full studio that do everything in-house. Um, my rarest dragon. Ooh, hang on. All right. I can, I can actually define this for you. Um, all right, let's hop into mounts on DFA. Say collected, and we've already sorted by rarity, so let's go all the way to the end. That's a cat. Um, that's a battle gargan. That's a snail. That's a dire horn. That's a tiger. Frog, ram, talbic. Uh, dire horn. That's a dinosaur. Spider, on nettle, frog. Talbic, bear, spider, mechanical, frog, where is Durgan? Wombat, snail, bird, bird, uh, Jesus Christ, where's the dragon? Ooh, 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 is that... Oh, it's fucking Horde. I can't use it anyway. Um... <laughs> I'm on Alliance. I forgot. Uh, okay. It looks like... This is my rarest dragon. There you go. <clears throat> uh, so it caused me to leave. Why? Oh, because it was you thought it was gonna be a mount that you didn't have or something. Ah, uh, tricky weapons. There's a dragon, does it? But I mean this is an actual dragon. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's like a sea dragon, but it's still a, oh, no, I didn't, oopsie, I shouldn't have, hang on. Brilliant. Don't personally count as a dragon. Oh, okay, well, if you wouldn't, you're the one who made the call, so it'd be the, um, the four wins. This one, that's a dragon. Yeah, dragons take so many different shapes and forms, don't they? <laughs> Arguing semantics, you know. No, 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 I know. But, like, you're the person who did the thing. So your opinion is the one that matters in that particular case. Um, usually, yeah. Like, if, if it's like, that's not a dragon, it's like, well, technically. Um, but no, because you're the one who did the redemption, 100% your call. Look, I am... I'm nothing if not... What's the word I'm looking for? I want to say, my brain is saying pragmatic, but I don't think that's the right one. 
principles? I have a set of rules and I live by them. They don't always make sense, but at least they're, like, consistent. Check is probably the thing on your mind, hey, Psychic? Yep, possibly. So I guess I'm in the US base to find dragons pretty strictly in WoW, like the Wind Serpents. The ones from Hendaria don't count in WoW, but they look dragon- Do they not count? I mean, I know they're technically not a dragon flight, but do they have to be part of a dragon flight to be a dragon? Because, I mean, they have humanoids. Would that not be, like, a dragonoid as a serpent or something? Or I guess a dragonoid is not a dragon. Or, but, mm, interesting. Interesting. Ah, uh, favorite drake is the Violet Pro Drake, but I think more for the memory of it. You remember seeing Mountain Journal and can remember how when you go- Oh, all the time. <laughs> Surprisingly, all the time, um, like, especially if I got it during, like, stream times. Because often getting a new mount is a fond memory. Dragon kin. Right, thank you, Meaty. Yes. That is a really, yes, thank you. Used to enjoy it in our jungle before I spent two weeks trapped there farming that ice with mount. <laughs> Oh, I still enjoy it. I mean, you're not you're not trapped. It is a choice to want to farm something. And like, it's not like it's a, a super common drop or something. That's I think the problem is that the the drop rate is misleading. When you have like a drop rate, it's super super misleading for those because first you have to have it actually drop from the rare, then it has to drop the correct mount, and that's like so it's double a double layer of RNG. Which makes the, when you look at the numbers, it looks like a much higher drop rate than it actually is. Um, so yeah, I was, um, although I mostly AFK farmed those. Um, I'd just park a toon at a spot and then I'd kind of listen out for the rare scanner or for the, um, the voice lines. Um, I ha you can get weak auras that can recognize, like that will play the weak aura if there is a particular voice line in chat. Um, I've got one for the Fallen Charger. Um, but yeah, they're, they're really, really handy to have. Uh, and yeah, so you can set something up like that and it'll play a different noise depending on which one has spawned if you if you set it up right. Uh, and then you just go and do shit. Go and do what needs to be done and, and AFK it. And then you hear the alarm go off and you piss bolt back to your desk and check your thing and, and make sure you're at the right rare. Um. Wind serpents have their own definition. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, do you mean cloud serpent? Uh, they're like grouped in for pragmatic reasons. Wind serpents are snakes with wings. Cloud serpents are the eastern dragons. Tell me something. When I farm 150k crystals to corrupt a dreadwing, I'll never return to that zone. Yep. Yep. There's still so much I don't have from Tanan. I will absolutely be back, but you know. I have other more important tasks right now. She wants pets. DMF is up. Do you not fancy getting the XP buff? That was a bit of a trip. Correct. It's it's not really worth the trip, honestly. Not not for me at least. For some it might be. Um, I think the leveling is fast enough as it is. I don't I don't need um the zoom zoom. But that's okay. Like I'm. It's awesome that it's there for people who want it and who can like. Especially mages and stuff who have those easy access paths and whatnot. Or if you've got your hearthstone set there. That kind of stuff. But I nah. It doesn't it doesn't seem to make enough of a difference for me to go that far out of my way. Especially considering that I kind of just do a session. It it, just, it it feels like I'd spend more time going and getting it than I would save. For me personally, not to say that anyone else shouldn't. It's just a personal feeling. Or engineers, exactly. Or engineers. You got it. <clears throat> ah. 
enjoying today. This is nice. Not that I don't usually enjoy streams, but it, it's just... Today the conversation has been flowing really, really easily. And I'm just, I'm kind of, you know, getting my stuff done, chit-chatting along the way. It just, it feels like a really easy stream, you know, really nice. So thank you for being wonderful and engaging and all the good stuff. Appreciate it. Oh, it's the ziggurat. Okay, I'm like, why? What is this? What is this shadow? It's it's the ziggurat. Necropolis or whatever they want to call it. Expansion has one. The engineer thing. Or. Or the, the ziggurat. Whatever it's called. Which my vision test is also any bed. Rest well, meaty. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Look, maybe, maybe in like 10.2. Shibs. 10.2. When the undead dragons attack. These are not spoilers. I am pulling shit out of my ass. I have no idea what. <laughs> nah. What do you cover? Gentle reminder that we are a non-spoiler channel. Boost, it's you to First get rule of chat, literally in the chat rules. No spoilers. Die gloriously. Ah oh dear, but yeah, look, you you're not wrong. Rise of the undead, but alive, but also very dead zombie dogans, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, eh? I wonder how that would look, like, underneath- you know how they have, like, the, you know, World of Warcraft 9.2 name of the thing, Chains of Domination, all that kind of stuff. Like, wait, that was 9, never mind. Um, I wonder, like, I wonder how that would look, like, crammed underneath the, the WoW thing. Ooh, what flavor is that? What you joking about? What flavor is this? It's dark. Drink some. Is it like super Thai? So much. <clears throat> Is that gingerbread? Yeah. Have a have a mouthful of that. Yeah. Did you put fructose in there? <laughs> Usually it doesn't need it. Usually it doesn't need it. But the gingerbread syrup. Ooh, actually. Don't you dare! <laughs> no! Uh, but yeah, usually the bubble tea doesn't need the sugar, um, but the gingerbread one kind of does a little bit. It's just got a touch too much of a kick. Kind of has almost like an alcoholic aftertaste. Uh, do you think they'll bring back next Ramos? Um, I... Mm, look. Never say never. I don't think so. Um, considering that the head of Nax was Kel'Thuzad and Kel'Thuzad was actually dead dead, like we broke his phylactery in, um, Sanctum, I think, I think probably not. Um, but, you know, never say never. <laughs> Stranger things have happened. How's it go now? Oh, okay. Did you try it? No. Why not? Because you're the, the hamster in this testing facility. 
better. It still tastes a little bit strange though. Like, I don't know. I might have overbrewed it. Sorry? I said I might have overbrewed it. Oh, okay, yeah. That might have. That's alright, it's still tasty. It's gingerbread tea. Yeah, I, I doubt it, but, like, you know. I have a commander. Yeah, but you can and always you... give something a new commander. Oh, no. Mm. Is there's no helmet anymore. Were the, the, were the Lich literally from the Lich King? Like, he no, made them like, kind of... Max Ramos and the like was literally designated by the Lich King. Yeah, but can't there be a new leader of them all that just did doesn't have that particular helmet on. No. So they can't like. So we'll ne once once all the current existing lich are dead and all the phylacteries are broken. Third chance you could have more. Lich. They don't need a lich king to have a lich. Yeah. It's just Max Ramus's commander was designated by the lich. Yeah, but that's because the lich king was the head of the army, right? Yeah, but like so... he had the keys to the. Yeah, but keys don't stop existing when somebody dies. Magic keys. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point. Yeah, look, I I'm still gonna say probs not, but never say never because there's always some magical. It's there's literally magic in this world. It's you, anything anything unexplainable can be explained by magic. God's sake, did you? Good job. <laughs> <sighs> well, <laughs> shut it. Um, if you drive a car and it has that cool fin in the back, you gotta get out of here because that's a spoiler. <laughs> um, cheers, putting again, cheers, staring at yourself in the mirror. Please do not kick the gingerbread. What? What? What are you burning? Um, thanks again, they brought Nags back, Wrath Classic, true, true. Um, add some ice maybe. Th I think there was ice in there already, and I think it has melted. Um, but no, it's, it's still pretty good. Uh, it's just, it's got a lot more of the ginger hit than I thought it would. Um, but yeah, if, if the tea's overbrewed and then there's quite a bit of that syrup, then that, then that all makes sense. Yeah, the, the fructose definitely took the edge off, so it's, yeah, quite tasty. So just a nice plume of instant release smoke and I need to stop from coming to the alarm, thank you. I, I appreciate that. Does that include a raid in a swamp with a boss that's a green ogre that lives in the butt with a donkey? Does what include? I, I understand that you're making like a joke reference to Shrek. I just don't understand how it it's in. Sorry, Fell. <laughs> I've probably just completely like glossed over something and missed it. Mm hmm. Always tired. I am really looking forward to sleeping tonight. Um, I'm also looking forward to getting more dings, so one then the other. Oh, right. Um, I, I would say yes, except uh, I would say that copyright infringement is not part of what is possible. Just because, like, yeah, companies that big aren't that stupid. <laughs> Re like tongue in cheek references to things are one thing, but um, when you start putting too much of the reference in and make it a core part of gameplay, then it becomes then it starts becoming copyright infringement. Uh, it's the middle of the You got Mac because people go nuts over it. Oh my goodness. Look, not gonna lie, I love that shit. It's so, it, like, it's it's the whole, it's the mystery box thing. It's the firstly I get tasty food. Whether or not it's tasty or food is un, is up for debate, but that's fine. Um, I get tasty things that make my, my taste buds happy. 
Uh, and then I get to peel little stickers off. Although they do it all with the um, the app now, don't they? You don't actually get a sticker or a sheet or anything, which that... I understand, but it also sucks. <clears throat> Is apathy tired? Hell yes! Yeah, me too. I'm starting to get a headache. I think I need to grab my thing. Yeah, but you peel them off and it's like a fucking QR code or something, isn't it? And then you gotta like scan it in the app or something. Can you still trade them? Like, once you've actually got it in the app, can you trade it to someone? The air was once rich with anima, like it was dust. About after the episodes of those, we say they're gonna. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, I do like. I do love me a little promotion like that. Um, especially when like free stuff is involved. Free food is like the best kind of free. Uh, but I just oh god. I don't- I don't think my body can afford Maccas. <laughs> my bank account probably can, but my body will hate me for it for weeks. Um... Well, hydrate. I'm gonna bubble tea. It's like the headache, so I to rewatch these. And Stranger Things, fantastic, Scarlet! I hope you enjoy yourself. I hope you can get some rest soon, though. More importantly. A $560 order on Saturday night. So obviously, like some kind of a group special event dealy. <clears throat> what have you got to say? I remember in high school, um, we had like in in year seven, like in our first year of high school, you have demerits, which are like penalty points and then you uh and then if you got three demerits in a day you get a detention right um but if you had you also had merit points in, in the earliest year level um and if you got enough merits in a term everyone who got this many merits or more was like treated to a McDonald's lunch or something. So there'd be a day at school where they'd just buy, you know, they'd, they'd take your order and, and they'd buy you a meal. Um, and, and so, yeah, oh God. <laughs> you know, you talk about a year level with 120 students and maybe like 80 of us or so would, would get the, the required number of merits to get this free lunch. And the, the smell of all of these burgers and like, several kilograms of fries and all these drinks and just my god my god uh, i pity the teachers who actually went and picked it up and then brought it back because their cars would have had to have smelt of that stuff for weeks ah <laughs> uh, birthday party some sort yeah yep well, easier than catering How do you, <clears throat> you don't have to plan it in advance either usually or do you guys have like a, like you won't take an order over a certain amount with, or do you just kind of say, yeah, we can do it, but it's going to take us an hour and a half sort of thing? Um, hey, good. Welcome in. Hope you're doing wonderfully well today. Private school. Ah, uh, yeah, my high school was private. I went to a public primary and then private high school. Uh, it was like the, um, the budget private school locally like we there were there were a handful of private schools in my like general vicinity and there were like I think three of them that were like oh boy like in terms of prices price wise like cost for tuition and then the cost of the one that I went to was like budget <laughs> but it was still it was still good and I mean like um 
the big thing for my parents was that um I was, I, you know, you know, you have, you know, the memes on the internet. It's like, you know, all those gifted kids who are now realizing that they were, you know, treated like adults and blah, 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 blah. Like all, all that kind of, and who now have, who now have issues with blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm one of them. So I went through all those bloody gifted programs and all that kind of shit. And um, basically the feeling was like the local, the local high school, the high, the public high school that I would have gone to because of the way that the area and the zoning and stuff was done, um, the public high school I would have gone to had something like 14 or 15 or something classes with 30, uh, 30 students per class in one year level. So that was like, what's that, 15 by 30. Calculate it, 15 by 30. So that's 450 students in one, in, in year seven, one year level. Um, and the school that I went to, the, the budget private school, was um, four classes. So 120 students in the year level. And uh, I guess my parents felt like that was uh, a beneficial thing to pay a bit for. Um, but since then, I believe that that same district now has three high schools, three public high schools, because it just it got to the point where it exploded and they, they couldn't handle it anymore. So they, they had to build more. Um, but they didn't while I was there, and that's okay. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so I did I did private school um, for high school and public for primary. And I think that's a pretty good... I don't know, it seemed to work well for me. Um, yeah. Anyway, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you, Scarlett. Doing, doing really well, honestly. A um, bit behind on where I would like to be in terms of, like... My task list, my to-do list, and whatnot, but um, made some good progress on it today, so I'm I'm content with that. Yeah. We had an all-you-can-eat Pizza Hut near my high school. Best experience is going there with my class. We take any order, but we warn that it might be a while. Yeah, I think that's the right way to do it. Hey, I think because that way they can make the decision: do I want to wait this long or not? Ooh. <gasps> It looks hot. Yeah. Big meatball. Yeah, it, it was like two meatballs per serving. Why make two? Just make one big one. I'm cooking for half an hour anyway. Because <laughs> they soak up more of the flavor. <laughs> That's really tasty though. I just had a nibble of a bit of the um eggplant. It's really good. Have you tried it yet? No. I haven't served mine up. You do well. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. And thank you for taking that one away as well. I got a bunch of private school. I know, right? I know. Like, definitely, it still wasn't, like, you know, public school is free. <laughs> so it wasn't free, uh, but it also wasn't, like, 30 grand a year. Because fuck that noise. Um, what's the doms? Um, so it is chicken meatball. Singular. <laughs> Um, in like a tomato sauce that's got uh, leek and eggplant and diced tomato and end of sentence um, <laughs> and some asparagus on the side. It, it smells amazing and the eggplant that I just quickly munched on was really tasty so I'm, um, I'm quite pleased with those. I still have been reading things. He is. He is. Yeah, usually I do the meal prep for breakfasts and lunches, and so he's got breakfast and lunch to take to work with him. And then, because he, I, I work from home for the most part. I do one day in the office a week, but um, I, I work from home the other day, and all my stream stuff I do from home. Um, so I've got pretty easy access to food, uh, and he doesn't. So yeah, I do, I do breakfasts and lunches, and that way he's got food prepped for him at work, and then he does dinners. At least he does dinners on the nights that I'm streaming. And then on my nights off, like the Tuesday and Thursday, either we've got leftovers that we heat up or um, we'll, like, we'll cook together because it's fun. She's privileged. Yes. Uh, my mother didn't like the look at kids in public high school. We went to a private Catholic high school instead. Look, people use interesting measures to make their decisions, don't they? Totally reasonable. Going to taste the food before anyone else? Yep. Sounds delish. It smells amazing. I haven't... 
I've only eaten the piece of uh, eggplant at the moment, so I can't tell you that it's delicious, but it, it definitely smells and looks it. Uh, Psychic, meaty, tell, and fade, infamous, V, and demon. Congratulations to all of you on your ownership. Well done. Well done. Chicken tenders in the oven, yams, rice, with steamed Oh, yum, apathy. Yes, I like that plan. Go you. Go you. All right, let's um, turn in those two quests and see what comes next. Centurions again, are you kidding? <laughs> oh no. All right. Um, Centurions, bombers, orc slayers. Okay, I can't do that one. The bomber's fine, but it's also got a long, a shorter cooldown. So I'll place the Centurion first and then go from there. All right. I mean, there's a lot of steam coming off of that. So I think I'm just gonna let it cool down a little bit first. Um, And then I'll be able to tell you how delicious it is. Yum. Mm. The chicken meatball's really tasty. Super juicy too. Mm. All goods and services for sale. Get a plan? There's a squishy. Five. 
little tea. Yep, that's it. What tea is it today? Gingerbread. Which is, it was a limited edition that they had Christmas last year. Um, but it had like a massively long expiration. So like, yas. So we like saved a couple tubs. Because <laughs> it's really good. Really good. We need a cooking channel, share the meatballs. We've done a couple of cooking streams in the past and they worked pretty well. The problem is because of where our kitchen is located, um, I need to like, I, I needed to commandeer Jas's computer and I streamed from his PC, but that means that he couldn't play games and stuff while I was streaming, which is not fair to him. Um, but once, like once I get to the point where I'm a full-time content creator and I have the kind of cash to get a two PC setup going and stuff like that, um, it is definitely something I'd like to work in every so often, even if it's just like once a month and I do food prep once a month, you know? Excuse me. So like putting together all these meals to be cooked at a later time and so like cooking a couple of things there, but just putting all that stuff together. It's like uh, when I've, <laughs> I'm kind of thinking like a content creator. I'm like, how do I monetize every aspect of my life? You know, how do I make this all into income? And one of the ideas that I had was if I'm doing meal prep, because we do meal prep once a week, right? If I was able to get the funds together to buy a month's worth of groceries at once, I've got a chest freezer, I can freeze stuff. And then I can go through and like package stuff up. I can make things like overnight oats on stream, like mix all and get you guys to suggest flavors and we can vote and have a top four. And then I have like four batches, like once one batch per week kind of thing and make all that up and stash it in the freezer and make up a bunch of lunches and stash that and da da da. And, but stream it. So it's giving people ideas for their own kind of food prep. It's showing how to do stuff on a budget. Um, it's getting you guys involved by like suggesting recipes and picking flavors and all that kind of thing. Um, and and it's means I actually get meal prep done. <laughs> so like that would be amazing. I'd love to do something like that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the setup for it at the moment, but it is definitely something that's on the like the I wish list, you know? I think it'd be a lot of fun. <clears throat> That sounds low key really nice. That's what I thought. Like just a chill stream. We can have like some some like lo-fi beats going in the background or something and just put together food and, and show, you know, this is how you can feed yourself and you can it, it takes minimal spoons to put stuff together. Um and then yeah, just kinda go from there. But yeah, it, it would take a lot of effort in terms of setting it up for the first time. Um but beyond that, yeah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts and putting them together. <clears throat> but yeah, look, there's, there are a few things that are like, things that I wish that I could do, that I'd, I'd love to be able to do, and that I just can't at the moment, and that's fine. Like, I, I do not have the ideal setup, I have not built my life around content creation, uh, but at some point, in, in the relatively near future, not not like the next couple months, but sometime soonish, um, I'll be moving to Melbourne because it's where my, my family is and it's where I've always wanted to move back to. And so I'll be able to, to do that. And when I do, I can have streaming and content creation constantly in the back of my mind. When I'm looking for a place to live, if I eventually buy a home, I like I can buy a place or I can rent a place and I when I go to inspect it, I can be like, right, so I can do this here and I can do that there and I can like, you know, just work it all out in my head. How is this going to, how can I make this space into a studio, into a, into a place where I can create content easily without having to rearrange a bunch of stuff anytime I want. Like at the moment with the bed in the background, like... Some days I'd like to just not have to make my bed. I, you know, having having a made bed is nice, but sometimes you don't have the spoons. But I have to because it's in the background and then all of the stuffed animals and stuff, they have to go so that I can sleep. And then I have to make the bed and put them all back again every day. Like it's exhausting. 
Um, so being able to have that background set and it doesn't change unless I have guests staying, you know, having having a stream background kind of thing in a stream room would be really nice. And it just, it's the little things that make life easier, but that's okay. Where we are where we are at the moment. Uh, and I have all these beautiful ideas for the future and I'm just gonna make them happen. Paladin, we're healing is weird. I don't like, I don't understand. I don't understand healing at all. Um, at all. <laughs> I feel like I'm at risk of patronizing. Advanced apologies. Have you tried using OBS and remote cam software for phones for out of office work? Uh, oh, yeah, no, it, it just, it's not good. It's not good. Um, it's, it's not just, um, so because I'm so, so interactive with my content, it doesn't work very well and I can't, I can't access my bot because my bot's here and I can't take it with me to out there. Um, and I can't, like, there's there's just, there are a lot of little things that make it, it's possible, but it's not a good experience for me. Um, and it's okay, I, I appreciate the, the disclaimer to start, but yeah, it's it's all good. Um, it is definitely something, it's definitely something I've considered, but it just doesn't have the functionality that I would need for me to feel comfortable. Um, there are a lot of things, like, there are a lot of things about my stream that aren't super common to a lot of streams. One of the things is, like, reading every chat message and responding to people, like, super in-depth and, and all that kind of thing. And it makes that really difficult if I don't have all of my stuff right there able to access. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit tricky. Um, I've also had a few issues with, um, like... The, the layout of my apartment has a lot of walls, like a lot, a lot of walls. Um, and I've had like, for example, my, my headset and stuff um, works in very specific areas of the apartment. And um, the Wi-Fi has dead spots in the apartment uh, because of all the walls and because like, I have the router here um, because it's my PC and I'm the one using the majority of the bandwidth and all that kind of stuff, so that's fine. But the Wi-Fi gets really spotty in some places, so having the camera on the phone and all that kind of stuff, it's... Yeah, it's unfortunately a little bit trickier than that. Um, for some people it works beautifully well, uh, and that's fantastic that it does, but for my particular brand of streaming, it's um, unfortunately doesn't quite work. So the win, indeed. Interesting. Right. Um, I'm 12, 12 years. Just came back in the swing of it. Welcome back to Azeroth Invader. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what UI mods are you using? Yes, LVI. Thank you, Zam. Yeah. Should need some contemplation on the whole system. Welcome, old newbie. Yes, it is it a lot? It is. Yeah, I do use a lot of add-ons, but the beautiful thing about add-ons is that they're only there to provide extra functionality, right? You don't need any of them. The game is perfectly functional and playable as it is without anything, without with like zero add-ons. So if you are like if you're playing through and you discover something that's like, huh, I wish this could do that, there's probably an add-on for that. Um it's it's the new, it's the new, there's an app for that, yeah. Um, so you can, like, if you want the UI to look nicer, you can definitely do something with, like, LVUI. LVUI does take a long while to set up just because there are so many options. Um, but once it's set up, you never have to touch it again if you don't want to. Uh, but for the rest of the add-ons, I would definitely recommend just holding back and, and just waiting and seeing if you actually feel like you need any extra functionality. And then when you find something that you wish it could do, getting, add -on, uh, getting an add-on that fills that need. Um, you can play WoW pretty well with uh, a bare bone setup. Uh, for some reason I'm enjoying saving these bags. You get the end of leveling dungeons. Oh yeah. Brilliant. Just open them all when your bags are full. Hey Takumi, welcome on in. Top mods for it, add-ons. Um, honestly, uh, like for me, I, I use LVI a lot. I use Zygor a lot. I use ATT a lot. Um, yeah, I use Trade Skill Master a lot, but like you don't need i like literally just finished saying that you don't need add-ons um 
I would get as a as a new player, I would highly recommend just playing the game as is. And if you come across something where you're like, huh, I really wish the game did this, then you can find an add-on that does that. Um, that will give you that little bit of extra functionality. But beyond that, like the game is perfectly playable as it is without any add-ons at all. Um, and it can definitely make your experience, your like brand new playing experience, a bit more enjoyable if you're not spending it wrangling new add-ons that you don't quite understand how they work because you just downloaded them because the streamer told you to. Um, it, it works best if you go and f like hunt down something that works for your specific needs case and learn how to use it because you want it to do something for you kind of thing. Um, just installing things for the hell of it is how you get really long load window, like load screens, uh, and and a, like just chewing up a bunch of memory for zero reason. Um, LVI is something what Blizzard should do years ago. Ah, well, they're doing it now, Biostar. Better late than never. Um, where do you have all the transport from? Ah, brilliant! Fantastic! Do I wind tools? Thank you very much. Oh, you're so welcome, Takumi, of course. I hope it helps. <laughs> I hope it helps. Oh, that's the classic ones. Yeah, of course. Well, look. Open them when you want to, Scarlet. No harm in waiting. So I have 56. Did I update that? No, I didn't. At 66.98. We are one day behind. Amazing. We're getting there. I don't think I'm going to catch up today, but I will. It was worth trying. Still a chance however slim. Got all those evades. Getting it Sunday. My brain is just not functional this weekend. Hi, the sun well. Oh, Seeker, hello. Sixteen months. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a while, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you so much for the resub. You're having a fantastic day. Brilliant. Brilliant. It was quite a cute set of grounds at the earliest, that is for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> so cute. That's a shame I don't shame it. Squids on the net. Let's see if a party with snakes. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm glad it was fun. Look, it may be it may feel like a shame every so often, but I think overall it is a, a good decision. Um excuse me. Uh, internet safety cannot be like cannot excuse me, cannot be trifled with. Yeah. No, I'm glad you had fun though. I'm really glad you had fun. Awesome. The cake looked great. Like, really great. I hope it tasted just as good. Can't put the internet back in the bag. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. <clears throat> oh, man. Twelve egg whites with the with the rich cake, I can imagine. I can imagine. <clears throat> God, I could go some cake. Although, um we bought supplies today to make instead of going out and buying a uh a fancy chocolate milkshake for the Instagram shot. Uh, we bought ingredients. So we're gonna make need something. I've got make freak shakes at home. Um, and so we have like a pile of Ferrero Rochers and a block of chocolate and a pack of Oreos and sprinkles and whipped cream and we got all this fun stuff. So um, that'll be entertaining. Um, I think that's probably enough rich for me for the week. So exciting. It is. It is. It'll be good fun. It'll be good fun. Uh, during my childhood, there was a lot of don't talk to strangers, don't tell them your address, don't get in cars. Now we use apps to bring strangers to our houses, literally so we can get in their cars. It's hilarious, right? I've, I've seen the uh, the memes on the interwebs. It's, yep. It is. And not, not just that, but like, the vast majority of that kind of stuff is perpetrated by people who are not strangers, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's really, it can be quite difficult these days to, like, protect yourself. Yeah, big splurge for you guys. Yeah, yeah, it, it was, but it was, it probably would have been cheaper to buy two ridiculous milkshakes, but we get extra treats for the rest of the month. <laughs> um, and... Uh, it means I can like make a little video clip of putting the things together and like, you know, it, it's it's just a little bit extra. Um, and it means that it won't, like, I don't have to go and drive somewhere and do the thing and then, you know, like, spend all that time to get one post worth of stuff. Um, I'm definitely needing to find ways to um, consolidate my time spent because goddamn, I'm just too busy. Uh, content woo! Exactly. Exactly. Woo for content. Woo for content.
Something was an abundant sausage sizzle today for three hours. Ah, fantastic! Hope it went well. Good on you. I think this hand injury went pretty well. Oh no. Oh dear. What did, what what head injury did you like what did you do? What did you do? I feel like maybe I read something in Discord, but I don't I don't remember. Yeah, probably. Hi, it may. You know, you, you know what my memory is like. It's uh, it's not it's not good. It's not good. I also have currently have uh, actually I might grab my pain kills. I have quite the headache, um, so that might not be helping. Um, where are you, handbag? Handbag. Ah, uh, smash right on the door frame and go into the car. Oh my god, not the fu Holy shit, Seeker, you knocked yourself out. Good lord, that's that's a talent. So at least a few minutes. God damn. I don't think I've ever done that. Holy cow. Are you, like, are you feeling okay? Like, do you need to see a doctor? I went really quiet. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't surprise me. My brain had to make the restart noise. So something was wrong. <laughs> Fair. I, I feel you. Yes. It's the whole, you know, the window, the window startup noise after a couple of minutes. <sighs> so last week the party for my friends and my mum worrying a bit. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. <clears throat> Hope you're okay. No, something's usually few and far between. Uh, she was concerned, knew something was up. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, well, I hope that you took all the necessary precautions and stuff, and that if things get a bit wonky, that you go get checked out, yeah? Like, that's important. You only get one brain. Uh, it's a little more fragile than we would like it to be. I've just said every bit I was fine, a bit wonky, but fine. Yeah. Uh, have you got knocked out? Please be safe for us now. We can sort of knock it. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's fantastic. Dear. Yeah, well, fingers crossed, it's just a standard checkup, and they go, yep, cool, not a worry. It's, you know, it's always better to be safe than sorry, hey? Like, you're better off getting checked out and having nothing be wrong than not getting checked out, and then three weeks later, realizing something is wrong. <laughs> always better. This one is down. Well done, Yori. Well done. Congratulations. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Ah, oh. yeah, those two raids unfaded. Yep, yep. Ah, oh, you'll be just fine, Yuri. You'll you'll smash it. The constructs continue to bolster their forces at the Temple of Kurt. Me there. If I'm in the car next time, wherever I remember sitting in the driver's seat leaning back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be pretty scary, hey? Like, completely losing minutes and just not knowing what happened or why or. Yeah. Certainly a bit unnerving. <clears throat> I 
Alrighty. I got a skin! Yas. Who else got skins from their skin chests? Best of luck. Uh, McClue, Silver Molly, Demon, Paul, V, Neren, Zem, Stabber, and Krugan. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. In we go. <clears throat> this will be the last battle of the evening. Centurions, Bombers, and Alt Slayers. Can't do the Alt Slayer, I can't do Centurions, so I'm gonna do the Bomber. One thing I never do anymore is the battle. You get back on the stream raiders, you should. Agreed. Ah, Zam, congratulations on the skin! Well done. Well done. <clears throat> so, were you a vibrant fluttering? No, no one's guessed the mount makeup yet. But no, it wasn't. It's not a vibrant fluttering. Uh, no, not the Jade Primordial Dion. <clears throat> I'm back, sorry, just like you've been affiliated. Oh, totally fine, Reed. No need to apologize. Enjoy your lurk. Not a worry at all. We love our lurkers. Turquoise Raptor. No. Actually, let me just do a quick one for you, Seeker, because you weren't here before. So, um, the the outside edge is uh, black, well, as close to black as I can get it, but it's kind of a greeny sort of black. Um, at least in, in the pan, it's got a green shimmer. It doesn't so much on my face. Uh, and then it goes through like a, a tealy blue-green kind of shade and then into like a pale green. Um, and at the start of the night, probably not anymore, but at the start of the night, I had a uh, blue eyeliner uh, as well. But I think that like, you know, my waterline eyeliner uh, for breakfast lunch and dinner so um <laughs> i don't think that's there anymore but it was uh and those are the colors uh i own it and it flies <clears throat> uh turquoise raptor no swift blue raptor no corridor creeper no mock dark oh, mm, fierce razor wing no I quite like how this turned out. I'm not very good at blending. Like the lines between the colors are fairly bare. Um, <laughs> but I, I do quite like how it turned out. Um, the, the ombre thing is, is quite nice. Uh. 
Just wait 20 minutes for the quest giver to arrive. Tangled Dreamweaver. Is he get dead slipped and got knocked out earlier this year? Oh no, he's fine. He doesn't remember around that. He just he got knocked out and woke up at my brother's house. He was at a farm. Oh dear, Claw. Well, I'm glad your father's okay. I'm oh, wondering, ancient, no way it flies never binds you. <laughs> That's okay. I forget that trees don't fly all the time. Sorry. I am being very cheeky. That was... Very much undeserved. As it flies. No, no, as in the mount that I have on my face flies, whereas the Wandering Ancient doesn't. Yeah. I think was what was what Seeker was getting For at. You, I... <clears throat> That's how I interpret it, at least. <laughs> Not to put words in her mouth or anything. All right. So still doesn't remember. Yeah. Mm. I would imagine that, like, if you don't make the memories at that point, then you can just never access them because they don't exist sort of thing. It's interesting, hey? Like, we have this super, super soft, squishy thing that's, like, super important for all of our bodily functions. And so we built, like, this cage of bone around it. But somehow, occasionally, it still rattles against its cage, and then there's damage. Like... It's, <laughs> it doesn't seem like particularly well designed, does it? <laughs> Hello, Naren. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well today. My memory is back. Luminous Star Seeker probably already been guessed. Um, I don't think it has. It's not. It's not the Luminous Star Seeker, but I don't remember what's already been guessed. I apologize. Um, but it's okay. If it's if they're double ups, I'm happy to just say no and move on. All good. We do get a lot of double up guesses, especially when people have, are joining the stream who weren't here when other guesses had been made and stuff. It's it's fine. It happens like a lot, a lot. I just recently been noticed talking about how the floor was slippery, but no, not around when it happened. Interesting. It's losing like a minute or two either side. <clears throat> so, I reckon I might be able to squeeze another ding out of this tune. I think I might be able to finish Maldraxxus, but that's not going to catch me up to today. I'll be like 0.06% short. So, that look, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, Abyss Worm, no. It is super unsettling for me. I say, yeah, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. But look, it's... Have have a chat to the GP. Like, when you've got your thing, just, just I mean, talk to them. If they're a good GP, they'll be able to reassure you and, and all that kind of stuff. Like, just because you've lost the minutes around what happened, it that doesn't mean you're going to lose anything from before then, and it doesn't mean you're going to lose anything after. Um, you may never be able to get those couple of minutes back, but that doesn't necessarily mean, like, that's not, I'm struggling to put this into, I know what I'm trying to say, but it's just not, it's not making its way to my mouth. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry that you're feeling unsettled. It's not a nice feeling and it's valid and it sucks I'm, I'm sure you'll be okay and i know that you're making the right decisions about your health because especially as a mum you don't make decisions for your health for you 
You make decisions about your health for your kids. I, I know you do. You make the right calls. It's the worst thing in a few minutes it is than it be, I guess. Yeah. It's one of those, like, it could be worse, but it could be a whole lot better, too. <laughs> Oh, but they're feeling really unwell or breaking skin. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, Arcanist Mana Saber. No. No. What do you mean? I'm, I'm glad. Look. <laughs> Sometimes words just don't. <laughs> uh, Desire Law Wind Reaver. No. Love that eyeshadow day. Thank you, Phoenix. The mount makeup for today hasn't been guessed yet, if you'd like to partake. No one has guessed what mount it represents yet. Um, but I'm doing all right. I've got a bit of a mild headache, so I've popped some painkillers. Okay, it's it's a bit more than mild, um, but it's not like skull splitting, but it's still not great either. Uh, but I've taken some painkillers, and I'm uh, otherwise I'm doing really well. Uh, I'm a bit behind on everything, but I'm I'm feeling good about my capability to catch up. So that's a that's a good thing. I hope you're doing really well today, Phoenix. Thank you for asking how I am. You always do, and I, I appreciate that. A lot of you always do. I'm not singling out Phoenix here, but I want to say. Uh, I think I already said Fierce Razor Wing. I don't remember, but it's not that. <laughs> we do a close up. Yep, absolutely we can. Oh, while I continue to kill things. Um, do good today. Yay! Oh, that's good to hear. I'm so pleased to hear that. Um, so it's a bit. Look. <laughs> I've been wearing it for a while now, so it's it's kind of doing its thing. But um, it's like the outside corner is like a charcoal black. Um, in the pan, it's got a bit of a green shift to it, like a bit of a green shimmer, but that's fine. Uh, and then in the middle, I've got uh, like a green blue. It's, it's green, but it's got a bit of a blue sh tint to it. Uh, and then in the middle, I've got like that really pale green shade. Uh, and I did have, it's probably gone by now, but I did have blue eyeliner on my lower lash line uh, as well. So those are your colors. You got like black fading through like a greeny blue fading through pale green uh, with a bit of like a little bit of blue there. Uh, and then uh, I own it and it flies. Mm. Oh, you say you use it for a delight. <laughs> Thank you, Landa. I'm doing well, mostly well. How are you? How are you going? Castle Masters Gig Lighter? No. The Dreadwick? No. Silverian Dreamer? No, it's not. Oh, thank you, Phoenix. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm quite, I quite like how the three colors I picked work together. Um, uh, I'm not great at blending. I need to get better at blending. Um, and yeah, but I'm, I'm really happy with how the colors look together. I really like that like ombre kind of, yeah. Summer Wildling? New. Uh, although speaking of which, I got hit in the back of my head when I was a kid. I was holding a pole, laundry poles. I was on a grass. There was nothing behind me. Friend's dad was filling a wheelbarrows. I don't know, 50, 10, 15 meters away. I was back across the grass, kid having fun. Apparently when I did, he got behind me, hit my head on the wheelbarrow. Many years later, I was just, what the fuck? Oh, she was just casually talking about friend's mum. Oh, so you don't remember? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, when, when you're a kid, though, like, stuff is a hell of a lot more plastic. Like, you may have bonked yourself on the head or, or been bonked on the head, but you recover from it a lot easier than an adult does, which is maybe why they didn't stress so much. Hmm. Ah, uh, I'm hungry, sleeping. Experience it. Fantastic. Imperial Quillen, no. Ah, uh, this is tough. There are so many mounts. There are, which is why I try to narrow it down a bit. I mean, granted I have 677 mounts, so that narrows it down a touch. By about a third, there's like 900 something mounts. So you're eliminating just over 200 of them <laughs> by saying I own it. And then flying mounts specifically. Uh, and because it's been a while, let me also tell you uh, that this mount is from Burning Crusade. There's another clue. Uh, some of my friend was talking to me while I was resting and Betty instructed not to get to fall asleep. Uh, but why the hell wasn't I taking to a doctor? Well, firstly, it was a different time. Like, legitimately. There are there are some things that happen now that people would rush to the emergency room, but back when I was a kid, it was just, that's okay, just make sure she doesn't fall asleep. Like, it just... Um, there, there was, like, 
we don't know exactly back then we didn't know how it exactly affected people and, and stuff like that like we didn't have the treat like there is no way to treat a knock on the head you can do scans to look for damage but even then it's not really like y you know it it's yeah and especially as a child it's not as um you you can bounce back from that kind of stuff a hell of a lot quicker uh, but depending on how old you were, like, I mean, I know I was growing up in the 90s and, uh, like, I was born in 1990, like, 9-0. So it's literally the 90s. Um, and you just, just didn't. Like, if you broke a bone, then you went to a doctor. If you got a really bad cut on the head and blood was pouring everywhere, you went to a doctor. Anything other than that... Stuck a band-aid on it, kissed the boo-boo, and got on with playing. Like, it just... It, it was the way of the time. Whether it was right or wrong, you can debate till you're blue in the face kind of thing, but it's still, like, that's just how it was. We didn't have as many informational campaigns as we do now on how this is bad and how that can affect you long-term and blah, blah, blah. We just didn't know. Uh, and if doctors knew wasn't a, a widespread information campaign to let everyone else know. That's probably why you weren't taken to a doctor. Uh, Wild Woman Fur Prowler. No. Purple Riding Talbot. No. Cobalt Leatherwing Drake. No. Azure Leatherwing Drake. Yes! Nutty's got it. Can I have a number from you, Nutty? From 1 to 100, please. 1990 gang! Yas! 32 year olds. Uh. Um. <laughs> Uh, Falvire Hawk! No. No. Uh, not falling asleep was, if I would, it would likely be a concussion. Yeah, and that's, that's, yeah, that's all we knew, right? It's like, don't fall asleep, it's bad for your brain. Should I go to a doctor? Uh, probs not, just don't, just don't nap. <laughs> 30! Alright, perfect, give me a second. Phoenix. Um. Six behind Nutty. Yes, just just a little, just a little. Can still relate to what you're saying. Broke my thumb and index finger back in the day. We'll check that out tomorrow after work. CBA sitting in the ER the whole night. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, that being said, like last Christmas, Jas sliced his thumb, uh, thumb, finger, hand appendage, open. Um, he was trying to poke something with a, a garden stick, a garden stake, and the garden stake was made of metal and it had a weak point, and as he poked, it broke and sliced open his hand. Yep. Cool. So, um, and, and we just kind of, like, they rinsed it. We rinsed it, like, put the flap back down, and wrapped it in bandages real tight to kind of stop that bleeding. Um, and so I said, okay. It's a cut, it's it's a wound, like you've got a you've got a big pretty big wound on your hand. But we'll do that, we'll bind it up, we cleaned it really thoroughly, wrap it up and bind it tight to stop the bleeding, and to hold the flap of skin down. I said we will clean it before we go like before we go to bed. We'll we'll take the bandages off, clean it, again, put some antibacterial cream and stuff on it, and then we'll put another band-aid on it. So I did that, and it was still bleeding. Took everything off and it immediately started pissing blood again. And I'm like, okay, now we go to the ER. <laughs> now, now, like, you, you, that's the thing. Like, some things, there are ways to treat it easily at home. And you don't have to go and sit in an ER for hours. And so you do that. Broken fingers, that's a bit different. But this, you know, this was very, this was fairly recent. And it was a fairly big, deep cut, right? He's scarred. Um, but we, we said, okay, we'll go and we'll do the thing. Um, and then when, you know, we took it off to clean it and everything. And it was st like, as soon as the pressure was really, like, as soon as the pressure went away, it just blood, 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 blood. And I'm like, okay. Um, and, and it started really hurt, like pain. Because, like, usually, like, there's a bit of shock and then the pain comes in, but then once you've, like, got it bound and stuff, it's okay. 
and while you just kind of let it heal and stuff, but as soon as I took it off, blood everywhere and really, really painful. I'm like, okay, it's it's time. And so, yeah, Christmas Eve, uh, cr Boxing Day morning. It was like one in the morning after Christmas Day had finished. We went to the ER. He got stitches. <laughs> like, like six of them. Um, and the anesthetic wasn't working. <laughs> and it was, it was horrible. Um, but... That's like, yeah, but the point of that, the point, the, the core of the matter is we tried treating it ourselves first, especially like with everything going on, the, like, the pandemic is a thing and it's Christmas night, all these, you know, drunk idiots having accidents are going to be filling the ER and stuff. We didn't want to just, like, we didn't want to add another person to the already overburdened public health system when it maybe didn't need to be treated in the ER. But then when it was still a problem after so many hours that like the bleeding hadn't stopped after six hours, we're like, this is now a problem. Um, so yeah, and that's that's just you kind of informed decision making, you know? It's um oh, there we go. Uh ta-da! Perfect. I just wanted to check that I was getting the right DMing the right person before I did. But congratulations, Nutty. Well done. Um Yeah, it's uh It's, it's kind of scary sometimes. Just my luck next time. Yes, next time. Oh, you're also a winner because you guess at the same time. Yes, not your prize. But glory, yes. Absolutely. I guess I get it before me. This is severe enough. Yeah, well, that's, that's, it's kind of the thing, right? Most of the time you just think, look, it looks gnarly, but it's actually probably fine. But then later on we're like, okay, this is no longer fine. And a lot of the time that's, you know, with, with, if you get a knock on the head, you don't let them go to sleep. But often if they're really drowsy, like if they're really, like it's, you're, it's a struggle to keep them awake, that's when you go to a doctor. Because that's when it's likely to, like, if you're struggling to keep them awake, <laughs> then it's going to cause an issue later kind of thing. Um, but that, that was always what we knew, but, uh, well, I knew at least, um. But yeah, it's it is it's really interesting how like healthcare and and what we know changes over time, especially in the medical realm, because we're learning new things every day, and like you know what what was best practice ten years ago is no longer best practice, and it's 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 really interesting and also kind of scary, just just a little bit scary. I oh, forgot to mention that I drove to the ER. Oh yeah, he drove to the ER with a like a mangled finger. Um, <laughs> luckily there was not much traffic, so we could drive a bit slow. Um, uh, cranky. no worries, Zika. Rest well, we'll see you next time. So when they wrapped it up, did they put a bow on it? You know, it'd be festive. Oh, Jesus. I, I think the last thing on Jas's mind was festivities after he took six stitches with no numbing agent. <laughs> like... It hurt me to see him in pain. Like, that's... So I was... Obviously, I was there with him. And um, I, I basically told him, don't look. Don't look. And he... So he had one hand on the... On the, the bench where they were doing the stitches. And I held his other hand. And, and it was like, look right here. Keep your eyes on mine. And just squeeze the hell out of my hand if you need to. Um, and I almost needed a cast. <laughs> Because he squeezed my hand so goddamn hard, I I genuinely thought I had dislocated a finger at it for a moment there, but I didn't tell him that, because he was in pain and he needed the outlet, and so he took it and I just dealt with it and he was fine, but it was not of like, I I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone in so much pain, conscious and in so much physical pain, um, and I am blown away that he made that he made it through but he did uh, and he's got the scars to show for it and i am incredibly proud of him for, do for doing that because it's not it's not easy uh what the fuck did you do oh no this was last christmas to see her, um when he sliced his hand open we were talking about like treating medical stuff and like when do you leave it and when do you go to the er and, and all that kind of stuff and uh, we'll go to your gp or something like that um, and so, yeah, I was just bringing up the thing that he, he sliced his hand open and we just, we washed it and we bound it and we're like, okay, 
uh, should stop the bleeding. And then when six hours later we went to change it and it didn't stop, it hadn't stopped bleeding. It started pissing blood as soon as we took the bandages off. Six hours later, we're like, okay, ER time. Um, so <laughs> yeah, it's it's like when when do you make the decision? Um, and that's I think that's an appropriate time to make the decision. Um. He jabbed his hand with the rusty pole. Why wouldn't the bleeding stop? It was an underlying medical condition. It was a super deep cut. Super deep. Super deep cut. Um, like, uh, not just a flap of skin that was lifted. It was a flap of flesh that was lifted. Um, so he ended up needing, like, so I think it was about, like, that sort of length. About, like, the flap of flesh was about that long. And he needed six stitches. Six. <laughs> because of how deep it was, they needed to, like, make sure that that sucker was stuck down. Um, yeah. He was, he was not in a good way. But no, it wasn't, yeah, it was no, like, underlying medical condition or anything like that. It was, it was just that it cut really deep, like, surprisingly deep. Um, uh, something so deeply satisfying about playing a fire mage, especially when you get a nice long streak, streak of crits and in Sapphire. Oh, yeah. Combust, the combust window is beautiful. Like, um, depending on where you have your keys bound, obviously. But I'm like, four, two, four, two, one, two, four, two, one, two, four, two, four, two, one, two. And it's because of the haste as well. It's just, yeah. And I'm on fire, literally, which is lovely. So that's nice. I do like fire image. It's good fun. Stitches suck. Had two doses of numbing for my lip and it died both times. Had to finish that. And that's the same. Yeah, that's exactly the same as, as how, like, I think he had, what, three, maybe four? And in the end, she was just like, look, I'm not going to bother anymore. It's clearly not working. <laughs> and, and so she just finished it off without. And oh, Lord, I am. Mm, mm, God. <sighs> I wasn't even the one getting the stitches. And I was like, yeah, it was it was an unpleasant experience for everyone involved. The doctor in the ER, though, she did a fantastic job of just, like, getting it done. Um, neat and tidy, but as fast as she could possibly go. Like, it was, it was good. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, wait, why did he have no anesthesia? He did, but it wore off. So they, they, they gave him, like... The first shot, they gave him like injections, right? So the first three of them, I uh, they ha he, she had one syringe and put it in like three different spots around the cut, and then after like halfway through the first stitch, it wore off. So she got another one and did it in two places, like either side, and then halfway through the second stitch, it wore off, and she did it again, and then halfway through the third stitch, it wore off, and she's like, nah, fuck this, <laughs> and just so she's like, are you okay? Like she said, I know this is not going to be fun, but I'm just going to do the last three. We're going to get them done as soon as possible because then at least you're just getting like the stitch stab and not like needle, needle, stitch, needle, needle, stitch. Like it's just too many stabs. So she just kind of did it as quickly as she could. And she did a real neat job as well. Like given, given how fast she was working, she did a beautiful job of stitching him up. That reminds me of my friend went to visit me. I think my cousin was living with me temporarily. Scratching his hand. I remember the pimple of what started bleeding. Not anything crazy, but paper towels and just kept coming. Bandage was really quickly. Showing him like a drug addict to belt around his arm. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Oh lord. That um that sounds like an adventure and a half. I think I remember this. Just keep some super glue around the house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically, right? Uh, that's um what he gets for trying to help the dogs. The uh, dogs had a toy stuck in a tree because they were throwing it and they threw a bit too high and it got caught in a branch. And so he tried to stab it out with a garden stick and it was metal and it snapped as he was, yeah. <sighs> it's, you know, you know when you like have metal stakes in the ground and at, f at ground level, because of the accumulation of water that sits there when it rains, it gets a weak spot just where the ground was sitting. Yeah. And he held it at that end. And then... <laughs> flap of flap. I know, I know. I was trying to use not as graphic terms, and then I failed. I do apologize. I, w I was trying to make it as, like, PG-13 as possible, because I know people get a bit squeamish and stuff about that. I, so I, I do apologize for... 
but there's, you know, there, there, sometimes there are only so many ways you can explain something, and sometimes you need to use some graphic terms. Sorry, four doses of local. My apologies, Jess. My apologies, yeah. Four doses, not three. So about the time a patient came into my EC after getting his sleeve caught in it. Oh, Lord. Um. Good Lord. I feel like that needs to be spoken about in a place where you can use spoiler tags. Jesus. Um, to, we were all laughing, of course, a little worried, said later when he went to his grandparents, they took him to the hospital, found out he was on the edge of getting type 2 diabetes. Jesus! Holy cow! Look, er, look, sometimes things happen for a reason. Sometimes the body just needs you to know there is something wrong. <laughs> look at me, check me out. Yep, yeah, that's, wow, serendipitous, eh? Uh, I think it would be a pain to stitch as well. Stretch articulation, right? Yep, pain for me. Doctor, want to thank from the end to be an artist to get the light up. Pigmented lip and skin light up. Yep. Yep. No, it, it's good when they care about that kind of stuff. It may seem... It may seem, like, superficial and silly and all that kind of stuff, but it can really make a difference later on. Like, once you're all healed up, it can, it can really make a difference when you look at yourself in the mirror and... And, you know, yeah more pain than it prevented Ex exactly ludicrous so they just kind of went you know what <laughs> exactly uh i just bought myself a tube of super glue for the medicine pack super glue is awesome for for like if it's a big wound and there's a ton of blood it's not super great uh get it super glue because the blood dilutes the glue and it can't stick properly um but if you've got something where you can get it to stop for half a second and then line it with glue and squeeze it shut It'll hold it for you, like, it'll hold it really well. In, in fact, like, sometimes you can use super glue in lieu of stitches, which is very nice, but it depends on the wound. I would absolutely still recommend you get it checked out, but if you if you need to, like, stop the bleeding, you can you can do it with super glue. It's a fantastic little tool, that. Fantastic. Cyanoacrylate. Uh, I remember this. Congratulations, you get a tetanus spot. Yeah, <laughs> yep, tetanus shot to boot. Uh, had a small but deep fingertip cut went in for stitches and he passed out from the anesthetic needle. I mean, if you pass out, you don't feel the stitches. <laughs> I know, I know. That's It's terrible and it's not great. Uh, v, Silver Molly, Stabber, Kim, Paul, Zem, Snow Weasel, and Zam. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus ship. Well done. Well done. Made a little thing spreadsheet. <sighs> Jack. Jack. That was our last battle. So we're going to finish off Maldraxxus on this tune. And we'll be good. Everything is negotiable. I will I will have to check out your leveling spreadsheet at some point. <laughs> you see, it's for something with obvious or possible risk to life or permanent harm. If it can wait for an appointment, it isn't easy wordy. But for your own concerning gut, yeah, absolutely. Like for for a, a wound, like a, a deep cut or something, you can treat it at home. If you wait X amount of hours and the and you go to change the dressing and the bleeding is still at the same level that it was, that is a that is a point of concern. I, I would like to think that that goes without saying, but it that often doesn't, and that's okay. Not everyone had like I mean, my mum's a nurse, um, and so it's like I often I often forget that not everyone grew up with this base level of medical knowledge because I had I had mum. So I learned how to deal with stuff from her because when stuff happened, she'd treat it For you. then and there. So I, I often forget that not everyone had that experience growing up. So I do apologize. But yeah, so if if you if you like if you have a deep wound, wrap it tight. Like wash it, wash it really well. It hurts like hell, but it's worth it. Wash it really really well and bind it tight. Like pop a band aid on it, but then like wrap it in something that's tight to hold it not high, not sort of the point like if it's a finger for example make sure you can see your fingertip and don't put it so tight that your fingertip goes purple or blue make sure it's skin colored but like your skin colored obviously <laughs> make sure that it's your skin colored um and that there's no throbbing sensation and then leave it just just let it let your body do what it's good at. Your body wants to heal itself. It wants to repair damage that has been done to it. And it's really goddamn good at doing it. Really good at doing that. So let it for a bit. 
you do need to clean a bandage, especially like if you see, if you have like gauze wrapped around it and you see a spot of blood on the outside of the gauze, like within half an hour, that's probably a problem. You should maybe check that out. If it takes quite a while and then you go and you clean it and it, it like, you know, six hours later and you take something off and it starts pissing blood, then maybe you should wrap it up real tight again and take yourself to a medical professional. Keep in mind, I'm not a medical professional. This is not medical advice. This is points at which I would have concern. If that can help serve as a starting point for your questions or your own research, like questions of a medical professional or your own research, then fantastic. But this is the points at which I get concerned without any formal medical training. Cool. But yeah, everyone like, has to start somewhere, right? everyone will have that kind of point where they kind of go, huh, something's not quite right. Um, and then you kind of, you go from there. But it can be kind of difficult to figure out where that is sometimes. Especially when fear is involved. Fear is a powerful motivator. Um, super glue is absolutely a viable method of treatment, like you said, using surgery and save lives and war trauma centers. Yeah, yep, absolutely. It's great to have it in a, in a uh, what's it or what's it kit. But like, yeah, if it's if it's <laughs> serious enough that you've had to super glue it shut because a band aid didn't work, then it's probably a good idea to get it checked out by a medical professional. Uh, I'm sure super glue is primarily invented for medical treatment. Yeah, yeah, I. I that that rings several very loud bells in my head. Yeah, I, I'm not going to say for certain. Yes, that's exactly right. But no, I am I am alongside you. I am quite confident that that had something to do with it. Yeah, it was indeed. Hey, look, there we go. Purple or blue are great hair colors. Not so much for fingertips. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. Good. Yes, correct. Thank you for the grats, Claw. Much appreciated. First kit, first save, can you include super glue? Yeah. No, it's a good thing to have. I mean, especially for fishing and camping because like. It doesn't just fix fingers. <laughs> Super glue like fixes so much stuff. It helps with so many things. Alrighty, uh, let's go teleport down. Not only, not only does it help like with it's so versatile and it does so many different things, but it's also cheap as chips. Like it's so cheap for what it is and how much you need of it. It is so cheap doesn't help with your vision you don't do not apply to eyeballs pretty sure that's probably a warning on the packet knowing humanity also probably wouldn't help with my jaw but you know that's that's Speak, fine mortal. right so that's a 57 and she's now finished with Maldraxxus and we'll head off to Ardenweald next time I log on to her I have five tunes left to take through Maldraxxus that's not a bad place to be in. I'm at 67.21% towards my goal. I am 0.06% short of today's goal. Good. Good. Uh, I did hear, and I'm not sure if it's an urban legend or not, but I heard that super glue was actually invented for the medical profession. Uh, to do what we're talking about, the other uses are a side effect. Yeah, that's what, um, that's what Desir and Zam were mentioning before. Uh, I'm sure Super Glue was primarily invented for medical treatment, and then Zam said it was indeed. Yeah, it's kind of cool, hey? Warnings, hairdryers state not to be used in the bath or shower. <laughs> Five left, congrats! Five left to do Maldraxxus. Then I've got the whole ass bunch of them to do in uh, the place. Uh, 33 of them to send through Arden Wheels. Um, <laughs> some of them... No, I don't think any of them will hit 60 in Arden World. I don't think any of them will hit 60, but um, after that, it'll be Revendreth, and it'll be like seven minutes in Revendreth. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. We're gonna have like a stream where I just get like 20 60s and it'll be great. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to that stream. Um, my God, it's not bad at all. It's not, it's not. I'm like, I, I'm a little, just a teeny itty bitty bit salty that I didn't hit my goal for today today, but I'm pretty happy with where I'm at regardless. Like that's that's not a bad place to stop. Um, for today, of course, I'm not stopping completely, God. But yeah, not a bad spot. Um, the Ziploc first. <laughs> you might have a bit of trouble using the hairdryer if it's in a Ziploc bag. Um, hello, Shah, doing well. 
doing well. I am. I am well and I'm happy for the most part. Of course, there are always little things that we'd like to improve, but for the most part, I'm doing very well. I hope you can say the same. I hope you're doing fantastically well. Goals. Achieving goals. Kicking goals. All the things. Later. I'll do all the things after the leveling. Oh my god, I'm so excited to do that. But... There we go. This is what my September looks like. This is what our September looks like. Um, so tomorrow is Monday the 5th. Sponsored stream. Final Fantasy XIV. So excited. I hope you'll join me. I've been having so much fun playing Final oh, Fantasy XIV. So it's been so good. Ah, oh, Melon, thank you for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. I hope you're enjoying your time with us. Thank you for your generosity. Uh, is DMF part of your living strategy? No. It just, it takes too much time to like get there and then get back and all that kind of shit. It, it just, I feel like the time I save leveling isn't worth the time it takes to go and get the stuff. But that's okay. Each to their own. I'm, I'm glad it's available as a boost for people who want it and want to like min-max their leveling experience. Um, but I'm quite content with where I am and, and the speed that I'm traveling at at the moment. Um, yes, Final Fantasy XIV stream story time with fear. Yes. Uh, Wednesday's a day off. Um, which I'm going to need. So uh, Wednesday's a day off, but on Friday I will, be be I will be back with Burning Crusade time walking. I hope that you'll join me for those. Uh, I'm going to be flipping between Horde and Alliance tunes. So no matter what you play, because time walking is faction specific, you can't cross faction it. Um, but uh, I hope that you'll join me for that anyway. Uh, depending on which faction I'm doing. Um, also, on the Friday the 9th, we're going to be fundraising for Are You OK Day. Are You OK Day is on the 8th, so it is the day prior, but I did an oopsie and double, double booked myself. Um, so, unfortunately, I was supposed to stream before the day, but I'm doing it the day after instead. Um, so, we're going to be talking about mental health and asking Are You OK and talking about how no qualifications are needed to ask Are You OK. Even if you do then need to help somebody find resources with someone who is qualified, you don't have to have a qualification to do that to begin with. Um, so that'll be cute and fun. And then on Sunday, uh, hopefully we'll be back in, it'll, it's not alpha anymore, it's beta. I just haven't updated my picture. Um, but hopefully we'll be diving back into the Dragonflight beta. Um, the only thing in the current build, I don't know if we'll have a new build, but the only thing I can do in the current build that's left that I can actually test is fishing. But it's locked behind a reputation in Dragonflight. And I don't know if trying to, if, I don't know if unlocking fishing to test will give us spoilers. Uh, so Jas has very kindly volunteered himself as tribute. Uh, at some point this week, he's going to have a quick play through it and see if he can get it to unlock without getting any spoilers and if he can he's gonna tell me how he did it <laughs> but if he can't um i'm gonna have to hope for a new build uh because at the moment <clears throat> the only two things we can test are fishing which i've just explained or pet battles but to do pet battles i need to have dragon riding and to get dragon riding i need to get spoilers so it's a bit unfortunate right now but that's okay um worst case leveling oh no how terrible um, a few other pointed things that I might uh, highlight for you is the 12th of, of September is another sponsored stream. It's the final final stream in our Final Fantasy XIV sponsored series this time around. I mean, as it stands currently, that may change, but as it stands now, that is, that is the final one there. Um, the 17th, 18th, and 19th are um, Fia's Phone Thunderthon. Uh, basically, it's a... Uh, it's marathon streams. Uh, timer extends with throne contributions to new shiny new phone for content creation and having a battery that actually functions. <laughs> uh, but I will have more information for you on that soon. I'm doing up a, a graphic that explains the whole thing and how it's going to work and, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then on the 24th, which is another Saturday stream from 6 till 8 p.m., just a short one, um, it's a sponsored stream. <laughs> Uh, the sponsor stream is from Felix Mobile. Felix Mobile, our newest sponsor. Uh, you'll see a, a mobile-based stream for the next couple months on the calendar. Uh, I'm so excited. Uh, so I'm going to be playing Hearthstone on my phone 
and streaming it through to you guys, and uh, we'll have some fun fun with that, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Um, fishing? Yeah, that's it. You actually, Desir, you are. Um, I would recommend going to the the Dragonfly, the the Dragonfly forums, and having a look at the development notes and like Control F fishing, or fish, and have a look and see what they've got planned. It's pretty fun. Like I, I'm really looking forward to giving it a crack. Uh, fishing's locked behind a wrap. It appears to be. It appears to be. Um, but it's not, I don't think it's locked behind a rep as in you need to get to revered or exalted. I think it's talk to these people and introduce yourselves to them and they will teach you how to fish. I, I'm, the way that it's worded, it doesn't feel like it's locked. I think maybe that's not the right word, but it feels like it, you're going to, you're going to encounter it as part of your natural play. The problem is the natural play involves spoilers potentially. So I, that's why Jas is going to test it out for me. <clears throat> Um, Bernathon, brilliant. When is Are You Okay Day? Are You Okay Day is the 8th of September. It is a Thursday this year. Uh, make the tail end of the stream. Welcome back, Sen. Welcome back. No, we're wrong. It's going to be beta. Story related unlock. Phew. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Hang on. Let me, let's go over this and let me explain to you why I'm a little bit concerned for me for testing. Not for, not for the game. The game will be fine. It's just like in terms of testing. Um, fish. Uh, so it has, uh, under, under the header of four major factions. Major factions are a new way of experiencing outdoor progression, an iteration on previous reputation-based gameplay. Participating in content throughout the Dragon Isles grants reputation towards these major factions. Earning reputation unlocks rena renown ranks. Uh, each major faction's progression is different, with content fitting a variety of playstyles. Importantly, major factions are not exclusive. You can be a member of all four factions at once. Then you have this particular one. Um, I... No, you know what? It was in the launch trailer, so I think it's okay. They're Tuscar. Um, and that was in, not the launch trailer, the announcement trailer. Um, so become a member of the Tuscar, a tribe renowned for their skills in fishing and feasting. Fishing, new ways to fish. Unlock fishing holes. Fish in three difficult and unique biomes. Fish up lunkers with friends using harpoons. Collect fish offline with a net. Um, so like there's... Yeah, progression, fishing, workbench, gather reagents for Tuscar craftsmen to improve the capability of harpoons, nets, and biome fishing. So their their whole faction is a, is based around fishing and feasting. And so fishing, so, do you know what I mean? So because it's so heavily associated with one of the four major factions, I'm figuring there are going to be some story spoilers in trying to unlock them to start with. So I'm, I'm concerned about testing it on beta because I don't want spoilers. Um, yes, that's where we are. Cool, so. Wait, offline with a net, but it's an online game. How can I without, how can I without the net? Look, you, different type of net. Uh, sounds awesome, right? It sounds super cool. I don't want spoilers. <laughs> so yeah, I am, I'm so keen for that. I think it's gonna work beautifully but I don't want to unlock it just yet if it involves me having to deal with spoilers. You know, it's just, yeah. That's all. That's all it is. Um, all right. Yeah, it's been a while. All right, let's go here. There's a Tuscar named Annette. <laughs> Stop. There we go. Love that. Fantastic, Jeff. Uh, I was still just like beta access for transmog planning. Oh, I love that. I love that. Well, maybe you will. I mean, there will be wave after wave after wave released. It'll just take time. It'll just take time. That's all. Uh, all right. So now that we've talked about all of that and what's happening for the month. God, it's a big month. I'm going to... It's all right, because October is a tidy month. I have 10 streams the entirety of October. Half my normal streams. 
uh, because of everything going on. Uh, so here we go. Grab your copy paste if you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you are not a subscriber or because you haven't unlocked it using your channel points, both of which are totally fine. By the way, did you know it's September? Um, you can grab your <laughs> copy and paste the entire message, delete where it says Fiamma Hype, and replace it with your favorite happy, hypey, celebratory emote, and drop it into Hydrax's chat when we get there. Hydrax is a lovely bloke. I hope that you'll show him a little bit of love. If you need to jet off afterwards, totally understandable, but. Um, at least just saying a little bit of a hi before you go would be really lovely uh, if you feel comfortable doing so. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's me. I'm going to see you tomorrow for Final Fantasy XIV. Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. Follow Fear on the socials. Help her get full time. And I will see you tomorrow. Odd love. Mwah. Bye, guys.